one. Um, I don't know how to do this. Uh, hey there, guys. It's Painkiller already. Episode 134, and um, we've got some bad news. It's, uh, it's Saturday morning, and uh, that we usually don't record these in the morning, but we, we just got the news, and so we thought we'd record this now. Um, Wings of Redemption passed away uh, sometime in the night last night. Uh, apparently, he was refinishing his desk in a closed garage, and uh, the fumes got the best of him, and he lost consciousness, and they're telling us that he just didn't wake up. Uh, he was 27 years old, and uh, he's been with us every step of the way for the last three years. I, I don't know what to say. It's awful. Just a somber reminder of, of how fleeting life is. It's a... But we thought he would want to, you know, he would want us to do the show, I think. Yeah, oh, you know how he was. He would want us to go on and do the show. And, I mean, look on the bright side. We don't have to split the money with him anymore. Yeah. So there's that. That's oh, yeah, that's, that's right. true. Yeah, he's cut out now. Which, um, okay. guys, check out youtube.com, Surf Dub Entertainment, the uh, world's strangest entertainer. Link in the that's description. Good. That's a check good YouTube out. channel. Wings would have liked that channel. Mm -hmm. He would have. I know he would have. Yeah. 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 If I died, I'd want you guys to keep going on with the show. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same here. Same yeah. here. Yeah. So. It's just a... But there's a show to be done, and uh, you guys want entertainment, and I guess we're here to, to try to provide it for you. So. <sighs> I wish I finished his desk earlier. Yep. Could have avoided all this. Thanks, Dick. I'm just saying, man. It, I'm just saying. Want, he did want to bring that weird guy to your house, though, which was... Which was odd. So I guess you know. I, I mean, guys, I'm not blaming you. there was there were several strangers he wanted to bring to my house. Well, why weren't those guys with him in his garage? That's what I want to know. Mm. Oh, God, poor wings, man. You know, he finally decided to do something about it too. Like, finally, I'm gonna do something about this desk. And it fucking gets him. It's awful. Desk it's is cursed. Who wants That's it? Fine. He's not using it. That's true. Who gets his YouTube channel, really? What happens with all that? I get it. Yeah, it was Will to me. <laughs> Bastard. The guy who needs it most. I've got the login. I think I'm, I think I'm going to... I have know, it, too. I'll just, I'll just put on a strong southern accent and complain a lot. Actually, I'll race you. <laughs> Whoever logs in first gets it. Mm -hmm. I logged in as soon as I got the news, to be honest with you. He's got a Let's Play channel, too. So, I mean, that's like a secondary prize. You, you can, can have that. We could do like a giveaway of it if you if you guys wanted. Yeah, yeah. we can do it. All you got all you got to do is uh, like and favorite the, the the stream here. We get to go. Yeah, <laughs> like and favorite the stream. Leave a comment and um, we'll raffle off his uh, his Let's Play channel. Absolutely, I think he's got like I don't know how many subscribers like fifteen or twenty thousand. You know, they like Let's Plays. That's all you need is a couple thousand. Let's mm -hmm. Plays are the ultimate channel. You just do whatever you feel like doing, and uh, people did love it. Yeah, you build up a big library, get that long tail rolling. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. that easy, but yeah. Yeah. So your buddy Obama's in hot water, Woody. <laughs> well, we have a guest on the show. Should we introduce We him? should oh, talk about Bernsey. Um, what am I thinking? We'll, yes. get Obama. we'll get to Obama's evils later. <laughs> See, we're crying today for wings. <laughs> Bernsey was crying the other day for the Minnesota Wild. So. That's, hilarious. That, that's hilarious, Lefty. Well, you know what? In times such as these, we all need levity. That's you know, exactly I was it. I was looking at the Skype chat when you invited me on here. Like, do you need to? Do you want to come on PK tonight? And I just replied to you, "Is this a trap for you to publicly drink my tears?" <laughs> I I said no. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna belabor the point. But you put, you put dot dot dot, which usually means yes. You know what? The Minnesota Wild probably killed wings. That's probably what did it. Couldn't take it. I don't really don't think people want to talk about hockey on this show. Too soon. So, so give us some backstory on this. I guess uh, it's it's hockey playoffs time, and Burns' yeah. team lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Who's in the playoffs? Who's who's remaining? Like half the league. <laughs> I mean, like half the league makes the playoffs in the. Oh, NFL. it's one of those sports. Same with the NBA. <laughs> The thing is, I very much want to rip Burnsy for the Wild doing so poorly. Like that, that would I would really love that. But yeah, my team teams, make the playoffs. I have two. Make the playoffs. I have two. Yeah, the the Carolina Hurricanes and the Philadelphia Flyers, both of whom competed for worst team in the NHL at some point this season. So were the Atlanta Thrashers in the mix at all? 
They don't even have a team anymore, Kyle. Oh, fuck. They went to That's Winnipeg. Okay, yeah, the Winnipeg Thresh. Fuck. <laughs> the Winnipeg no, they're the Jets. Jets again, right? Yeah. When did yeah. that? When did that happen? Yeah. Last year. Last year. Get with it, man. How are the Hartford oh, Whalers doing this year? You, they're the Carolina Hurricanes. I, I know. I this. <laughs> this is like twenty years ago. <laughs> wow. What about the Boston Braves? Are they still in the playoffs? That's that's, that's, that's going with us, guys. <laughs> I don't oh, think the playoffs man. started in baseball. Not at all. <laughs> Braves are doing good though. Are they? Are they? Yeah. They have a good start. Uh, last time I checked, they had the best record in baseball. That may have changed. Hey, Kyle, the Rape Squad Killers subreddit. By the way, check out the... Dude, the Rape Squad Killers subreddit has become one of my favorite subreddits on Reddit. Like, I, I no joke, I, I legitimately like no, it. No, I, I saw the second highest voted thing there today, and I'm not... I Fuck that subreddit, then. What was the second highest voted thing? It was a, like a... No, I don't even want to talk about it. It was like some racist recruiting poster that was really oh. done well, and it was funny, and... That thing's sixth highest at the moment. Oh, there's good. a there's a wings montage on there right now. Maybe the word is out about his death. I don't know. Could be. And there's a pussy is pussy. Don't put it on his pedestal. There's all sorts of tributes to wings out there. But number one is the bums night out promo. Anyway, on there, Kyle, they asked for an update on your landlord. Oh yes, that's that's a good one. So. Um... He was kind of dragging his feet on the whole thing. He'd been dragging his feet for three weeks, and I had been really busy myself. Can, can, um, can you start from the beginning for anyone who yeah, doesn't know? Yeah, yeah, good point. So I I moved out of a house that I had been renting back in, like, January um, and uh, and quit renting there and, and, and bought a house. But and, – and I was doing my taxes. Uh, my accountant noticed that my card had been overcharged uh, for the rent, like, seven times, and it came out to, like – ten thousand dollars basically that this guy had literally stolen out of my account um, for rent money and I was like well this isn't good so I called him and, and he acted like he had no idea what was going on and, I, and I'm not sure if he did or not but um, after three weeks of him dragging his feet I finally started threatening him and I'm like dude I'm gonna call the police I was like, I'm gonna file a police report you know this is a felony it's credit card fraud and that got him more motivated, I guess, because he um, he was like, "All right, yep, you're right, you're completely right." I looked into it. He's, um, I'm gonna pay you back immediately. And he sent me. Uh, he said he's gonna pay me back over the next like ten or fifteen days. He sent me two thousand dollars immediately, and he said he's waiting on another check. And he's gonna send me another two and get it paid off quickly. So I guess he's uh, making good on the whole thing. So I don't so, have to give so you, you guys... can call off those special ops squads. Yes, you, and I don't have to give you guys his business name and his personal information and any of that stuff. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because as soon as last week, as soon as you got started, that's like your thing when you got pissed at like um, the that one that training tranny. hooker. Yeah, you're like, what's her number? Because I was like, oh, immediately <laughs> that's going on Twitter. <laughs> Dude, dude, she really, I, I did, I, the way, she rubbed me the wrong way, and I wasn't even trying to get her to rub me the right way. It, it was just, it really pissed me off the way she was just like, too good for us, or seemingly, or you know, she felt like she was above uh, a radio interview. She had no idea who she yeah. was talking to. Burnsy, she wanted two thousand dollars an hour to be on our show. Is that the going rate for trannies? I thought you might be able to help. <laughs> if you pay any more than $100 an hour, you're overpaying. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we were thinking. Mm -hmm. We offered her 60 and she hung up on us. That yeah. seems like a good bargain deal to me. <laughs> yeah, that, that pissed me off to no end. I, was, I, I wanted to kick her ass. And that's okay because she's got a dick. You bring up a good point. Yeah. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. I, that, there's a good question. Let me, let, me, let, me, uh, let me ask you guys this. Is it okay to beat up a very feminine tranny. So I'm assuming you're properly provoked in this thing. Yeah, she's talking shit, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'm thinking of that. Do you remember that bus driver that said, you know, you want to act like a man, you get to fight like a man or something like that? Do you know him? Yeah, yeah the one who uppercutted that shit? Yeah, do you know the line? Um, you're going to I jail don't. now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy, man. He, he was awesome. So this woman... <laughs> Was like yapping at him on a bus, just you know, yap 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 yap, and you know, talking all this trash, and um, he was basically not having any of it, but still driving the bus. And at one point, she hit him, so he stopped the bus. He turns around, and God, I'm gonna try to do this physically, but he had this uppercut that came from his ankles. <laughs> she was like, 
wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on. It was very Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> and, uh, I had to be center screen. Anyway, and, and right before he did it, he shouts out like, you know, you want to act like a man? You got to fight like a man. And he just decked her, and, and, and that was the end of her. And then he threw her off the bus. Um, yeah, did he? he did. He opened the door. And he, he opened the, the door, and he threw her out. <laughs> so I sat there and thought, yeah, he hit a girl, but you know what? She hit him first. Like, you, you're not allowed to just use your vagina to beat people, this is getting a little weird, you know, but you're not allowed to use the, your possession of a vagina as an excuse to hit guys, you know, it, once you break the, like, violence barrier, then, um, you know, not every situation, but you've opened the door for him to do the same. Yeah, I agree. I saw a video on <laughs> worldstarhiphop.com, my new favorite website, <laughs> where... Can we get a damn sponsorship from them already? Uh, like, seriously, how many people... <laughs> like, we can just drive traffic to their site and just talk about fucked up videos that we've seen. If, Dude, if so Pax rolls around and we start, like, wrestling or whatever, I want people to shout out World Star in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this this woman had, had found out that her boyfriend is cheating on her with some other chick. So she calls the chick and she's like, you're cheating, on, you're cheating with my boyfriend. And she's like, he's got a girlfriend? Let's get him. So they both, like jump this guy and one of them is whipping him with a belt and she can swing a belt all right this isn't this isn't your father like giving please you a link it. please link me <laughs> I need to see this. she is whipping the shit out of him <laughs> with this belt i'm talking one of the worst belt whippings i've ever seen and the and the girlfriend is punching him they beat the shit out of this dude it's awesome that's that does sound, dude i've got a better story I, it's not a video, but better than that, better than two chicks, d disgruntled chicks, deciding to team up and beat the shit out of their wannabe play a boyfriend. I'll let you be the judge. Thirteen-year-old boy, mom says you can no longer play Call of Duty, so he murders her with a twenty-two caliber pistol rifle. I'm not quite sure, and then tries to rape her. Yeah, I saw that story. Yeah, I saw that story. Which one's better? It sounds so fake. It's yeah, but I don't and, know. Dailymall.co.uk. I don't think there's a more reliable source <laughs> of news out there. What is that from the New York Times? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So um, he no, that's suffered. Just fucking morbid. That's just that's fucked up. I mean, everybody from Kyle's story will live. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they think. just yeah. Well, I linked you guys to the video if you want to check it out. You I'm, know, I'm looking at the story again. I, I and I'll look at the video too. But um, I'm, I'm not positive if he tried to rape her before or after the murder. Did he? Wow. Did he call? Isn't? Did he call like nine one one and was like telling the nine one one operator what he was, what he tried to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. How do you try to rape someone when they're dead? No, I think she um, was still alive before. He yeah, I think her. he tried to rape her and then uh, killed her. Oh, okay, that's... I have it backwards. Yeah. Well, I, I would say that's the more socially acceptable oh, order of events. Oh, they're beating the Is shit it? out of this dude. Yeah, they whip his ass. I can't see it. Pull your also pull your damn pants up. Come on. Yeah. What are you like that? It, I saw another video on WorldStarHipHop.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, this dude's if if this dude's underwear wasn't elastic, like if it was falling down, you'd see his like his entire ass, like the the belt or the belt is around his thighs. Yeah. That's from it's like that's just that's impractical. Um, so do you guys know where that came from? The whole, you know, sagging your pants sort of fad? I've heard it. I don't know if what you're about to say is true. It's the prison thing. Yeah. So in prison, um, if you are a guy who is open to being someone's bitch, you would sag your pants so they could see your underwear, and that's basically you, you know, exposing your butt, letting them know that, you know, yeah, that's what I got. That's what I'm working with back there. If you want some of this, let me know. So I, I was at a I was at a gas station, and this this woman was with her I don't know, 14, 15 year old son, and he was sagging his pants, and she was complaining about it. She's like, God, she's like, pull your damn pants up, looking like a fool. Get out, get out, go in the parking lot. And I'm like, you know where that came from, right? And I told her, and she's like, I'm gonna tell him that. See how, see if he wants to be a little faggot. Yeah, that's what he wants to be in it. Is that what you want to be? That's what you want to be? She flipped out. She was so mad at this kid for sagging his pants. I've never seen anybody that mad about somebody sagging their pants. So you made it worse. I did make it worse. <laughs>
Dude, I just watched your video. Oh, what was it called, by the way? So people can find it. Um, what the, the one of the the caught cheating guy? Yeah, it's uh, it's a uh, it's caught cheating. They beat a grown as a z z man with a belt for cheating. Yeah. So now, if you guys want to Google it, that's your shirt string. Um, at any time, I think he could have decided to kick both of their asses. Oh, for sure. That guy, while he may be a cheater, is kind of a gentleman in his own way for having the restraint not to fight back as two women whipped him with belts. Yeah, and if you read the comments below, a lot of the guys on there are like, you know, uh, some of them are either saying, you know, they he should have beat him up and one of them's like imagine it the other way around. Imagine if two bla- two dudes were beating up mm-hmm. on a cheating on a cheating woman. Mm-hmm. I really struggle with this like gender, you know, mixed gender fighting thing. Like on one hand, if he had beat those two girls up after they both opened up with belts, I would have not passed judgment on him. You know, like they broke the violence barrier. They brought weapons for Christ's sakes. It, you know. I'll say this. The only thing I can say is what I would do in that scenario. Mm. Run. You would run. Run for my life. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no, there's no cowardice. There's no cowardice in running from the situation. First of all, I'm not running because this is a no-win scenario. It's, it's fight or flight, and fight is socially unacceptable and might end me up in jail. And flight is just going to save me from a pretty good ass whipping. See, but you're not. I wouldn't. Do you think he would honestly go to jail if after they started? Like, because one of them's like throwing knees. Like he he cowers over. Especially with the video evidence. Yeah, right? the video was on. Yep. And, yeah. and and after that, if he's like and he subdues he him now, if <coughs> he can run. See, but uh, here's the, here's what I think I would have done. You get one verbal warning. After that, I'm taking one of those belts and it's on. Bring right? it. I mean, there's a. There's, there, <laughs> Don't there think comes... I won't take that belt right out of your fucking hand and show you what a whipping really feels like, said Lefty. <laughs> oh great! <laughs> but I, I mean, I think I don't think you could really go to jail, and I guess that's the foundation of most stand your ground laws, where it's like, do you have a duty to run away instead of do you have a right to stand and defend yourself from yeah, any attack? That and from that, I I wouldn't convict that guy of anything. I mean. Now, if he knocks him to the ground and then he starts beating the shit out of him when they're trying to cover up and he's like, no, 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 you're going to take this? The tables have turned, bitch. Then, then, okay, no, 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 now you're committing the crime, dude. So, I mean, I think there's a, there's a fine line. But, but also, I couldn't fault him for running away. I mean, running no, away I mean, it, I, I, I'd let him run away. I, don't, I, I would say what he did was less of a bitch move than running away. But I oh, also, it, it definitely was, but... It was a silly move. He's not gonna. He's not gonna talk either of those women into letting him have sex with him again. <laughs> so why bother knowing him? So why fucking bother? <laughs> why st- actually, you could apply that rule to anything. And why stay in the room? Right? Yeah. <laughs> just fucking just the it. comedic. Just <laughs> he could have literally been like, oh, shit, and ran as fast as he could to the club, gotten himself a new girl, and just made it. You know. I don't have any female friends because I'm not having sex with them. Why would I? Exactly. <laughs> <Joking. Yeah. laughs> what about you, Bernsey? Would you smack a bitch? Is that, would you? Would you I'd stand up for yourself? You I would probably run. You would run. Okay. <coughs> like I feel like from the black if it's one girl, if it's one girl and she's unarmed, I could stand there and pull a Bill Burr and kind of lean back and rope a doper and maybe grab <laughs> her hands and try to control her. I, I'm all for like grabbing both of her hands and you know controlling them and being and like being like you know chill the fuck out. This isn't gonna go anywhere. You know. Uh, but if, you're, if you've got double wrist control, there's no reason you can't kick one of her feet out and tip her over. Just saying. That's true. Or <laughs> you're in the you know or, or in the Bill Burlock where you you know you you cross her legs so she can't go for your your nuts, spin her around and hug her, and then slowly take her to the ground. As she passes and, out, all the while saying shh. shh, shh. <laughs> um, but but we're talking about a scenario where we're dealing with women who we can completely physically control. You know, I'm I'm six two, 185 pounds, and I'm talking I'm talking about controlling a woman who's five foot five, 115 pounds. What if she's 165 pounds and she's a kickboxer? Run. That's when you run. You're you're <laughs> fucked. Yeah, I'm not a trouble. fast runner. I, I'm, I'm not a fast runner at all. I think it's time to start to start throwing some punches. What who's that guys? one? Uh, that one MMA chick who's dating? Uh, what do you showed us a video? She's like she's 
She's really gorgeous. She's and fucking she's, hot. She's dating Pat Barry, right? Yeah, I changed uh, my mind. Originally, I was like, oh, it's, it's like half a dude anyway. But then I was like, uh, uh, oh, no, no, she's really good. That chick, running. I Like, if she catches me, fine, I'll take my ass whooping. But I'm running first. I don't care. Just yeah, me. yeah. I, I would run from that chick. That um, although that chick is really small. I, at some point, it doesn't matter how skilled you are. You know, it, Rose Numahunas, something close to that. Thug Rose. Thug Rose. There you go. And um, yeah, she's really pretty, and and she's a great fighter. And, and she's got an amazing singing voice. And she's cool as can be, man. Like For so, sure. she and Pat Barry do a whole bunch of YouTube videos, and. Uh, they, it's just funny stuff. Like, she filmed herself. Now, the, Pat Barry, by the way, is a UFC level heavyweight fighter, and she slapped him awake every day for fourteen days, <laughs> just like out of the cold. Wait, she, you need to you need to define the slap because I saw her whack him wearing a like a twelve ounce boxing glove, sixteen ounce boxing glove, and it was a punch. I uh, I want to say this was a, she slapped him awake, but it was a good slap. And there were like it was a montage of fourteen of them. As every morning, she slapped him into consciousness. I saw her punch him in one video, and she hit him pretty damn hard. She's a professional fighter. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, um, I, I like her a lot. I hope that the two of them end up happy and stuff because I uh, hope they have they're a neat amazing, couple. I hope they have amazingly talented children. Yes, who physically dominate the world. <laughs> they just breed super babies. Yeah, I'd like that. You know, that doesn't happen too much anymore. People, it's all about love. In the old days, you know, you would get two really <laughs> strong people together, and you know, what I'm talking about Lefty. Don't. Oh, oh God, I, I didn't know. I didn't know until you said that where I you knew were he headed. I was gonna go there. I, I was gonna make a joke about it. Then I'm like, no, 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 no. People will seize on that. I'm just. Lefty, gonna keep you that were telling me the cap. other day about how your people are responsible for the entire NBA. <laughs> No, I never said anything like that. All right, all right. Maybe my mistake. I was talking about other guy named Lefty with the spiky hair. <laughs> Just for the record, this isn't me doing it this time. <laughs> oh, okay, it was a little earlier. <laughs> yes, it was a little earlier. I'm still, I'm still making the truth video about about Woody's gamer tag. Oh, <laughs> get in line, YouTube. bitch. YouTube.com slash LeftyOX. You can come see the truth. There's a... <laughs> There's a truth video about me every day. Every Same. day. Same. Me too, dude. Get out. <laughs> did, you see, yeah. did you see like the newest one or whatever? I'm not going to name names or anything on this show or whatever. I don't want to get like public attention. But it You was can like, type it in the chat. I know who. Yeah, it's our. Uh, yeah, I know who it was. Right, oh, so, him. Okay. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. I didn't see it. It was like, look at all these YouTubers and what they're putting in their description. Like he called it like meta tags. He was uh -huh. like, well, this is how he gets top searched in the Google search or whatever because of these tags in the description. Like it's a new thing or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. It, it, I learned from that. I saw that video now that you mentioned it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I got to update my titles. I could use yeah. some quotes. I could. You know. yeah. <laughs> I remember when I first um, joined Machinima and I, like three, three and a half years ago or whatever. And they they would send out these like emails, you know, suggesting ways to, to you know, to change your content or things you could do to get more mm -hmm. views. And that's exactly what they recommend. They're like, this is how it's done. You want to put, um, you know, you make your tags as broad and <laughs> far-reaching as possible. Anything that might be related, you know, things that are interesting in the news. And I'm like, like it's just Dude, coming from the top. I'm I watched that video, and here's, here's what I was thinking as I watched it. I have given a lot of tips to my friends on, like, you know, YouTube ideas, you know, times to mm -hmm. upload, tags, you know, just, like, concepts that would help. And I didn't know some of the stuff that Keemstar was putting in hit in that thing, like how to help with the uh, uh, do better in search. I'm like, why haven't my friends hooked me up with this? Why is it I'm giving all the advice and I never well, get shit? I, the best was uh, the best was the video that White Boy Seven Street put up the next day. It was like something about like cod ghosts or something like that and he had like a bunch of tags in the description and at the top it said feel free to copy and paste <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude i liked um i guess it's it's within the last pk pkas so cod ghost came out with a trailer and i re-upload the trailers right every single one of them i sit there i re-upload the trailer it's all good and uh my subscribers mostly like it because maybe they didn't catch it or and uh and it, you know, it's all win no one gets hurt by this thing to me if the thumbnail and the title is accurate then no one gets robbed here. You know, you can watch it or not watch it. It's up to you. But this one was so bad, I didn't want it on my channel. I was like, this is bullshit. There wasn't a nanosecond of gameplay. There weren't even really good hints towards what might be in COD Ghost, other than 
like fucking Romans with masks. Uh. So I tweeted out like this thing's not worthy. I'm not even re-uploading it. And then T Mart re-uploaded it, and then Blade re-uploaded T Martin's re-upload. So I re-uploaded Blade's re-upload of T Martin's re-upload, and then Optic Midnight re-uploaded my re-upload of Blade's re-upload of T Mart's re-upload of the trailer re-upload. And then after her came somebody else, I think, and then came Wicked Shrapnel. And the thing got like you know like <laughs> re-uploadception. It became this big long trailer, and I thought that was awesome. And it, I th I think everyone in the chain kind of mocked how terrible it was. Can yeah. we talk about it? When Modern Warfare 2 dropped, yes, and I'm doing it too. Remember they had that green like um, EKG thing? And yeah. the little uh, EKG things would spike into patterns that gave hints for like a frame or two about what would be in the game. I thought that was a really clever way to do it. And you watched it repeatedly. And you know, if you were a YouTuber, you could break it down and freeze it on the frames and explain it to people. And that was great. That's yeah. what a teaser should be like. This, The only thing I got out of that whole trailer is that one of the guys had a dog. Maybe dogs. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, imagining, did... I'm imagining these guys <laughs> as like, remember in Terminator, in the Terminator movies, the originals, when they do the flash, or the flash forwards to the future, and we're living underground, and the machines are above ground, and we're using like the German shepherds to detect the Terminators? I'm imagining that's the game we're going to play. That we're like underground, hiding from the bad guys who have won the apocalypse, and they're above ground, and we're kind of like freedom fighters. Yep, I said that same thing actually in my feedback Friday today. Like, you know the movie Wolverines? Mm -hmm. I picture it to be that kind of scenario where there's a couple guys using guerrilla tactics to sort of dart in and dart out and try to take back whatever victory from the guys who seem to own it by and large. That's where I think the COD Ghost will be based on the little hints we've had. And that also explains, by the way, why it's so far in the future, but we're using current guns. But I think the real reason it's so far in the future and we're using current guns is so that it can be the same fucking COD it always is since 2007. Like, right. Well, you know, because... It, like, they don't they, want to they, take a risk. Mm -hmm. it, it's... They might not be wrong to not take a risk. It would be ballsy to start bringing in needlers and lasers and Halo-like stuff into the COD series. It would be refreshing and it would be new, but it wouldn't be COD. <laughs> so this is a way to advance into the future without changing what COD is and, you know, printing money on a formula that keeps working. And that's why they do it is because people keep buying it. Yeah. They, they have no incentive to... to yeah, why would you change it. it if you make all this money every single fall? It's the same thing with the prices. People are like, well, why are games $60 now? They used to be this or that or the other thing. It's like, well, because people will pay it. That's ra rational price setting. They're, if people will pay it, they would be stupid to charge anything less. Same thing with Call of Duty. So if you if you're one of those people that champions for change, which is perfectly fine if you want that, just don't buy it. Yeah, that's true. I would like a couple of sci-fi type guns, like like you know maybe maybe kind of stay with the you know scars and AKs and M4 type variants that they've been doing all along. But throw in some sort of laser cannon that takes a long time to charge up and then just vaporizes some fucker. Make those the sniper rifles. Bam. Yeah, I want to turn some guy. I want when you shoot somebody with a laser cannon rifle, their flesh disappears and we're left with a skeleton. Maybe this year we'll get the propaganda plane too. Oh, we need the propaganda plane. That's fucking brilliant. Best I can idea. think of so many great video ideas with that. <laughs> <laughs> Baggots, you are all <laughs> I'm just about to do that same thing. You're gay. Every one of you is gay. Just have the propaganda plane in the air, circling around as I get to speak into your mic. <laughs> that would be so incredible. I want to, you know how like when Iron Man <coughs> flying onto the scene, they, it, it, like he overrides everybody's electronics and his theme music plays? Mm -hmm. I want a kill streak that's like that too. When I call in a VTOL warship, I want ACDC playing on every, blaring into everybody's <laughs> ears. Like that should be part of the kill streak. Make it an extra kill. I'll get it. I don't care. But I want, I want ACDC blaring. <coughs> I want them to know the VTOL is coming. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, or the Warthog, right? Something like a Warthog where you can't kill it. Yeah, yeah, that'd be perfect. Been a long time since I rock and roll. Everybody's like, oh, shit, not again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, it just makes so many rage quits, but who cares? Did Activision ask people to take down the Ghosts trailer? I yeah. saw that. It's weird. Like, if yeah. you're with a major network, it wasn't any problem. Like, all the IGN and Machinima guys were fine. 
But there were other people who told me that they were getting strikes when they re-uploaded mine. So hmm. I don't understand the rules completely. When they re-uploaded your re-upload of the re-upload? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to... Of the re-upload. You missed a step. <laughs> of the re-upload. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. And it stinks, but it, like, I don't understand. Cod is stupid for doing it. They should absolutely... You know, if I had an... Let's say, hypothetically, I sold pizzas and I made an ad. And then everyone on YouTube started re-uploading my ad. Knock yourself out. You know, yeah. it's fine with me. I, Cod knocking YouTubers is stupid. It's a bad move. The same thing goes for like Let's Play channels have to worry about um, the cut publishers. Yeah, the cutscenes that people yeah. get because LA Rockstar when LA yeah, Noir they strike out, people hard on that. Rockstar was all over the place. Like, do not show cutscenes for like your walkthroughs on how to do this stuff because we we will. It's just like, well, what the hell, man? I don't get it. Why would they? Are there cutscenes? Some precious. They don't want, well, they don't want spoilers. Maybe people once they see the spoiler, they won't. That's not yeah. what happens to me. Like, I don't think they understand free advertising. You know, yeah. it, if I see someone play Fallout, then I might have an interest in it that I otherwise wouldn't have had. Um, if they're going to be unfriendly to the Let's Play guys, the Let's Play guys should be unfriendly in return. Mm -hmm. That's... Speaking of Fallout, there's a now unfinished um, Fallout Let's Play going on on Wings' Let's Play channel. Yeah, he's, oh, did he? Me. He doing it again? Yeah, yeah he's doing yeah. Fallout 3. Uh, yeah. We'll never get to see what... It... Oh, yeah... He worked so hard on them too. Like he put a lot of work into them. 1080, you know, show you how to do it. So. Well, maybe whoever we raffle off his channel to can finish it up. Yeah, yeah guys, that that's if if you want to be entered into the Wings Let's Play channel raffle, just just post a comment that says "R.I.P. Wings." Yeah, like this video, favorite this video, subscribe to my channel, and you enter in the and Wings raffle. Wow, that's kind of self-serving, yeah. man. That's that sucks. Ouch. <laughs> Life is for the living, bro. Yeah, dude, what's wrong with you? He's gone. Stop living in the past, man. If I died, I want I would want Wings to get likes and favorites out of it. So does the guest get the Wings cut of the revenue then for the show, or? No, like, no, 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 come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's like $5,000 an episode, dude. We're not yeah, getting... what are you talking about? You haven't earned that. Yeah, We'll see. Maybe, maybe. Hey, what happened to your podcast? Oh, we just got you busy. You all we went see. big time, huh? You're like, I don't have time for this unpaid shit. People think... <laughs> <laughs> the the man who should not be named like once did this video and the math was accurate like all his times tables were right but every number he put in there was full of shit and and he outlined how I made like I think it was nearly half a million dollars off this show and kept it all for myself it was like crazy bullshit that'd be awesome yeah yeah truth is this sh holy smokes it, oh, my oh, my god. God. oh my god oh my god he's back from the dead it's, it's a, a ghost oh it's my god holy shit no <laughs> no no Wait. Is this real? Oh, no. <laughs> Wings, you're Wait, back. Are you is it right? really him? Look What's at up? that. I can't. I'm looking for a halo. Are you alright? How are you feeling? I feel good. How you're long little... were you unconscious? Since so about 12:30 this morning. Oh my god, that's what we heard. Oh what? my god, that we we heard you were dead. Who? What? That's the, always the, what you hear. <laughs> I can't believe you're alive. This Wings, I'm so happy to see you. Miracle, Wings, dude. I can't tell you how pleased I am. I swear I'll take over the desk from here. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to to suffer anymore. By the way, this uh, officially confirms that the auctioning off of Wings' Let's Play channel is closed, not happening. Yes. Yes, Sorry. you can no longer auction off that channel or raffle it off. Oh, you are you trying to auction my Let's Play channel? Off? Get weird. We Get thought you were dead. dead. We Get thought you were dead. First. Yeah, we started giving away your shit. I mean, Wings of Redemption is going to bring a much higher premium. And I don't care as much about that one. Well, we weren't giving that one away. We were keeping it. Oh. Yeah, that was, that, was go that was going directly to me. A as it says in your will. <laughs> uh. Well... I'm just, in a better mood. This is yeah, yeah, me yeah. too. This is great news. Wings is alive. Man, this what is... are we talking about? What were uh, we talking about? I was. I'm so overcome by <laughs> emotions that you're alive, Wings. I can't dude, focus. come on. You really talk, dude, I just got a really fucked up sleep pattern right now, and I forgot to set my clock. 
Wow. Dude, I've been going to bed like one or two in the afternoon. Just. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, you know, I thought it was real. Yeah. Yeah. CNN was reporting. CNN yep. was not of course, real. you know how they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Why are you making fun of Ted Turner, Kyle? Ted Turner should be your boy. Ted Turner sold that shit a long time ago. Whatever. He, he, he it's his, it's his baby still. It just. I go to his, his restaurant. Legacy. Does Ted what Turner you... even know where he is anymore? He's out west man? with his buffaloes. Has has anybody here ever been to Ted Turner's restaurant? No. Mm. He has. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's just Ted Turner's. But they serve bison or buffalo. I think it's the same thing. And it's uh, it's pretty damn good. Mm. Do we need a topic? Ted Turner's not good enough for you. <laughs> I thought it had wrapped. I didn't know if there was. Do we have more restaurant talk? <laughs> Uh, talking about uh, exotic oh, right. fillers for bur for sandwiches and stuff, there was some like taco joint. Yeah, um, lion. I'm down for that. Right? Some taco oh, joint delicious. serves fucking lion. Dude, I, that can't be real. I want to go ham on it. Lion. Like, can you mix some shark in that bullshit? I'll eat it. <laughs> Dude, people were like, people were saying like, oh, you can't, you can't, you know, serve this or whatever. It's the king of the jungle. I'll eat the king of the jungle. Yeah, I'm That's the new king in town. Sandwich. That's what you call a sandwich. Yeah, the king of the jungle. I, I, I want a lion shark bear taco, please. But it's like it's like a place that serves all sorts of like weird tacos like that. Like it said otters and something like something else in the back. Oh, they don't the even want a nappy dugout. I'll I wouldn't do a happy. place that served buffalo. Buffalo's good. Yeah, well. There's places that serve ostrich burgers and stuff like that. Too. Yeah, I've had ostrich and, and buffalo. I've never had lion though. Sounds good, doesn't it? I, yeah, I'll that, do that. That's got to be all kinds of illegal, though. <laughs> like, yeah. Right? Because you got uh, where, there's only really one place you can get those, and, and, and it's in the United States. That this restaurant is, and where the hell are they getting their lion? Okay, Flying so here's here's fresh from Africa, lion. motherfucker. No, fresh you're getting about fresh lions. from Africa. Come on, there's like a there's like a two or three day plane trip there. No, <laughs> all right, no, you guys are misinformed. So lions are easy to get. So I watched this documentary. I think I've talked about it on the show before, but it's been maybe eight months ago. Um. You can get those crazy wild animals like bears, tigers, lions for free. And in many states, you don't need a zoo license to own them. There is no law in many, many states against owning a fucking tiger. So there is this, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's like a Craigslist for people getting rid of exotic animals. And sometimes they sell them. Sometimes they're like three bear cubs to a good home. And you can just get this shit. So... I don't know. Maybe you get, maybe they're getting on there, getting themselves a line or two, and cooking them up. I don't think there's any law against it. I, I did hear a while back. Now that you mention it, um, some state was passing a law that they were trying to make it illegal to serve lion in the restaurants, something like that. <laughs> illegal to serve lion. Wow. Okay. So you can. So there are domestic. There are like lion pens somewhere in the in the continental United States. Oh, yeah. the, you just go to the zoo and get them. I mean, <laughs> just hop the fence at night. Let me uh, let me Search go them. off on this tangent here. It's illegal to serve dog in the United States. Good. You can serve lion. Dude, dogs are dogs are completely. Uh, no, you should not be able to serve dog. You should dogs be able are to a lot serve more lion. plentiful than lions, though. Would you agree? Yeah, but dogs are cute. Yeah, dogs are man's best friend. They're loyal and domesticated. Unless they're Kyle's chicken. dog. Pigs How about people? Where do people stand on this thing? Is it okay to eat them? I don't care. Can you eat them? Well, Go as long as you it. don't murder them. I mean... I don't give a shit about that either. I can give two fucks and a shit about a lion. A lion has nothing to do with my day. <laughs> you know, fuck pandas. <laughs> God damn, I have no use for pandas whatsoever. Oh. <laughs> They're really vicious animals. All right, well, though, aren't well, they? all right let's think if about this. Bamboo, what would happen if all the lions died off? Would there be like a, a bigger zebra and gazelle like population? I think like, there would the, be. What's the negative effect? I think what happens is when you don't have those apex predators there to call out the weak, uh, you know, animals like this, the weak zebras, antelopes, whatever. Um, it it really hurts those populations because the weaker animals are able to breed. And it weakens the entire species. And they starve. They can eat all the available food, and then all of a sudden yeah. you've got like a deer northeast situation where like these things just starve to death every winter instead of getting shot by the Have you thought maybe the tribesmen would eat a little bit better because they ain't got a fear of the lion and they just go kill the gazelles? It's the 21st century. Those tribesmen are eating fucking tacos and shit. <laughs> there aren't and many people out there. 
Ah, the Discovery Channel's full of shit, dude. Discovery, the Learning Channel's got Honey Boo Boo. The History Channel's got Aliens. I'm not trusting the Discovery Channel as far as I can throw it. It's you know, History TV has wrestling. started to suck so bad. I'm afraid that three years from now, Netflix will suck. <laughs> like yeah, all of a sudden, it's going to be all Swamp Hunter bullshit. Uh, That's already happening, dude. They just put the new Gold Rush on. Like I don't fucking care about I did about see Gold that on Rush. there. Yeah, like N Netflix is awesome because it's TV from three years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> Netflix.com slash Woody get a free month. Like you know, I think that's. <laughs> Uh, that storage <coughs> wars show is going to be pretty good. We're going <laughs> to like that. What show did you say? Storage, storage wars. wars. Oh, I'll tell yeah. you what's coming. I'll tell you what's coming to a television set near you. That's that's uh, Bums Night Out. Oh yeah, make it. You know what it should be. You know the new dollar ninety nine YouTube subscribe thing. Mm hmm. Do it, man. Dollar ninety nine. Cover. Uh, you can subscribe to the new Bums Night Out YouTube channel. We'll pimp it on PKA. Did you see somebody stole your idea flat? It's been on the homepage for like the last week. Oh, oh no! All, all they did was give a guy three thousand dollars. They just gave it to him. They didn't. They didn't care oh, what he was doing. Oh, I know that video. It was kind of so. The guy, what happened mustache. was the guy had um a, like a big fluffy mustache, and he could do this thing. I think he like licked his the inside of his lip, like that. And here, let me put myself in the big picture, kind of like this. But with a big fluffy mustache, it like danced and it was kind of interesting. Anyway, the video got like thousands or millions of views. They made like three grand from it or something. So they gave him three grand. Oh no, they took uh, donations or something. They publicized it. Yeah. They gave him three grand and a couple t-shirts. And uh, then that video went big too. So. Yeah, that's that's not at all what I'm talking about. I want to really well, take advantage the of the video. situation. I just said, 3,000 bucks. I'm like, they're still in the <laughs> car. Nah, nah. See, what you bums night out is all about seeing what this crazy old fucker is gonna <clears> do with the money. Mm -hmm. It's about seeing what. First of all, you get his his reaction to the beginning with like, like when you hand him a thousand dollars cash, he's gonna be like, damn. And then you're like, all right, let's do it. Let's hop in the bum mobile and hit the road. And you know, it's 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 gold from there on out. Did you see the documentary where they gave a hundred thousand dollars to a bum for a year? Yeah, he he blew that pretty fast, and now he's a bum again. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah, well, I've all got... the guys on, on Bums Night Out are going to be bums again after the 24 hours are up. But I'm hoping a... I'm hoping that a couple of them won't be, though. I'm that would be neat they'll... if they could pull it. Oh, I had something on the tip of my tongue. I was so enthusiastic about saying it. It was related. Oh, the... and I interrupted you and I screwed it up. I the vet prank call? Because you interrupt people all the no. time. Screw you, jerk. I... Bums Night Out. I forget it. I'll let it go. I've got a whole new topic if we're stuck. Um. Go for it. All right. Hypothetically, I want all of you to listen up. Put your put your ears on wings. You stop playing video games. Whatever it is you do. Stop if, music. <laughs> if he only did it once at like the end of like a four hour stretch, he turned on his Xbox. <laughs> he was like downloading new games and shit. If each of the fifty United States were to have a Hunger Games style fight to the death, which state would win? Texas. That was the first thing that crossed my mind. But I don't know. Are well, they... guns or no guns? Hunger Games style. I guess you got to compete for the guns. Maybe the Texans are going to be like no, 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 big no. fat Louis guys with North bellies and, and no, the Texans, cowboy hats. The Texans would be the, the tributes who, who were like volunteering. They would be that would be that kind of a city I state. Did. You can say that, but Texas is all fucking plain. You got to get some small people in there. You got to get somebody that actually knows the swamp, the creeks, and that kind of deal. Somebody can survive off the land. Texas ain't ain't there. It's a fight to the death. I, all that survival stuff is bullshit. If you kill everybody, it doesn't matter if you can survive off the land. But m maybe there's someone else with the skill set that's useful. You know, like, yeah, but they're not coming we out of New York. We got the same laws as Texas. If you if you want to consider open carry, they're not coming out of New York. New York is going to have some big strong hoodlums who can beat down a Texan and steal his lunch money. Yeah, but they've I never. That. I mean, <laughs> I, I I think Texas wins it because Texas has. And not to get all lefty on you here, but they might I mean, outrun the Texas, Texan to New the York weapon. City, I'd go with Texas all day. Have you ever seen those guys jumping over that border fence? Those guys. <laughs> first of all, the Texans are going to win because they're going to escape the arena immediately. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to. They're, they're like, that's not a fence. Dude, I, I, I feel like Texans have self-promoted this idea that they're such badasses, and I'm sorry I stepped on your joke, but they're really just regular people. Yeah, but see, Texas guys ride bulls, 
New York guys ride Cadillacs. Did I say something wrong there? No. <laughs> no, you just, I, that was. Uh... I mean, you got the rodeo, you got the whole ranch style living, all the stereotypical things you think about with Texas. And you're trying to say a guy that, you know, you know, grows up, you know, wrestling pigs and riding bulls ain't going to be able to take out Mr. Latin Thug over here. Dude, it's totally no. going to be somebody. Mr. Latin Thug over here, he has power in numbers. He has gang affiliation. When he's by himself, he's going to get his ass beat. All right. It's gonna... I just looked up most obese cities in America. Oh, no. Texas has three of them. Three of the top ten. Yeah, but we're not taking our boat, obese people out there. you got to get the good tributes. No, no. I think you should get a stereotypical where, person. Why don't you go where most professional athletes come from, then? So New York has no chance in, Woody, because a stereotypical New Yorker is a businessman that can't fight. Is that what you get? Because I'm thinking of the Harlem side. They kicked all those people out, dude. <laughs> what about Jersey? That's where they went. Bring it. Yeah, so, New Jersey. So, New Jersey stepping up in the game. There's some skinny people in New Jersey. 19.6% obesity rate. That's way better than normal. So I looked up what state has produced the most professional athletes. Number one is California. I figured it would be. Number two is surprising. It's Virginia. Mm. Uh, number th number three is Florida, and number four is Texas. Then it's Minnesota. One thing yeah. about Texas, <laughs> Texas has a pretty high population. Yes. So if they're like fifth in producing pro athletes, they're underperforming. I think Once that again, Minnesota number is wrong, dude. We I don't know. I don't throw West player. Virginia to the hat. They they're not producing pro athletes because I don't think they have colleges. But <laughs> oh, <bloody. laughs> but, <laughs> no, but Minnesota, I, Minnesota turns out a lot of hockey players, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah but that state's he named. It looks like we're talking football, but I guess every sport, I suppose. Um. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah I, I looked up, you know, just professional athletes. Uh, um, I've got another one. What here. about it, Oklahoma? No, they're fat too. They're as fat as Texas. Jeez, I want a stereotypical badass. You know, Montana has the skinniest. No, Colorado has the skinniest people. Maybe they'd win. Utah. Well, what all the fat asses in Texas are like big country. Oh, strong point. Strong. Big country. If you guys don't know, is a UFC fighter who just beat Chuck Congo, and uh, he's quite the badass. He's what from the fuck Vegas. His name is Big Country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the fattest state is Mississippi. Wasn't that one of Wings' choices? No, Louisiana. Oh, wait South a minute. Louisiana, Louisiana is literally the second fattest state. <laughs> <laughs> That's because crawfish, son. <laughs> Are crawfish, like, uh, really bad for you or something? <clears throat> no, not really. I like, I, I've never had crawfish. That just doesn't seem appetizing to me. It just, said, it just seemed funny to say. Yeah. You, know? um, you got to blame it on gumbo and crawfish. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the French. I mean, they got that French style. heritage down there. French people love to eat. Yeah. But, smoke, they smoke cigarettes and eat. That's what French people do. But I think Texas would win because Texas seems to me like the kind of state that would be totalitarian and they'd be like, you know, let's send our best and brightest <laughs> to go over there and kick some Florida ass, you know. Uh -oh. New you York would... Drew, they would be the Peru, Petruvian guard over there. If you do not obey my orders, you will be crucified. You know, I, I'm i showing a little Carolina and Jersey pride. I'm not rolling over for shit. You bring it, Texas. You know, I'm just going to go to Canada. It's I, like eight hours away. Canada's my, where we're, we're holding the event. My high school lunches were 12 minutes long. You know why? Because there were so many fucking fist fights in my high school that they had to shorten lunch to 12 minutes. Wow. Fist was, fights isn't really a, a... There was no recess. There was no nothing. You talk, you ate, and you got back to class. It was like a then prison. You went, then you went and played some golf. <laughs> <laughs> we were hard asses. We did have a golf team. But that's and then, not we, <laughs> then, we all, then we all went and got in the, the, the school pool and went for a little swim. <laughs> we did have a school we were pool. Hard. Fuck you. <laughs> but, you're, like, you're reminding me of Chael Sonnen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, repeat the, the Chael Sonnen joke about how hard his Oh, yeah. Is. So he calls himself the gangster from West Lynn, and he's got this big thing where he's like, you would not believe the things that I've seen. He's like, I saw a guy, he took a piece of gum and, and removed it from its wrapper, put the gum in his mouth, and he put the wrapper on the ground. Right in front of me, littering. Like, right there. Everybody saw it. He littered publicly. People were jaywalking. It was chaos. <laughs> West Lynn, is, you know, and he just described how a badass environment he came from, and, and that's his thing. When that's, you originally told me that story, I thought it was going to be like, he threw the gum wrapper on the ground. Some dude just shot him. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no. I thought it was going to be hardcore, but it was like, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> as bad as it gets in West Wing. <laughs> he owns a pizzeria, and he always, like, dedicates pizzas to his opponents and stuff. There'll be, like, one that's all chicken. And they, you know, that'll be some guy he's trying to pick a fight with. So, it's you know, fun. picked a fight with the wrong guy uh, a couple weeks ago, apparently. It was a shame. Yeah, I. it's kind of old news now. But Chael Sonnen fought John Jones. John Jones is maybe the toughest guy on planet Earth. And, uh, you know, going into it, I thought he had a shot. I thought that the thing that Chael Sonnen is so good at doing, picking you up, putting you on your back, and punching you in the face, <clears throat> if he could do that against John Jones like he did it against Anderson Silva, maybe he'd win. Uh it turned out that he couldn't do it against Jones, and it he was, was just the really opposite. Jones was, was picking him up and dumping him over on, and over. It, it seemed like he took him down at will. He did lots of damage to him. He beat him in the first round. Jones won, and uh, I, I'm kind of a Sun and fan. And there's, we found out who was better that night. Yeah, for yeah, sure. It's that happened. It's it's. I mean, I imagine this is what it's like to be a Minnesota Wild fan. Yeah. <laughs> disappointment. <laughs> See, that wasn't even me. Yeah. I didn't painful, even painful disappointment. Just, you know, I mean, you, you, you go in there thinking that you don't suck, right? You go in I there know. thinking that you had some kind of prayer. Even though the other team is highly regarded, you have faith in your guy. You, you got to believe. Yeah, you got to believe. But then the contest happens, and you just get destroyed. They just wipe the ice with you. It's... You walk away kind of embarrassed with your tail between your legs, not knowing if there's any hope for your team. That's that's how I was feeling after. Lefty, Lefty called me that <laughs> night, almost crying. He was like, "That was the great white hope." He was like, "Chael Sonnen was the great white hope. We we're gonna take it back. We we're gonna take the belt back from the darkies, and it was gonna come back to to our side." And and it, he was just inconsolable to say the least. Yeah. You know, you know what? You know what? Lefty admitted to me when I I confronted him. I'm like, "Oh, you're just a, you're just a Blackhawk fan bandwagon or whatever. You didn't cheer for the team until they got good." And then he openly admitted to me that he did not watch the Blackhawks because they did have one black player on their team in, in the past. Wow. Oh, that's and they've got black in their name. I don't know why. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really. I can't believe that he's a fan. It's really. <laughs> but it makes up for it. It makes up for it that their name and their logo are in are are very overtly racist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's so why it's like I, a counterbalance. They've got that's the. Why I can root it's for an now. Indian guy, right? Mm -hmm. Is Indian yeah. improper to say now? Are you supposed to say no, Native American? Say Who gives? Well, a according shit. to you, I can't go by you. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That's it. I'm not trying to embrace it anymore. Fuck that. No more embracing. No more. I don't feel bad, Lefty. I like the Atlanta Braves, and they got Chief Wananakahoma. Dude, that guy's awesome. Is that he his name, have... Chief Wananakahoma? I just put that together right yeah. now. Yeah. Like Wananaka so, Homer. I got. Let me it. say this about the Atlanta Braves, and and you guys probably <clears throat> know other sports teams much better than I do. Is it con it, so in a Braves game when it's like crunch time and the opposing pitcher has to do something big or the opposing hitter has to do something big? They they, they have a chant. It's oh, yeah. and everybody's doing the chop. Everybody's like waving their arms like a chopping tomahawk. And and the chief is out there banging on a drum that's as big as a car. <laughs> and he and everybody's going ape shit. With a purple baseball bat. It's so mm. fucking intimidating and it's so loud. It's ridiculous. And the only thing I've seen that compares to it is like the Duke fans. The, the, they're the just Florida insane. State football team fan, too. Yeah. Dude, okay. you never went to a, Crim a Crimson Tide game? It's roll tie roll. That's all they get chant there. Mm. It's the Gamecocks have the uh, the rooster going off. Just over That's and over so again. Stupid. That's so stupid. Dude, the greatest story about like uh, the whole controversy with like Native American team names or whatever was North Dakota, uh, University of North Dakota. They have, The only thing they care about there is their college hockey team, and it's the Fighting Sioux. And for so many years, I think it was every year for the longest time, they had a vote during elections if they can keep the name or not. And they have, like, the most beautiful arena in college hockey, and it was some big, rich guy that funded it all. And when it came time to, you know, say we need to change the name, it's offensive or whatever, the guy who, like, funded it was like, well, if you change the name, then you lose the arena. And then he got really sick where he was, like, terminally ill, and he knew eventually after he passed they would have, they would change the name. So he, he put a bunch of money into it and put the logo, the Fighting Sioux logo, on every single seat, every single tile. 
<laughs> and like you just like put it everywhere <laughs> to make Why it real expensive to undo. Cool <laughs> <laughs> and that's good. That's a, that's that's real fu money. That's yeah. Like yeah. from the grave fu money, like wings from the grave. Yeah, it, I don't <laughs> like that shit. I don't. When people get so politically correct that they can't have a Native American as your as your and even like the Sioux guy. tribe up in North Dakota is like, we don't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't. I you know if it's Redskins, that's one thing. Okay, uh, the Washington there Redskins. There is that. That's is that racist bad? to me. The Redskins. Yeah, that's like a racist term. It's Chris, like, that's that's derogatory. And that's, just imagine the North Carolina black people, Woody. <laughs> no, no, no. I, but I'm no, gonna, see, I'm, no. I'm taking it from the from my position. If there was some, you know, whatever, the Washington white skins, <laughs> I feel like, and it, it wouldn't hurt my feelings in the slightest. It wouldn't uh, hurt Chris, my feelings either. But some people were butt butt hurt and they want attention. Really? Chris Rock's got a stand up bit. He, he's like the Washington Redskins. That's so racist. He's like that. You might as well have the New York niggers. And it's true. I, I feel like I don't Russian even Red understand. Skin. I want if I had fu money, I would buy a professional sports team, name it the White Skins, and make sure it was basketball. Just fucking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> lefty, lefty would be trying to buy that team for me. In a second. <laughs> no, I can't. Lefty would be the mascot. No, I do the I do the play by play for you for free. It is, it is Hitler outfit with the with yeah, the mustache yeah. and the come out, he come out and give us a loot. The aviator well, glasses. The Luftwaffe is out there like in formation. <laughs> It'd be a whole thing. It'd be a whole chant like hi hi hi. Fucking <laughs> marching man be doing kicks. I said right to last a thousand years. Oh yeah, the yeah. team would come out goose stepping. Oh yes. <laughs> I, but, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the Braves. The, uh, that's what you called a, a you know a Native American warrior. He was a brave. So how is that racist at all? I don't. I, get it. I wish that every race had the same disposition as white guys in that they were pretty much impossible to offend, and therefore you give up. See, but that's the thing though is that what a lot of people don't understand, and that argument is logical. But the idea is is that white people have been the Super majority in this country for so long. You were about to say master media. race, weren't you? Yeah. No, no. Dude, another good story is though. <laughs> we just cut him off. Four left. The, the, <laughs> the high school over by my parents' house and the high school my dad went to, they used to be the Braves and then politically correct, you got to change the name. So I changed it to the Blaze. And then a few years ago, parents were like, oh, the Blaze sounds like, you know, you're smoking marijuana. And they wanted to change the name to the Flamers. Oh no! <laughs> because because that would be taken advantage of by your opponent in the stands. Right. <laughs> oh goodness, that's terrible. Oh, Every so often, I see one of my fellow adults do something that is so wildly out of touch. I'm embarrassed. And there you go. That's that's definitely one of them. I can just see like someone my age, but a mom suggesting that the Flamers would be a great name. Just. <laughs> Like, why not the Flamers? Why does it Maybe have to be, have to do with marijuana? But Lefty, what were you saying before we cut you off? That that the the <coughs> white people have been a super majority in this country for so long that they've you know they've been pretty much you know they've been in control of the media and um, they've been forming the curriculums in schools and teaching in the schools that they get to really shape the message and and what connotation words take so crackers or honkies while they are intended to be divisive are just they just been, makes me giggle they've been laughed off they've been everybody in the media has been treated as like ha 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 whereas that that never really happened with anything else for other minorities that is that are vulgar and you really think be, it's the media that directed that laugh off I, message i think it's no. genuinely a population that's just I want to say insensitive and use it in a different way. It's just not sensitive to that, you know. Well, it, I, I think it, and I've I, seen it other places. I'm, I'm sorry to keep interrupting, but no, no, the like other people like you. you Oh, heck, my name. My name is Woody, right? Everyone knows Woody's a synonym for boner, but you kind of own it. Don't act like you're, you know, cowering to it. And before long, it has no power over you. It doesn't. It, someone mm -hmm. call me Woody and like, I don't know, pronounce it funny or something, or say that means boner. It I, I, zero doesn't describe how little I care. It just doesn't. It's fucking mm -hmm. knock yourself out. You know, you, you yeah. Your name's Dick. You own that shit. 
Yeah, yeah. You just fucking. Yeah, you don't up. hide behind Richard. No, 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 no. no, no yeah, no, you no, go no, by no. Dick, and they say, "Oh, Dick means yeah. Dick." Yeah, fuck off, right? You know, like <laughs> yeah. don't I let it. Your... <laughs> yeah, don't let it go anywhere. You're having conversations like fourteen-year-old boys. I'm sorry. Maybe you can bring us up to your level. I'm just saying, Mr. like, from the you dead. actually have people like, ooh, Woody means dick. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh I follow. Have you seen YouTube comments section? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but the comment section is ruled by 14-year-old boys, Lefty. That's true. Yeah. I don't man. know. I still laugh at a good dick joke every now and again. Like, yeah, I, was, good I, was, joke, I had to keep from chuckling when Woody just kept saying at the, at the highest <laughs> level. That's like, that's like seeing it, say, a girl saying pussy, and you'd be like, oh. But it, it, there is true racism, right? Which is to not give someone the opportunity to deserve based on their skin color, religion, or whatever. There's your know, true racism that, that's suppressing, that's holding people down, that's not fair. And that's, a, to burn. <laughs> that's a bad thing. But then there's, you know, sensitivity that they could, you know, move past and, uh, I don't know, just do what the white guys did. If you could, if you could somehow, as a population, you know, grab onto the end bomb and no longer give a hoot about it. They've uh, done it. I mean, it, have you heard rap lately, Woody? I have, and, and but I wouldn't say that they've, you know, that, that suddenly it's okay for you to drop the N-bomb. And nope. Yeah, you know, that, that doesn't work. But I think the whole thing with the, with the, with the white vulgar terms, it, it's not really like an overt thing, like, oh, we have to control this to save all white people from being called honkies. It's just kind of a, you see white people everywhere doing these things and, and, and controlling language and, and teaching you language that terms that are meant to be I have, I, there's people that have studied this I'm not one of them because I'm not smart enough and blah, blah, blah. but unless you watch my YouTube channel I'm really fucking smart but um, that, that it's just they, they, they learn not to you know it's a learned thing where it's just like oh you can't really hurt us because we're, there's so many of us and we're everywhere. I don't know. It, dude, someone online, I, I ran into this total hater on Xbox Live. Usually when I run into people, they, they're they giant like super fans. They're so happy to see me and stuff. But this guy was a hater. He said I weighed 280 pounds. And I was like, are you thinking of somebody different? Like, you, know, you can hate me, but that doesn't really fit. But um, he also called me a nerd. I can't begin to tell you how ineffective an insult nerd is on me. I... It's it's just not to keep trying, dude. You know that that it's not going anywhere. And uh, I, I, nerd, honky, cracker. I don't know what else you could call me. White, like it's not. It's it's completely ineffective. And if other people would just adopt it, then you know it's a good way to go. Well, speaking of nerds, I, I hate when somebody that watches football. And religiously has whatever favorite team they have on their damn shirt. Wants to call me a nerd for playing video games. You can recite the name of every stat on your wide receiver's fucking playing card, but I'm a nerd because I want to play Metro Last Light. Fuck you. You're a nerd too. <laughs> Apparently, nerd works on wings. Write <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. this down. Nerd works on weight. Yeah, I, I, that's everybody's a nerd, especially if you're here. I hate when I see that from comments. It's like. You created an account on YouTube and you watch videos of other people playing a video game and you want to call those people nerds. It's like going to a strip club and calling your peers perverts. Perverts. Yeah. Just, like, well, I just came here. here. I just ca I just got here by accident, you know. And uh, <laughs> I'm just here for the beer. Yeah, Bill, Bill, there's a cover charge at the door. Did you accidentally pay that too? I'm here yeah, for the I will say it's this. pretty good. I will say this. I used to go to a strip club. Only to play pool, only to play pool. Seriously, the strip, and it wasn't that I'm like not down with. I, or I will say this: I don't like strippers, don't like strip clubs. But we would go to this place because it was the only place that was open, you know, 24 hours a day, and they had a pool table. And you know, there's naked women in the background, but I don't, I don't really care because they're not that great looking at that. How good club. was this pool table? It well, it was the only pool table I had access to. Ah, okay. Mm. We used at to go to a time. pool hall when I was a teenager. Yeah, we, but they, dude, they're not open late. We used to go to a pool hall. This one was open late. And um, you had to be 17 to get in, and we weren't. But we would show up, and we'd flash them our moped licenses. <laughs> and they looked just like real licenses. And they just assumed that if you had a license, you were 17. You, they didn't even check the date. We were mm -hmm. such a rebel. We were badasses. Yeah. <laughs> on our mopeds. 
Wow, that is almost <laughs> Shell Sonnen level. <laughs> <laughs> so we just flash the old moped life. Hard Better watch out for that, core. <laughs> that moped gang. They're going to go play some billiards. They see me riding. <laughs> they hating. All right. Did you wear your helmets? Oh, you, you guys totally didn't wear helmets. Hardcore gangsters that you <laughs> No, were. we had helmets. You needed but, them. Oh. What, are you going to break <laughs> the law? <laughs> what, is it, what if we <laughs> fell off our moped? Christ, Lefty. I fell off my moped once. I did a video on it. And, uh, dude, I, I fell off my moped and I slid like 40 feet. But I had this, you know, like in the 70s, <laughs> there were like those tiny little brim risers that like blocked the sun. Yeah. That thing saved my face. It lost like half an inch in the slide, but it wow. kept my nose off the pavement. You know, that's one injury that, that whenever I see it, I'm, it, it, it makes me shiver is road rash. When you see somebody fall off a skateboard, a motorcycle, whatever, and they just grind across the asphalt, you know what that injury is because everybody's fallen down and scraped their knee, and it sucks. But imagine it across like a large portion of your body. You know what gets me? Have you seen the people doing the scar tattoos? Yeah, scarification is disgusting, too. Wow. Basically, oh. they carve out a design in your back. Or other part body parts. Do part. a Google search on scar tattoo, Bernsey. I don't it, know if I want to or not. I, it's in images or is this yeah, an image search. Oh, what the? F what are yeah. you? What? Scroll down a bit, man. Like there are some. Oh, it, I mean, pardon me. You. That first one. That first one is. Yeah. Brutal. No, you psychos. What are you doing to yourself? Did you see the one with the anchors on her legs? No. Scar yep. tattoo. Is that what you searched on? Yeah. What the. F Oh, Her panties yeah. have like a little red cross on them. What is this one? Pretty much oh, see-through okay, panties, yeah. by oh, the that, way. That's the that's the third one. Scar oh. tattooing. I was looking at the one with the guy with the Aztec thing on his back. Is yeah, man. Aztec. This thing. is for the people that want the it's hardcore a, it's the life of being a scar down. face, but don't want to actually get their face scarred up. Yeah, man. It's, it is not cool. It is ridiculous. I I, I why wouldn't you just get a tattoo? I guess it's three dimensional. Whatever, yeah. if whatever floats your boat. But I would never do that. Oh, I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed with some of these tattoos, though. It, it's just get some hardcore work on them. Yeah, they're incredibly well done and and intricate. But you're awake throughout this process. And you know, oh wait, there's something you might not know. In order to get proper scarring, they put lemon juice in it through the healing process. Nice, classy. Yeah. Like this one guy has a Ouija board on his back. The entire board. Numbers, the symbols, everything. Crazy shit. Yeah, no, not for me. Not for me either, man. That's just bad. I don't even think I could get a normal tattoo, much less a somebody what gouging they, out. They just use like a knife or scalpel? Or? I used to seriously want a YouTube tattoo. Like, oh, man. Like either my, you guys know, like if you can picture it, my Woody's Gamer tag, like the little dog taggy thing. Um, I considered that, or I just considered the YouTube logo, like the red, white, and black thing. It's just something to commemorate my little YouTube journey. Like I don't have any tattoo. I mentioned it to my wife, and the idea was completely removed from the table. Uh -huh. like, here's a, here's <laughs> a non what if you got it somewhere where like nobody would see it? Like, I don't know, on your back? or Where would my angle? wife not see it? Well, I mean, you're back, right? Like, how often are you... All right, okay. I, I don't know what position you just thought of. <laughs> <but> <laughs> in which she sees, like, I'm picturing my lower back. I'm like, man, she's got to kind of be on the other side. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, trying. I'm really trying. <laughs> I don't have one. I don't have... Here it is. Here's what you do. You shave your head. <clears throat> Bam, oh. get it done somewhere in your hair. Optic Hex has that uh, has that OG tattoo. Does he? Yes, oh, it's he Optic has... Gaming with the green logo and everything. Or OG for Optic Gaming. That's on pretty his cool. Birds, yeah. should get a the troll face tattooed on like his ass or something. Nah. He should just have his own face modified to look like it. <laughs> That'd be badass. <laughs> I was planning on getting. Maybe one I could get like some online. scar tattoo. Just turn my face into it. <laughs> now you're talking. There you go. Sounds painful. I was so, close to getting a General Motors tattoo one time. I decided not to. Of course. Please tell me this is truck related. Of course. It, it was truck related. I was going to get the GM logo on my right bicep. That's a horrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, What's horrible about it, Woody? Well, you, for one, you drive a Ford. Well, I drive a Ford now. I've driven GM my whole life. 
Okay, okay, so at the time it wasn't ridiculous because at the time you were driving it. No, I, I, you, you're looking at it like I look at it like this. Every GM vehicle I ever had has been a pretty good vehicle, and I, I, I cite General Motors with like strength. That's why I was going to put it on me. It's not that horrible, actually. I, I should take yeah. that back. You know, it, if you like it, if it means strength to you, if you're, no, if it's okay. your thing. I, I, as a matter of fact, I think it's less stupid than my YouTube idea. Which is clearly a great Certainly one. less stupid than having somebody gouge pieces of skin out of you so that you can... And then pouring lemon juice in it so that you can remember it forever. Unless you were going to get a GM scar tattoo, in which case... My, my middle school gym teacher had real scar t- tattoos. Like, he, they burnt them into him. Like, That's at, like branding. Frat. Uh, like a branding tattoo? That yeah, was popular. Of- when I was a teenager... Um, there was like a group of surfers and they called, I guess you could call them a gang, but I just don't think of them as a gang, right? They live on the beach and they go surfing all the time. They just live to get radical? Yeah. <laughs> but they would brand uh, LO, locals only, on themselves. And it was like a real popular thing. There was like a particular angled LO thing or whatever. But yeah, That's branding. That's a big thing on beaches, isn't it? They don't like the tourists. Uh, in, among surfers in particular. Like the good thing is there's not enough waves for all the tourists. And World they Beach would... loves tours. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and they just sort of want to claim all the waves. You know, like, this is my beach. And I don't think they'd mind the tourists if they stayed out of the water, but clearly that's... Oh, okay. Yeah. Just stay out of our, our beach water. That yes. You can't yeah. You are welcome to visit our shops. Here's a squeaky shark. <laughs> but uh, don't take my waves. That's, like, the thing. Hmm. I wonder what it'd be like to be really tough. You like you know, what if you're Nick Diaz and you pick up surfing? He's a UFC fighter for those that don't know, and you know the locals want to give him shit. You, just, you drown them. Don't be scared, homie. <laughs> <laughs> if I could fight like Nick Diaz, I'd be just grabbing girlfriends' asses, people's ass, while they're on their man's arm. Like what now, sir? What now? I, that's a bad idea. That's not cool. So that's... wings, you just go out and look to start fights. Bad guy wings. <laughs> <laughs> bad guy wings. No, you want to go this route? Like, it, it's, picture yourself as whatever, you know, pick some guy who's unbelievably tough. You could be Brock Lesnar or something. How would that change you? You know, if you were in that well, top 0.1% of tough guys. I wouldn't feel so bad about buy, buy, buying stuff at the big and tall store. All right. Um, <laughs> I'd obviously have more money. I'd be in a lot better shape. I, don't know, I think it'd be all positives. Yeah, there's that tuberculitis thing he's got, but I'd trade. I would take tuberculitis over, you know, obesity, morbid obesity, every day of the week. Every day of the week. You might be right. <sighs> See, mine's going to end my life twenty years young. His is probably going to be, a, you know, pain in his ass throughout his sixty years. You Who could change, change it, wings. Absolutely, yeah. Dude, you could be down to two hundred fifty pounds this time next year. I could, but you know what? I think I've already done irreparable body damage to myself. Like, no, you haven't. Nah, you're good. Trust like, me. End your life damage? Nah. I'm a doctor. Yeah, well, <laughs> I trust the position of Woody. Doctor Love. You know, you ever thought that maybe a doctor got that C on his final exam? I've always wanted to ask that kind of question. It's kind of impersonal. <laughs> like, how good of a doctor? <laughs> yeah, how good of a doctor are you? Did you just get by on that final exam? I have. Didn't a, Jerry Seinfeld have a bit like this? I have a brother-in-law that's a dentist, and he's that guy. And I remember I used to see him at like family reunions and stuff. He's like, you know what they call the last guy to graduate from dental school? Doctor. <laughs> that's like his thing. <laughs> so, so yeah, they they get jobs and they go to work and they start practices. You don't. They don't put like the C average right beside <laughs> the black on the wall. No, they don't. You don't see their like. All right, I see your diploma. Nice, nice, nice. Show me the transcripts. Just cough them up. Mm-hmm. I always think about that shit when I'm like opening my mouth for a dentist, or I'm like tr- having somebody look at something. I'm like, does this guy even know what he's doing? How old do you want your doctor to be? I want him to be like 55, 60, because at least then I know he's got some years on him, so he knows partially what he's doing. But do you think he he's missed out on a lot? You know, if if he's 60 years old, he was trained 40 years ago. Yeah, I want a thirty-two year old doctor. Yeah, but they keep they, they keep up, Woody. I mean, it's like saying like you can't uh, keep up the computers are going. No, I've watched a lot of VR. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> yeah, I learned this on Chicago Hope. 
<laughs> yeah, oh, that's old school Chicago hope. Yeah, uh, don't make me go. What this the is hell elsewhere. Racist. I don't like it when my doctor's Indian, like like an actual, actual Indian. Bad wings. Bad, bad wings. You know what I it, thought it, though? It's yeah, not I'll, bad. But I'll like, join he's your racism. To speak the language, and I'm supposed to take medical advice from uh, him. You know what? I, I said I was going to join your racism, and it's funny that you said that. I was thinking if I hear an Australian accent, it's like cool, right? Australians are cool. If I hear an English accent. It's like intellectual or, you know, interesting. If I hear a guy from Jamaica or like South America or like almost everybody who speaks English on earth, it's like a cool accent. And then I hear an Indian accent and it's like, dude, you're messing up your W's and V's. What's wrong with you? It's uh, uh, even that when I think of an Indian person, I, I think of like the stereotypical like India where you see like all the stands on the side of the road and the cars blocking the road. And it just doesn't, in my mind, picture like this idea where great doctors come from. I, I mean, it's, it's racist as all hell. It is. But it's, but it's, it's what I think about when, I, when I'm sitting there and I get an Indian doctor. I, I feel like if you hear a French guy speak English, I, I don't know, almost all accents are kind of a positive thing in the U.S., but the Indian accent's not considered a positive thing. Yeah. I know somebody who was looking for a doctor very recently and they were like, it's really fucking hard not to find an Indian doctor. I just want a white woman. And I'm just like, eh, whatever floats your boat. It's your doctor. You should be able to have whoever or whatever you want. I kind of want a doctor my age, and then we'll just grow old together and sort of understand I mean, what's going on. But you've got to be a little bit racist when you're picking doctors. This is a guy who might have to cut into you like some, t some period down in your life. I, well, I don't know why race. I would rather he be a good doctor than any particular well, race. Well, yeah, but you, you, you get... <laughs> You got to be able to convince yourself, Lefty. You know what I think? The I, I had like a fifty-five-year-old black doctor one time, I'd and I am, and I immediately thought to myself, "I bet this guy is amazing." Because back when he was going to medical school, there was a oh. lot of racism. Yeah, he had to overcome a lot. Yeah, that guy's yeah, probably this, awesome. This guy didn't just float his way through medical school. This guy overcame some shit to become to become a doctor. He had a I, drink. I like to, to see that my doctor to. went to a Western school. You know, like if you, it doesn't matter where they're from, but if they went to a Western school, I kind of like know it as a known entity. But if they went to a school in like the Caribbean or something, or I guess that's Western, or you know, like I, I just want it to be either like an, an England or a U.S. school if they're a trained doctor. What do you like a classically trained doctor? Well, I just wouldn't want one trained in the Caribbean because that's that's a clearly like nobody else would accept my high school <laughs> transcript, so I'm going to the Caribbean islands <laughs> to become a doctor. I don't want that doctor. I don't yeah. care. You, you just you're probably a bad doctor. Oh, what if you got yeah, trained in China? I don't know shit about Chinese schools. Yeah. I, yeah. If you trained in Japan, that'd be a little bit better. You fix me with a robot. He could make me a robot, probably. We have the technology. We could rebuild him. Got no problem with my Japanese doctors. You guys are the bomb. <laughs> Come back all better. the Japanese doctors listening are like, yeah. They fit you with an Iron Man suit. Mm -hmm. Come back like, well, I went there because I had a chest cold. I come back. I'm Tony fucking Stark. Cool. I want to see pictures of Wings of Redemption in an Iron Man suit. Like, just blow it out, make it fit, proportional it. Proportional it? I don't know. It'd be like a tank. So did we decide... I, I'm not buying that Texas is going to win the state hunger games. You still on this? I'm stuck <laughs> on it. I, I felt like we just said, oh, Texans are incredibly badass. They sleep in beds of rattlesnakes, therefore they win. I, I, we should throw Alaska into the ring here. Also fat, by the way. They can be fat all they want. They're probably the fattest state on the list. I'm looking. But, they are. But the fact is, they live in the cold. They don't have proper sleep habits. They're just ornery people. They're they're fatter than average, but not the. They highest. also have the highest number of deep sea fishermen. Hmm. That that's important. Well, what about like a Vermont well, or a New Hampshire? Deep sea fishing is the most dangerous job in the world. I think crab fishing is. That I mean, that's that's crab fishing, deep sea fishing. Really? Yeah. All right. Actually, I think it's logging. No, it's crab fishing. Last I checked, I just checked the other day because I was looking where cot falls in on it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Did you guys see the video of that guy? It was like a 
It was a police stop, and the guy got out with a rifle and started shooting the cops. No. It was crazy. This di- the cops have this car pull over, and the guy just gets out with an AK and starts shooting shooting the cops. They gunned him down, but it was just a ridiculous video. Oh, wait, wait. He had a knife, right? No, he had an AK. Oh, I saw, I saw a the knife video. one too. They shot. They shot the knife. Got forty three fucking times. <laughs> yeah, they did. That guy didn't live. They arrested the shit out of him. <laughs> Is that the one where he's like, "Why'd you shoot the guy sixty times?" Well, that's all the bullets we had on us currently. I, I remember reading that. Yeah, that and was like cool. the the the, uh, the autopsy was like he died of natural causes. <laughs> like he was shot sixty times. How did he die of natural causes? Well, when a body gets shot sixty times, it naturally dies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the oh. thing Wings is talking about, they the police got in a shootout with this guy, and they shot him, like you said, 60-something times, and they asked the police chief, why did you shoot him 63 times? That's all the ammunition the officers responding had on them. And it's just like, that. okay, all right, good to know. At least he's honest. <laughs> At least he's honest. Yeah, right? That's the guy I want as my police chief. <laughs> Wings. All right, he here it is. anybody as his police chief. Dude, I'd rather have an honest guy than, than a guy that's like, well, the officer feared for their life but the guy was huddled in the woods with a knife. No, the guy killed a cop. They wanted to kill him. Let, let, let's just put it out there. You know, there was no chance we're going to bring this guy in. He's going to get shot. Is Woody construct, carefully constructing his case for who's, who's going to which state is going to win the Hunger Games? He's, he's, he's got the uh, compass out there. I say Utah. Little... I'm just going Utah. I'm looking... <laughs> Some Mormon's gonna just beat the shit out of everybody. <laughs> I'm the looking biggest for ever. the most dangerous job, and I want it to be 2013. And I keep bumping into like global stuff. I want it to be U.S. Here it is, U.S. Bureau. Ah, uh, fisherman. Fisherman wins. That's it. Deep so, fisher. What's number two? Loggers. Number three is pilot. Then farmer. Cop is number five, construction worker. The the national average, and then below the national average, notables are firefighters. Actually, not that dangerous a job. Firefighters right there next to cashier and office admin. Hmm. It's based on how many people die at their job. It isn't based on the risk of the job. Oh, okay. Because I was about to say, like, what about aircraft deck crewmen? Because they're pretty fucked if they go over. It's um, hmm. it's deaths per hundred thousand. Oh. Like. If you want like a dangerous job is like a crane operator, <clears throat> but like a lot of people do it, you know, safely, so they don't die. But it just doesn't make it any less dangerous. Or like high-rise construction worker. I'm surprised that isn't on there. Mm. Yeah, they just showed the top. It looks like six, and then the national average, and then the bottom four. So, there you go. I'm surprised the construction worker ain't up there because you know a lot of people die in construction. It's just not top six, I guess. I bet a lot of people get hurt without dying. You know, remember when Kyle did the whole thing with the hammer guys step their game up? I can picture like two like <laughs> guys stand, sitting there working on the on like the house and be like fighting. Like you slept with my wife. Like she asked for a bitch, and he just like has his hammer in his hand and starts beating the shit out of him with it. Did you guys see? I'm sorry to change topic. Did you guys see that the? Um... World Trade One is now the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Western Hemisphere, yeah, yeah. Yeah, our dicks are the biggest. Who gives a shit? What did they uh, just add floors to add floors? Yeah, and there's like some tower on top of it that's like no, they, fake height. They made one thousand seven hundred and seventy six floors. And then on top of that, they put like these giant like radio tower antennas things that they had to campaign to get included as part of the building height, mm-hmm. and now it's tall. So I don't oh, know. Oh, 1,776 floors. Yeah. Oh, look 1, at you. Feet. Sh- sharp feet. as a marble. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, it's, it's feet. It's yeah, feet. It's, it's not feet. floors. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's really tall. I'm about to say, like, what the fuck are they doing with 1,700 floors? It's yeah. enormous. But it's big. We went to, um, we should do it again. Go to the top of the, uh, what is it called? The Sears Willis Tower. Tower now? Sears Tower. It'll yeah. always be the Sears Tower. Sears fuck Tower. Tower. Sears Tower. All right, then. Lozon asked if he wanted the train. I said yes because I was too pussy to say no. <laughs> so, another broken hand for me. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> 
What's this rare dead sauce? What's up with the call dodging, Woody? The call dodging? Yeah. What call dodging? I sent you a message on Monday. It's Friday, and I, it's the first time I've heard anything from you. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me check my messages. Bash, go into Jordy. You sent me a message Sunday, and I replied. Oh, whoops, sorry. I got this up on the screen. And then I replied twice, and you said, I'll talk to you later, and you never sent another message. I sent you a voice message. Oh, I don't check those. <laughs> me either. Why, I never you voice? Why did you set it up? Yeah, it's a trap. No, I never no. check my voicemails. All get deleted. Yeah, I don't I, even have my voicemail set up. I I think I should unset mine. And, or maybe I'll set it and say I never check these. Send a text. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, I actually left you a voicemail the other day. It was yeah. It makes sense now. I literally have no idea that you left me a voicemail the other day. <laughs> <laughs> you must have so many. I I can all. You know what? I it's a, it, I picture like my email. I have eighty seven thousand unread emails. I have Google Voice. I'm not exactly sure how to use it. Hold on. Oh, that's great. I don't know if mine is a, is very appropriate to play right now. Like, if you're a bitch and you're ready to fuck, <laughs> go ahead and get send me a text message. If you fall into the other categories, you're getting ignored. I'm looking at my my text messages or my voice messages. It turns out my wife leaves a lot of these things. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like the the most recent two. You Wait haven't a minute. Even told your wife, like, honey, I don't really check those. These are from last month. It, it, according to Google Voice, my most recent one is from April twenty seventh. Google says you're lying, wings. Just Google can lie all you want. <laughs> I have a witness. Do you? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, the, the the bottom line is I don't check my voicemail. Hmm. Sorry about that. Would you like me to reiterate what the voicemail said? Are you curious at all? I I am now. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Let's put it on PKA. What is the voicemail? Yeah. The voicemail was like this. Hey, Woody. <coughs> story. I know you're just getting back from your trip, and you need a couple days to clean the garage. Let me know when would be the perfect time to bring the desk up to you. I need at least a day advance before so I can get everything ready and planned out to make the trip. All right, I'm going to reply to your voicemail. <laughs> See, Woody, if you would have replied sooner, he would have never died. <laughs> <laughs> I'll reply to your voicemail. <coughs> Dude, I'm sick. <coughs> I've been spending all my time in bed. Can we push it out a week? See? Wink <laughs> says, no, screw this. I'm going to go work on it in my unventilated garage. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the story of Wings of Redemption. Uh, so there's a local story here. There's a police constable in Durham who threatened. Fire. Did you say he was a liar? Fire him. Fire him. I like you. I like I the way you're headed on this. Who knows? He you know that's his default position. He doesn't know the story. He's that's just his default because fuck cops. Cause all right, all right. Him. So Lefty, let's get your bearing on this thing. He threatened to beat up a man and plant cocaine on him. I saw it. Yes. You saw that too. Yeah. Lefty, before he's white, so keep him. Both men were white. <laughs> Not even going to answer now. <laughs> uh, that, that shit happens all the time. So what this guy caught? If you're going to if you're gonna arrest this guy or you're going to fire this guy, then you got to fire a whole lot of cops that threaten to Then you need to people. fire a lot of cops then. This is unacceptable okay. behavior. It, I'm it, fine it, with that. Good. Fuck This em. guy's caught on me. I, I couldn't see what the guy did, and the video is somewhat edited. But it looks like perhaps before the video started, he was snarky. Like, yeah, that's the impression I got, that he somehow didn't show the proper, like, courtesy. He didn't call him sir, etc. Mm -hmm. And the cop has a whole lot of, let's see, um, let's see, what did he say? It's an explicit, an expletive-filled confrontation. I hurt people. Then I make cocaine fucking appear. You see, that's how I work. That's what I do. And he's like in his face and he's kind of on top of him and he threatens to beat him and, and stuff like that. <sighs> this is so far past okay that he needs to he needs to go to jail. I don't know. It, it, this is normal cops though. I mean, like, you just, did you not see the report <laughs> on ABC News that the NYPD has people that's pretty much tattletelling on them that they promote stop and frisk to get arrest? 
and they're, right. they're they're stuffing cocaine in their pockets just so they can meet their quota for the month. I I, I have a hard time believing that planting stuff like this is actually normal behavior. Well, I don't look on you. Look on live. Uh, back. I, I think if you were to look at the whole population of police, normal behavior would if be you like at the Jimmy whole population Quindling. of the United States. Woody gun murders aren't that big a deal. It's right. a small percentage. Right. And this is the same bit of ballpark here. It's one of the things. It doesn't matter unless it happens to you. I, I mean, they I, no, do it. It, it happens regularly. It happens but, every day. That you the, wake up. The if thing is, go to jail if, hold on, let, let me on. respond to your argument because it took a second to process that. You can't look at the whole population of the United States and say gun murders are normal behavior because it's not. It's very abnormal for someone to murder somebody. And, and, and somebody else putting cocaine in your pocket just so they can get an arrest so they can get one little gold star on their little sheet while your life is fucked up. That's abnormal too and it happens every day of the week. I think what Wings may be trying to argue is that while it is an aberration, it still happens a lot more than people want to think it does. Yeah, it's like saying Crohn's disease is common. Common, but let's not act like half the people have it. Right. right but it, and it's also it's also probably a whole lot more common than you would want it to be. Like, there you go. There, I, I think we're lined up now. Thanks, Lefty. <laughs> Yay, I'm a consensus maker. That's what I do. But, dude, I don't know. And this hey, one I hits home. Talk to the dead now, right? <laughs> Does that count? I can start a show, like medium. Yeah, you'd be John um, Edward. At least you'd have validity. I talk to talk to Wings. Talk to Wings. Um, I don't think Wings don't realizes I I, how dead he was an hour ago. No, he doesn't. Why are we talking about this guy who wants to plant cocaine when there's two other big ones staring us in the face this week? Because it's close to me. It happened oh. ten miles from my house. Or oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, Durham's not far from here, and. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know. It's like it, it, I played hockey with Durham constables and stuff, and, and it's like, wow, one of those guys. Well, the next time you run that stop sign, he could be playing cocaine on you and beating your ass. I still run that stop sign all the time. You don't <laughs> run that. Why? Well, why? Because it's your normal driving habit. It's just like saying that speeding makes you a reckless driver. Fuck Dude, no, it, it doesn't. Is, is it the, uh, the stop sign when you're leaving your house? That yes. first one you come to? Yep. Oh, yeah. Run right. We lost him, but he was about to give me the go-ahead. Run right through that thing. Burns, have you been running a lot of stop signs and speeding in your new car? I speed, yes. What'd you get? You got a 2010 BMW 328i. Oh, you got a, you got a little baby car. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love when people three, like... You got a 328. That's the cheapest BMW you can get. No, actually, a 220 is, but it's right there with it. You get the all-wheel drive Wait, or the... Uh, it's on what sales. planet is it appropriate for you to insult <laughs> someone's car purchase to their when face? They, when they buy a German car and they live in America. Wings. It's a nice Wings. automobile. Hey, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Wings, what's your favorite con gaming console? My favorite gaming console? The yeah. Xbox 360. Oh, bullshit. We know you're a PlayStation 3 guy. I, I have an Xbox 360. You have one? Yeah, you also Which have Which one do you normally see me on, Kyle? Dude, you are a Sony man through and through. So, Kyle, where were you headed with that? Japan. There's made Japan. <coughs> I don't know how I didn't see that coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude plays on a Japanese gaming console, but suddenly German cars aren't okay. You make a strong point. Because the, because the American console already beats the Japanese console. It sells less. But what American cars beat BMWs? I'm, I'm sure General Motors sells more cars than BMWs. General Motors is the is number one in the world. Number yeah. two, right? Well, we're talking Did about Toyota here, though. We're talking no, Toyota Pass, and they pa they got passed again, though. I mean, they've got pass backs, so and now GM's on top. GM's back on top, yeah. Ah, what do you know? Cool. <clears throat> we're talking a million sub channel right here. I would be pissed if he was ro rolling around in a fucking Chevy Volt or some shit. Well, you ain't got to get your Chevy Volt. I mean, there's Cadillac Devils, there's Escalade. I just realized I drive Lincoln's. a Japanese truck. Hey, wait a minute, Wings. Where was your truck built? Don't even come up with that. Where's the money go? No, where's you your truck your built? Truck? My truck? Which one? I don't know. Whichever one was built outside the U.S. One was built in Dearborn, <laughs> Dearborn Michigan with 100% American parts. The other was built in Kentucky and in Canada. Canada? Fuck you. My truck was built That's in... still North America, motherfucker. Mine was built in California. <laughs> it has Mine was built in California. 
California. That's where the Tacomas are made. You know why your you know why your Tacoma's built in California? Because it's cheaper to build it over here than it is to ship it across the sea. I'm okay. That's with the that. reason yours was built here. So I've got a Californian truck, and you have a Canadian one. A. I know the body was Canadian. Geographic truck, truck talk. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, also, I think that matters. It's like also you, the reason I went to Ford from Chevrolet because Chevrolet stopped started making things in Mexico I, I, and other right, places. Like, I don't think I don't care about the stockholders of the company and where the profits eventually. I care about where yeah, the workers yeah, are. Toyota ain't gonna build tanks for us if we go to war. That's what this is about. Yeah, it is what it is now, about. If we go to we war, won, if, we won World War Two. Listen, we the let, listen. Of I've got a, industry. Here's why I disagree. If we go to war. That Toyota manufacturing plant suddenly becomes a Boeing manufacturing plant, and we'll get some planes out of it. Yeah, as soon as we take their business over and get, get them out the country, just like we did in every other major war. Yeah, if we go to war, like hypothetically with Japan, their American plants, or yeah, I guess you call them that, are suddenly American owned American plants. Mm hmm. And all those sushi restaurants? Oh, ho. That shit's Plus, the ours military now. industrial complex is already freaking huge. Like just there's, oh, it's and, nice. and, 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 and <laughs> Boeing isn't capable of building planes as fast as the automotive industry. Ford actually built the built the uh, bombers in World War II because they had the assembly lines. Yeah, that was a while ago. That was a while ago, but they still don't build planes fast. They build them slow and they build them to correct so they don't fall out the sky. BMW made planes too, wings. They did, and they lost. Yeah, it's not the plane's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. <laughs> the Red Baron was good. That was World War One. Fuck you. Yeah, that was World War One. <laughs> yeah, he, he was biplane with a revolver. <laughs> I, got, I got nothing. I got nothing to BMWs. I'm just surprised somebody that makes a bullshit. Kind of you got to have a BMWs. You just call. You basically call this car a pansy car. Well, he's got the he's got the baby, and I'm surprised somebody with a squirrel that Minnesota Burns has wouldn't be running at least a 700. Burnsy, don't feel bad. He calls my truck a pansy truck all the time. It's all right. I like my car. It's sexy. Dude, it, my truck met his truck and it laughed at it. Tell me my truck's not badass wings. Your truck's dented. Part it's of its so badassery. <laughs> yeah, it's dented. Gives it character. Exactly, truck, dude. Like when a, we went, when we were like th Ali when he's sixty. <laughs> when we were thumping around off road and there's these like big puddles there, whatever, eight inches yeah, deep. Yeah, I drive around it. What he goes through? I drive right through that bitch. I splash everything in sight. It's a man's truck right there. Because I don't wash my old Chevrolet, but like once. I don't wash day. my truck. I haven't washed it since <laughs> I went to your house <laughs> for New Year's Eve like, of 2012. Like, goes on there. It's, it, it's a paint job for the next eight months. <laughs> <laughs> that mud protects the paint from whatever. Woody's truck was white when he got it. Okay, <laughs> that's what you're not understanding here. That's rust. Uh, you know what the funny thing is, me and Woody have the same fucking color truck. It's close. So mine's cool. a little lighter. Yeah, well, I think it's, mine's a little newer. No, you're same year in it. Oh uh, three. Oh, mine's oh two. So okay. You might park yours in the sun a lot more to avoid Jackie. <laughs> to avoid Jackie. Yeah, don't you? Isn't it like notoriously known she's a bad driver? Well, she does hit stuff. Yeah, but in the sun, what, can Jackie not go in the sun? Is she? A He's got to park it like on the front lawn, so she has the entire driveway. Oh. No, oh, I see. Yeah, <laughs> dude, she. Uh, Kyle, you saw her hit something just recently. She's a wonderful driver. <laughs> Magnificent. Would you let her drive your kids? Queer. <laughs> <laughs> Did I like these children? <laughs> She's great. I really am fond of her, but you know, there's some repairs to be made. Hey, everybody, no, no. What do you? You you weren't. You, I was a little worried riding with you as well. I didn't hit anything. I haven't hit anything in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't ran down children in days. I'm trying to think. What was it that scared you about my driving? Uh, you just didn't really seem like you knew where we were going much. That's that's probably on target. And this kind of guy that followed me driving a car is navigation, and you're just nah, whatever. We're going yeah, the whole here. the whole where should we go thing was was not all there. See, here's the deal: for like the first decade I lived here, all I ever did was go to work, go to hockey, and go to uh, like fight class. That is it. I am an expert. There is no greater authority on how to get there and and my house. <laughs> But everywhere else, I like I just haven't been. Like I don't just freaking 
explorer. But mm. Kyle still lives roughly where he grew up. I bet I know where I grew up at the same level that he knows where he grew up. But if you were, Kyle, I, I just don't think you've ever moved. If I suddenly took you and transplanted you and dropped you in, uh, I don't know, Kansas or something, and then made you so busy, right? You know, give you a job and then have you get a master's degree at night. Even sometime later, you wouldn't know every nook and cranny of where you lived. I'm pretty sure you live in a city, though, Woody, and it has the standards of crisscross and avenues and then roads. Woody's no, area is pretty complicated. No. Yeah. It's, there, I, uh, I, I don't live in Charleston, but I know Charleston at this point. And I go there like twice a year. Woody's area has some new highway construction. Like, I always. Really big Italian yep. in his blood. <laughs> I miss that. There probably is some. There's all sorts of well, Explain his force race, racist lefty. for navigating. <laughs> Are the Italians oh. indeed good navigators, lefty? Wait that a minute. A, was that a Magellan joke? Christopher Columbus <laughs> was Italian. Yeah. yeah what was Magellan? Know. What was he? I think he was Italian too. Wings, yeah. what are you? I'm German. Ger I want you to name all the great Can you German. Shit on birds for getting a German car. Wow. Please name all the I great German explorers. Lefty's really pissed now because he hates his own kind. I, hate <laughs> kind. I was born in the United States. I was born at Conway Hospital. Okay. Uh, yeah. I won't drive me a truck named after a French race car driver because it's made in America. You. There's a French race car driver named F-150. Chevrolet, Chevrolet was a was a French race car driver that the uh, that uh, GM named the car company after. Okay, okay. Magellan was Portuguese. Yeah. Portuguese. But Christopher Columbus was Italian, right? Right. Yeah. 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 There you go. But he got the money from. No, I'm just saying you had a, you ain't got no Italian blood because the Italians are known as navigators. Oh, I misunderstood. Anyway, the point is Toyotas are better than Chevys. Oh no! Don't. Yeah, I'm sure. That, I'm sure that's why they. All right, so YouTube's going to start charging people money to watch videos. I, I actually, I'm glad you brought this up, Lefty. Here's my hypothesis on this because I know I can't do it. I'm hoping that the channels that that eclipse mine start charging money and and, and, and it's like exclusive. Like you got to you got to pay to watch. And then those people that trickle down back to my channel. I've heard that theory before. I don't think that very many channels are going to do it. Just new stuff and premium content. Like the, the only channel I can think of off the top of my head is the UFC. The UFC has a YouTube channel. It costs six bucks a month to subscribe to it. And the channel has nine fights on it. Really? Nine fights? What's the channel? What's the channel? Is it just YouTube.com backslash UFC? I think it might be called UFC Select. Hmm. Nine uh, fights. I see that. Yep, subscribe. Well, gonna, that means they got to step up their piracy game because what's going <coughs> to stop people from paying the six bucks, downloading all nine fights, and putting it on their shit for free? What other channels have this page subscription? Uh, that's that's the only one I found, but I'm sure that there's more out there. Hmm. Freddie W. Maybe. Okay. Uh, did, you know, I just realized how little he posts. Like I, I'm a I'm a big Freddie W. fan. Not only do I like his videos, but I like the guy. Like he's he's a super guy. He uploaded a day ago. He's been doing video game high school. Yes, mm -hmm. and and he did it last year too and stuff. But like he has, he all counted up: two, three, four, five, six. He, he hadn't uploaded in a month, but he uploaded yesterday. He has nine okay. uploads this year. It, that's the cost of having quality over quantity. I mean, like you got to find the happy medium. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, he's been he's basically making a, a motion picture. The first yeah. one's on Netflix. I know. I wonder if if he gets paid for each play. No, he doesn't. Oh, do you know if that's the common thing on Netflix? I don't, but I was talking to the guy that worked all that out for him. For him, okay, yeah. yeah. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder what other people deal. I wonder what deals are like. I'd love to know more about that. I was hoping that his that the VGHS was like a you know on Netflix was a money maker for him. But I guess not. I don't know. Anyway, five ninety nine a month. For, oh, he get... for nine fights. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. And, and like, what's the what's the upload rate that you need to sustain or to justify? I mean, I guess that would be a on a on a personal level for everybody. Like, how much a given YouTube channel has to upload in order to justify the expenditure, right? I, 
they have a requirement to I get upload that. so many a day. I was doing stuff in my head. So he uploaded 36 videos last year, and so far this year he's at nine, at halfway through. So it's a uh, it's less. He's 50 percent down. <laughs> So at this rate, he upload eight, 18 or 19. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So I guess Video Game High School 2 will come out. I loved Video Game High School. I thought it was cool. Yep. Uh, what's going to happen to, like, if people decide to do this and all of a sudden you've been a long, someone has been a long time subscriber and all of a sudden they have to pay for it? I don't think that channels are going to convert like that. I, I see it as a way for YouTube to get premium content. Like, it, it, what if Game of Thrones came to. YouTube, yeah, true. you know, and all of a sudden Game of Thrones is on HBO and there's a subscription based channel where people can pay whatever, six bucks a month. Well, YouTube needs to shell out. Like if YouTube would make it like a premium channel for Game of Thrones, but you get to see it a day before the TV, then people you got pay for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I, there's a lot of people who don't have HBO who would love yeah. a way like a non-pirate way. It, when Netflix goes into a country, the BitTorrent traffic of that country drops dramatically. They, they have a legal way to, to see stuff. If Game of Thrones and Walking Dead and Dexter and all those you know like top line shows Breaking Bad came to YouTube and they started charging you know a dollar ninety nine to get on that channel, a lot less people would tour in it. Well, that's what kind of what Amazon Video does. If you miss a show on TV, or you, uh, you can just pay what is it two bucks for an episode? Huh. I don't know. I used to I used to rent off the place to <coughs> like three bucks to to watch a movie. YouTube's sure had a people. rental system for a while. Like you can yeah. rent, like uh, um, for a long time, I was watching. You know, there are George Carlin specials, full versions of his HBO stuff, and then they all just disappeared over like a, a month or so. Yeah, I can't stand when Netflix takes shit off. But then, but then they reappeared on YouTube as watch this special for like you know two bucks or something. Like that. I don't ever see my channel moving to an ad based thing like the UFC Select. You know, six bucks mm -hmm. a month. If they offered something like Twitch. Like, hey, you know, if you want to pitch in whatever, 99 cents a month, a buck a month, and never watch an ad, then um, I could see doing that. That'd be kind I'd of... I'd love if they did that. Yeah, if they did that, you know, that would be cool. And then, you know, people who want to support your channel and stuff, they, they'd yeah. probably be willing to jump on and be like, yeah, I love Burnsy. I'd be happy to give him a buck a month because mm -hmm. I feel like I get more than that in value. You can come watch me and pay for my stuff. But, but the other thing you about you that... You get the whole buck. I mean, YouTube's got to take their, their cut. Of course yeah, they would. They'll take 50% off the top. Well, but how much? I mean, how much? They could. They would probably take more. Because remember, I mean, they're, they're not paying networks, or they're not allowing networks to sell mobile views. That's all YouTube still. That's so wrong. Or not mobile views, <laughs> mobile ads, sorry, right? Yeah, they put mobile ads on there, but they keep 100% of it. It's, they, I, yeah, I've, I've said this a million times. The only way that that will ever stop is if significant YouTubers make some sort of crusade against it. Like if Freddie W, Jenny Mar Jenna Marbles, um, who else is like top of the top right now? I don't Judy know. Williams. Ray William Johnson. Ray William Johnson is a good ex example. Um, PewDiePie. Smosh, PewDiePie. If yeah. these guys got together and all stopped mobile because they said, look, YouTube is flat out stealing 100% of the, they, they take my content pretty much steal it put ads on it and serve it to you you know that is no longer acceptable i'm only going to use monetized platforms if those so guys like did a it class action lawsuit get get the ball rolling on this too i don't see what they'd sue about but didn't you just say they're stealing copyright <coughs> it was almost opinion more than fact though yeah you're uploading it you're giving it to them and you're mm -hmm. saying yeah. you can use it on all these platforms but if everyone stopped saying that then youtube would start paying the content creators That's what they do, but I'm just a Life would get better. medium-sized YouTuber in the big scheme of things. I'm no smosh. Yeah, my mobile views from last month are sixty-one percent. Eat it. That sucks. It sucks. It sucks hard. I like it when it sucks hard. Tell me more. <laughs> well, I say all kinds of more. Like pretty much, we're expected to live off ten percent of right. our views. Keep going. So, I'm just teasing them. <laughs> that is the fucking truth. When you, when you do YouTuber job, and a lot of people out there think YouTube is a masterful job, you got to live off 10% of your views. So if you're making 10,000 views, you're expected to live off that 1,000 views you got paid for. That's about right. Something like that. A bunch go to mobile, a bunch just don't have ads. 
And yeah. the Google takes a huge cut beforehand. Which they earn. They do earn it. I'm just saying, but yeah. it's a huge fucking cut. <laughs> so that's new topic. All right. Um, hold on. Looking at my topics. Oh, Pat Robertson. You guys know who he is? No. Google Pat Robertson. You'll recognize his face immediately. He's the guy that runs the 700 Club. Oh, the the church guy. The church guy. There you uh, go. Uh, anyway, he is crazy in the fucking head. Dude, this guy came out and warned everyone to beware of false prophets. People pretending that they talk to God. The thing the is, prophet. six months ago, this guy said he talked to God. <laughs> and that he told him that Mitt Romney would win the election and win his next term, too. God was wrong. God was wrong. <laughs> God. Well, he's, also, he's also 83 damn years old. He doesn't know what the hell yeah, he's, he's been talking doing this about shit for 40 anymore. years left. You don't give him that bullshit. Is he 83? Yeah, he's, he's 83, one. but he's been doing this shit since he's been on that damn Christian TV show. <laughs> Right, but he doesn't care anymore. He he doesn't know. He doesn't care. He's like, I don't oh, care. Oh, he cares about that paycheck that they put in his pocket. To He's save a false prophet. Money. He is a false prophet. He says he talks to God and that God gives him like prediction, election predictions, and now he's saying, watch out for false prophets. In 1979, Robertson predicted the end of the world would come October, or November of 1982. Wow. Oops. <laughs> you know, we pointed out that Pat Robertson is 83 years old. Do you know how old William Shatner is? Probably no. around there too. He's eighty-two. What? Damn. William Shatner. The, and for you young guys, the guy from the Priceline ads is eighty-two fucking years old. That is the best looking eighty-two year old man in the he world. He was fighting a he was fighting a dragon on my YouTube video the other day. Dude, William Shatner. Yeah, he was. <laughs> William Shatner. You gotta you gotta remember back. William Shatner was fighting that lizard man in the desert back in the sixties. So it makes sense. It just you just forget that this guy was Captain Kirk back in you know, nineteen sixty nine or something. He still looks fantastic, dude. Yeah, Who I does? Him, I had him pegged as like middle to late sixties. Yeah, like I knew he was old, but holy eighty damn two years old. He, he's aging well. He's he well. He's had plastic surgery. Like a great diet and a great workout regimen. He's had plastic surgery, and he wears a wig, but still he looks good. Wow. He looks better than Sylvester Stallone. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to say wearing a wig is a bad thing in this case. I mean, people look at wearing a wig is bad. Like, oh, I don't think it's bad. Chuck Norris has been wearing a wig since like the 19, the late 70s, early 80s. Ted Danson. Ted Danson. Has, Ted, Ted Danson has one of the best wigs in Hollywood. That guy looks really. Looks good. Ted Danson wears a wig. He's been that guy's bald. bald. Is, yeah, he's bald. I want Minnesota birds. I see you wear a hat a lot. What do you got going on up there? My hair. Oh. oh yeah, that's some, right. that's some thick hair right there. And Until you messed it up, I, I I didn't know. I was like, "What do we got going on?" I mean, that, that hair is like uh, Mo at first. Yeah, he's like, "My hair ain't playing no shit." <laughs> um, I think Minnesota Burns takes the, takes the cake. I think I thought my wall was bland, but he's got like a Manila folder wall oh, behind. Yeah. Fantastic. Wiggs, you're sitting in the goddamn dark. I know. I left you here. You want to see it? There you go. They're better. Now you can give them shit. And this week on wall. Hoarders. <laughs> it just looks awesome. <laughs> back there. What'd you, you say? Room, what do you know this room's, room is spotless? Wait, wait. I don't know if I can get on board with that. It doesn't I look spotless. I don't spot either. It looks yeah. like in that room. Just saying. That's, I got my Xbox game sitting on the, on the workout. Stacked thing. up chest high. Here to continue. <laughs> they're going to see. <laughs> and there's like a little table back there, and there's a poster sitting over there. Were those Xbox games there last week? Yes, they were. I'm I'm fearing that exercise machine's not getting used. It's not getting used. Holy I, shit, Sly is 66. Dude, that was a yeah. successful video series. Hop back on the bike. Yeah. I've been severely depressed lately. I've been hopping back on the pizza. Why have you been depressed? Um... Uh, spiraling out of control bankruptcy. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh my god. It's his comfort gun. It's his comfort gun. <laughs> well, my yeah. depression stems from. And then he grabs the <laughs> gun. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's, I'm just not where I want to be, you know, financially in life. Um, 
and I don't really see, have any kind of foreseeable future that's you know, crystal clear laid out for me. And like, I need to turn my channel around, and I can't do it. And I don't know; it just bothers me. It feels like I'm alone all the time. All right. So the thing to do in this situation, right, is to like take action, get on that winning path, and then just continue on it. You know, on the channel. There. Well, okay. Then I think you should mix in some real life stuff. I'd love to see a Truck Tuesday. You know, Kyle and I were talking about it before the show started. Go to a dealership, get a truck overnight, tell them you need to show it to your wife or something. I don't care, or lie. And then grab your freaking, you know, phone and show me why this one's C V joints yeah. are better than that one. This one's You're, leaf sprung uh, substraction is worse than something else. It's not hard to make a really uh high effort looking car video. Stick a GoPro out on the fender so it's, you know, viewing half the tires spinning and half the road and cut that in and you know, rev the thing up and cut oh, it all together. Do it. Do yeah, it. Be good. Actually do it. And then have a firearms Friday. Go out there, shoot a gun into the water or something. And, and, and what if you did something goofy with the truck? Like, what if you, like, kind of, like, you're like, well, nobody's around. You, like, jump some railroad tracks in a borrowed truck. It'd be funny. It'd I'm be not going to do that. That's a little, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, guy. Nah, <laughs> do it. Do it. Well, make that YouTube money. The insurance covers it no matter what. And then you got to videotape and you bring it back all beat up. Or... <laughs> One of the problems is, like, I, car dealers don't really like me. Well, there must be some that don't know you. <laughs> I'm gone, I had to go to Myrtle Beach to do it. All right, we got a plan. All right, okay. you you said what's the plan? Now we know the plan. Go to Myrtle Beach, get a truck, keep it overnight, do Truck Tuesday, stick a GoPro on the fender, jump a railroad track, and crawl under and in the car and show us what it's like. Wings, if I can just add one more thing onto this, this was my addition. I think it just gives it a little something special. Do Truck Tuesday, but upload it on like Thursday. <laughs> it makes it wings like. <laughs> and still call it Truck Tuesday. It'd be like, what's up, guys? It's Truck Tuesday. But don't even act like like when people are like, why are you uploading Truck Tuesday on Thursday? Just don't ever reference it. Just do Truck Tuesday on like Thursday. Just upload it randomly any day of the week and call it Truck Tuesday no matter what. So that's one. Firearms Friday. It doesn't even have to be hard. You can shoot a gun in your backyard. Here's the, here's the thing you guys are failing to understand. <coughs> I hate being in front of the camera. Everybody works, baby. It's not that it, It's not about working. Like, so, I really so then, don't like the way I look. You know other YouTubers you can collaborate with. I'm on Minnesota Burns' ass every day trying to get him to play PC games. Because I need some yeah, of that you know, YouTube yeah, money. Yeah. We play Trouble on Terrace Center once in a while. Yeah. Let me see my lefty messages. Oh, dude, I was getting... May 6th was last time Lefty sent me a Skype message. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let me, let me gazzo this shit for you. See. No, no, no. Let me Careful see. about the gazzo. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't show Oh, yeah. It. You're right. Thank you for catching me. Actually, we're, no, they can't see it. Never mind. Yeah. If it was me, it'd be stupid. If it's you, I think you can get away with it. So, Firearms Friday, what are you going to do? I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's Friday today. I just woke up. <laughs> I need to get back on Skype. I haven't opened Skype in ages. Um, what was I going to say? Fire of Friday and Truck Tuesday. Two good video series ideas for you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what, how to fill in the other 20 videos I need a week. I hear you. Uh, you know, the Fallout series is back. Um, it's in my secondary channel. You build that? Wings, look, I'm doing this off the top of my head. It's only <laughs> so much magic in here. <laughs> so so much saying, like, <laughs> what, what I gotta I keep some for myself. <laughs> what I, well, since we're on this topic, what I need is I need to abandon Call of Duty 100%. Like, it's not growing my channel. I, I I lost eight subs in total last week. I mean, this week I'm projected to get 16 total subs. And it's like, ah, uh, it, it's just not there for yeah, me. Yeah, but abandoning Call of Duty is gonna hurt. You grew 42 term. subs today. No, yeah, I grew four or two subs today, but I'll probably lose like 38 tomorrow. I'm talking about for the entire week. Okay, I'm just throwing it out there. But Wayne's, you got to understand, dude, when you when you abandon, trust me, when you abandon Call of Duty, like, yeah, Call of Duty is like, you you know, the growth of your channel is, is being stifled, but the views on your channel once you abandon Call of Duty, probably, unless you like strike, strike it rich with like Truck Tuesdays or Firearms Friday. Well, people love the real life stuff. Like, my best video of the week was me taking my camera out in the dark and talking about going to Woody's. 
do it more. You made to get, try to get comfortable. I mean, with my last Call of Duty video got eight thousand views, Lefty. Eight thousand. Right, and that's my point. But you, you, like doing other stuff other than like real life stuff, but like which I don't understand because my Call of Duty views were getting forty thousand three months ago. Well, that was February. That was January. That was but, four months ago. Yeah, but it, it, like don't mess with me. Cinema, One through five, I'm badass. <laughs> Bernsey, know, give us I a know. secret to YouTube success. What can we do to be a top of the game? Dude, there's really player? no secrets of it. Yeah, it's, it's mainly all hoping that YouTube puts you up there and doing whatever you can to get on the front page. Use quotes in your video titles. Burn. Tag. You, gotta, <laughs> you gotta tag the description. You gotta do that. Yeah, but that's that's against YouTube policy. Not if it's relevant. No, they tell you not to do that. They don't enforce it, though. Yeah, they don't enforce it, but it's like, or if you don't get caught speeding. Well, I do that for, like, if I do, like, Let's Play series and stuff like that, like, I, I have it, it just I... as a matter of course, just because, like, I don't want to be writing out the tags every time. So I have a text file with the with the metadata for the video, and I just copy-paste and then copy the tags at the very bottom and then just put them in the tags thing, just because I can't, I mean, you know, you can't write out the tags every time. I mean, you can, but it's a pain in the ass. So I don't know. But nobody wants to hear about my YouTube woes. I bet they do. I bet people are really interested in this section of PKA. Okay. I so, mean, uh, is, is that... YouTube's hard. <laughs> what'd you say? That YouTube's hard. Like, I, I'm an emotional wreck because of... Um, I mean, I went from, you know, being on top to being on the bottom to being where I'm at now. And it's just like, it's a roller coaster. I'm like, it goes up and down. Like, January of 2012, I was at the bottom again. But all, then all of a sudden, um, a big change came. And all of a sudden, I went from being at the bottom to making a really good living again. And then it ha Then they dropped that living, and now I'm back at the bottom again. And it's like, oh my lord! And it's 27. Got great hair. I mean, I, the last seven days I've sat here in this chair. There, there's no fun time. There's no going out. There's no hanging out with the girlfriend. I haven't texted my girlfriend in five days because I've sat here, and and where well, I should be. Trying to do something inventive, I just I just draw blanks. Sometimes I run into that trouble too. Like um, I have ideas. I know things that would be good, but I'm in my routine of making like COD videos. Like I've gotten to the point where I can make a COD video or two every day, and it's just easy for me, right? Like I I know how to talk for between four and twelve minutes, right? That's what my COD video is the length. I know how to come up with ideas. I know how to produce them and make them and get them and it. It's like I wake up every day and I'm prepared to do that work. What I'd like to do more of is wake up today and do something that I don't do all the time. That's you know? what people want to see too. But it's like, yeah. like I think about Truck Tuesday. I'm like, all right, <coughs> now I got to figure out how to get, how to bullshit somebody because I'm not good at lying. I'm not a good liar at all. And by the way, this isn't stealing your idea. It was totally Jackie's. But she's like, I know what I want for Mother's Day, and this is something she's been complaining about for months now. She wants me to change her car's oil and get her truck or get her car inspected, the Toyota. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna vlog that. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna change the oil in the, in the two trucks. You can't steal ideas in automotive. What do you know? I mean? I don't care. Okay, I just didn't want it to come across like I was doing Truck Tuesday. I'm not. I'm just one time, my wife wants this, and I'm gonna show. Six people. months from now, what he's like, Truck Tuesday. To <laughs> the Next here's here's another thing. You guys might run into this. You ever start to think, all right. Back, my grandma had a starter go out probably six months ago. I'm like, I'm going to videotape myself changing this starter just in mm -hmm. case people are interested in it. And I start doing it, and by the time I get frustrated, I just change the starter without worrying about the camera. All right, so here's how you do that. You set up two cameras, one on the left side of the hood, one on the right side hood, zoomed in, and you do your work, and then you go back and edit, and you do a voiceover. But you have to go up under for the bell housing. Then you, it's, it's pretty easy what your next step is then. You gotta take a camera and put it up under. Yeah, and you and you you throw your shop light down there so you got lighting and you point it up. You can do this stuff with two Go GoPros. I I guess what I'm saying to Wings is like there are times when I find myself just doing the same thing, and I and you. I'm in the same and, ballpark. Yeah, you? Like, you gotta get out there I'll and do something like, All different. Right, now I need a COD footage to put over this COD gameplay, and it's like, oh, nobody actually wants to watch this. <laughs> Nobody cares how good Wings is at Call of Duty. I'm they doing, want to play with me, but they don't care about watching me. I'm doing Tech Tuesday now. 
And it's not like the series is getting a million views a video or anything, but I think it'll find its legs at some point and it gets overwhelmingly positive feedback. And I feel good making a video that's not the same as all my other videos. Yeah. And I don't know. Like another thing, I don't know. It's like I never can get up with Lefty. People love me and Lefty playing Armor 3. We can play. You need to get on. Play. I know we can play. It's my fault. I mean, like, I, dude, let's play. I, some... I get, I get into the point where I'm like, all right, I gotta play Call of Duty. Now, something in my brain goes, I have to play Call of Duty. Yep. It's not like, all right, I'm not gonna play Call of Duty. I'm gonna go play with Lefty. No, I push Lefty off so I can play Call of Duty to get my little ten thousand view video out. It's a, it's whatever. Well, it it's a it's gonna be a it's a rough step. You've learned a lot of habits. You learn you've learned the Call of Duty habit, right? Yep. Yeah. And it's a, it's a habit that's been five years in the making. Like so, so break it. Hutch had this line, right? Like you know, you want to build self esteem, you have to do esteemable acts, and that's not perfectly applicable to this. But it's this notion of you have to break out of what you're doing now that that isn't making you happy, and do what does make you happy. And then when that becomes your next routine, now we've got something going for us. Yeah, but see, what makes me happy is riding Escalades, and you got to have good money to do that. I just drove an Escalade. I, <laughs> you'd have loved it at that airsoft event. Yeah. Um, I would like a kid in a candy store. I would have just drove the Escalade the entire time. So the the guys, it was um, BlackOpsAirsoftStore.com. They're the people that made all that happen. And the owner gave me their Escalade because we didn't have a car or anything. So he just gave me his. It was pimped. It had you know the nice GPS and the leather seats. And it looked like it was fully loaded. Like it wasn't lacking for any options. And uh, it was cool. You drove it around all weekend. It was fun. Yep. You'd have liked it. I wonder if I can get it. Let me get my brother in on this. Get your brother in on what? Well, I was, you're thinking about Truck Tuesday. Yeah. I'm like, how about I go get one of those new Dodge Rams with the Pentastar V6? Because everybody, I see him over there. And I know a lot of people don't care, but I wonder how the Pentastar matches up to my EcoBoost. Dude, because people are going to watch this show on Saturday. The drag strip and then drag both of the trucks and have like a wide an angle camera on there. People are going to want that video by Tuesday. Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my idea made it in. Yes. People are going to be tweeting you, asking you where it is. They're going to say, "Yeah, you know what?" They're they're asking for painkiller already topics, right? And some guy wrote here, "Let me find it for you." Um, Mike talk. No, all capital letters, exclamation points. Truck talk. No objections. They want your truck talk, baby. I'm good at it. There you go. Just, I don't know. Maybe be a little bit secretive about where you get the trucks and try to hide that from people well, that, like, the dealers that may watch you drag racing their trucks <laughs> while you're supposedly taking them to show them to your wife or something. <laughs> like, here I am at the drag strip. I was going to bet you go have a dealer tag on it. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you see, that's, that's why careful editing, you have to hide those things. Yeah. Just take the dealer tag off of it. It's on private property. Yep. I think I'm going to do more tips in my videos. I've been thinking about that. Like... Tips um, like making videos or like actual Call of Duty tips? COD tips. Like I kind of moved away from that. Like what is, there to, what is there to put out there now though? I discuss, I, what I was thinking is I discussed my decision making on what's happening during good games. This oh, is so why I did this. What Onslaught did back in the day. Onslaught did it, x did it, lots of people did it. But the thing is I think a lot of my videos appeal to people who already like me. And I want to do some videos that appeal to people who are just meeting That's me for the, the first time. Right there. That's the problem. I'm doing videos for people that already watch my channel. Yep. And I'm going to do some stuff that attracts people who are not already watching my channel. New topic. Okay. Um, Wings, they want you to come up with a ridiculous topic. A ridiculous topic? There you go. Like, define ridiculous. What's oh. the biggest pimple you ever popped? Tell us about it. I don't have one. What? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I had a lot of pimples when I was young, but I, I don't. I was too pussy to pop them, so I naturally let them just like go away on their own. There okay. Was one on, there was one on a video on Facebook going on for a long time a while back. Some guy had like a boil on his back, and they like yes. cut, cut it open, and there was like cartilage coming out of it. Dude, that's a particular kind of cyst, and if you don't get it all out, they come back. 
and um, it also smells really, really the bad. The lady had black rubber gloves, and they're outside. Oh, I got topic, please. I got. They were the kitchen. What are the Kyle? You uh-huh. might have to get your she out. had a scalpel, right? I want to. Uh, we're, yeah. we're still on topic here. One second. All right. All right. So, so I used to get them really bad on my back. And the problem with them being on your back is they're hard to get to, and they start getting big, and they start getting sore as fuck. And finally, it's one of those things where, I, when when, you're, when I reach all the way back there, I don't have full strength of my like thumb and forefinger. I can't really get anything going. So you kind of got to like squeeze really hard and fast. And th- it was disgusting. It sprayed the mirror with like bloody pus. Horrible. It's horrible. Those things are super gross, but I like but I like watching the videos of people popping big crazy nascals. I saw a video on WorldStarHipHop.com. Those <laughs> videos to me are right next to Two Girls One Cup. Like they are so super disgusting, revolting. Yeah. But I've seen them. There. So this old guy is standing in like a, a backyard, and this woman has these black rubber gloves, and she is milking this cyst on his back. And I am not exaggerating how much disgusting white pus came out of this thing when I say it was at least like four to six ounces of it. I'm talking about lot, and she's like massaging this whole area, and it's just flowing freely out. And the cameraman is gagging and vomits, and the old guy's like, "Stop being a pussy! I'd have popped it myself, but I can't get back there." It was hardcore. Four ounces. That's a lot of fucking. That's Dude, half a glass, Kyle. Yes, I know. I know. I, I I don't say four to six ounces, you know, without knowing that that is a lot. Hey, I'll, I'll look it up for you, for you gentlemen. I, I'll, I'll I don't see this it. video. I would like oh, to watch good. this video. I think I'm good. I'm good. You guys can arrange that after the show. Your you don't pimple, have to watch Your it. pimple popper watching videos. Oh, I, I think Lefty's a woman. Pop, I'm going to put it out there. You what? I think Lefty's a woman. I because I don't game. like watching like bad smelling discharge being yeah it's removed a, from people's. I bodies. wish I could pronounce this. It's like a sebaceous cyst. Yeah, I can watch make your eyeballs popped out, and it left you worried about a pimple getting popped. All oh, right, no, I got I it right here. I got it right here. If you guys who are listening to this want to see it, you want to go to WorldStarHipHop.com. Great site. And you want to uh, to just type in search term cyst c y s t, and uh, the video will pop up. It's called So Nasty, World's World's cyst remo- Worst Cyst Removal Ever. Oh, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. I'm God damn, this it. looks like he's got a back breast. Cyst, by the way, is spelled C-Y-S-T. I thought I spelled it. Oh, oh did you? Know. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. not a pussy. I'll watch it. I was just making sure I hadn't spelled it wrong. You just uh, search what cyst? C-Y-S-T? I linked you guys. In yeah, the it's, it's, in the, it's in the chat. It, it looks oh. like cottage cheese pouring out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, wings nail is that like, cyst. Good lord. You, it's like baseball sized. Uh, the, uh, the cameraman's trying to bum. Oh, oh, oh done, done, done. I lasted 37 seconds. That's it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This thing is so large. Oh, no way, dude. No. Now the blood's coming. No, no. no. You got to watch till the end to see like the after effect. He's done it. He's done about a minute in almost. Whoever this woman oh. is 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 very. Um, She's she a makes trooper. Sure, she makes oh, sure she no. gets it all. Oh, You'll no. see at the end. <laughs> Toward the end, the cameraman's not even pointed at it anymore. He's gagging so much. Oh my god! Oh. I just got to about a minute in. Oh. Wow, you I didn't think wow. this was gonna get me this bad. Oh, yeah, it's bad. It's great. I'm gonna ask this question since nobody. This is this is the elephant in the room. How the fuck do you find these videos, Kyle? Do you? This is what you do when you sit down at the computer? Yeah, man. I can. I, That's what I, happens when you check out WorldStarHipHop.com. Yeah, dude. There's a lot of websites I go on to look for crazy fucked up shit. Um, WorldStarHipHop.com, Motherless.com, yeah, um, obviously 4chan and Reddit, <laughs> places like that. And then you know, just employing the power of Google, I get so much uh, fan mail, so many questions that, and I and I always reply with one word: Google. Google Google answer every question. All you need to know is how to use search terms. Oh, oh god. That lasted about a minute. Let, I'm let, done. Me, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and say this. I'm gonna say this. Other than the fact this is a million view video, this cameraman, even though he was losing his shit, kept his stuff steady. Not toward the end, man. He he barely had it pointed at it. it this was good <laughs> camera work, regardless, compared to most of the shit I see on World Star Hip Hop. Oh, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> verticals, no, no vertical video. Dude, that, that was, was horrible. Rough, though, right, yeah, I don't think I've ever had a, a zit as big as a grape. 
that, that no. looked great. That looked like a that looked like an A cup. That looked like a like a <laughs> yeah. Titty. That guy he I, lost. He had a boob on his back. But it, I was talking about me. Like I, I don't yeah. think I've ever had it as big as a grape. How does Maybe. he even? How does he even get that terrible? He couldn't get it back there. He couldn't reach back there to deal with it. I wonder what that woman's like. That woman's a trooper, dude. Yeah, I think she's man. a medical professional. I'm guessing yeah. that you know she those gloves look legit. Yeah. I just imagine going to school to do that for a living. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. He, um, she earned her cash that day. Dude, did ingrown you get... hairs are the, are bad too. I've had uh, like ingrown hairs like in my beard, like around my neck area. And when you finally get that bad boy done, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff coming out. And there's always that hair that'll come out. That's like, I don't know. It, it's like three inches long and it's been coiled up in there. <laughs> it's fucked up. Ah, uh, I had a topic. Damn nature! You did y'all see the video I tweeted out this morning? <laughs> no, sir. But can we not? Can we not go down this road of gross out videos? It's not gross out video. This is an ass whooping video. Okay. Uh, it's like, okay, we good. We can take ass whooping videos. I, I can watch ass whooping videos, dude. I can't even watch the movie Sweeney Todd. Like, I like it as a musical, but I can't do it with the throat cutting. Even though the oh. the blood is like horribly comically orange, it's just I can't do it. <clears throat> I'm just like, oh. Kyle. Did you yes, see that sir. guy who was who stayed off the internet for a year? No. I There's a guy, he stayed off the internet for a year and he's a reporter for The Verge, I think, or a consultant or something going on there. And I didn't realize it, but he's been basically offline blogging how life has been without the internet. And now that he's back, he's like this sort of superstar who existed without internet for one year. He didn't ask me anything on Reddit and it hit the homepage and he's writing these stories about how his life was without the internet. Am I the only one that finds this completely unfucking remarkable Yeah, absolutely. Really like, dumb. <laughs> there are lots of people who live without the internet. There are lots and lots and lots. They're homeless or they're just not in a wealthy place or they're old or they're not interested. Like... <laughs> I've lived a year without television, and I don't fucking write stories for The Verge about it. I'm all cursing, but it, 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 this guy has attained like celebrity status for completely ordinary stuff. Yeah, it's really dumb. All right, best topic I, ever. I, no, I, no, I, I agree <laughs> with you. It's, it, I, I'm kind of, I, I don't get it. it it's. It's like if somebody was like, yeah, I'm going to go a year without eating ice cream. It's like a first world problem type thing. It's like, congrats, dude. You didn't go on the internet for a while. See, but I, I hate that first world problem thing. Like, I should feel bad because I was fortunate enough to be born not in some slum. Like, I, I, yes, I have the virtue. I, I, I'm fortunate enough for that. But I, I, sh I shouldn't be made to feel like... A, like I have to pay some sort of penance every single day for that. Like it's I I can't control it. I can't control that, you know, there are people that die of hunger and starvation and horrible deaths every single day. If there's something I could reasonably do about it to stop it, I would, but I can't. Why should I feel bad that I'm pissed that my internet went out? I'm not going to feel bad about that. I'm wings be the the video wings the video that you linked of this girl getting the shit kicked out of her. What was the background behind that? What, what do you say? Why was she getting that ass whipping? I have no clue. That was a severe ass whipping. Oh, th this is the wrong video. Uh, I, I linked you to a really bad ass whipping between two girls, but the one yours was rough, dude. <laughs> the video I linked is rough. That's the same link I tweeted out. Yeah, that's rough, man. This video has no volume control. The yeah, video, uh, the video I wanted to link you to was these two. This this black girl, would came up to this other black girl. Get off awesome. Like, why you why you fuck with my man? I don't know what you're talking about, hoe. Why you fuck with my man? Why don't you come on here? My, I'm waiting on my peeps, and, and then she just grabs this bitch by her weave and drags her out the house and starts stomping on her. I'm talking about like, I, yeah, we, I, that's the video I just watched. I was wondering, what, that's what I was asking, what the motivation <laughs> behind that was. Oh, this, the, the white, the light skinned girl that was sleeping with the dark skinned girl's uh, boyfriend. Well, she shouldn't have done that because the, that chick is hardcore. She threw a <laughs> serious ass whipping on her. Um, for those of you who can't see this video. She hit this girl several times in the head, threw her on the ground, and literally started jumping up and down on her, kicking her in the face. 
throw in some serious punches and then literally drug her down the steps of her house by her hair. Yeah, she she beat that ass. That's what that was. She beat that ass. And I, <laughs> I linked you a video of a white girl and a black girl fighting in like a dorm room, and the yeah. white girl gets fucked up, her eyes bleeding like crazy. Oh, great. Yeah, there you go, Lefty. I know you like that. <laughs> Wait. Wasn't it the opposite? Who won? Oh, the, the black girl won, actually. Yeah, yeah, see, poor Lefty. That makes you scared to date black women. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, I don't want to date anybody who can throw a punch like that. Christ. I mean, that, that black, that, the, both those black girls, they they, they, they put man-sized ass whoopings on those chicks. <sighs> those man size. Are, those are serious <laughs> ass whoopings. That's got an ass whooping you only dream about. That's there's, a nightmare. There's been less ass whooping in the UFC. <laughs> 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 Uh, I mean, literally, she's got like a chair and a windowsill, j pulling her body weight up and coming down with her foot in her face. Did you guys see? The, of course, you saw. What, what was her name? Amanda Berry or something like that? Yeah. Kidnapped for ten years. What's her name? Lefty, help me. Oh, that man Amanda Berry. Got... Oh, they get it right. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. I, do you really think that was her first opportunity to escape in ten years? From here's my understanding of that, Woody. Okay. What he did. What he did is he kind of conditioned them. Like you go, all right, I'm going to McDonald's or somewhere. He's going out to eat, and he'd he'd not go out to eat. He'd like he'd sit back and wait to see if they'd come out the door. And as soon as they came out the door, he'd beat the shit out of them. And it got to the point where they never knew when he was serious or not. Well, I have some sympathy for him, but I, I I like to think that I would have escaped. He, he did it pretty was, legit. Like he didn't keep. Yeah, but there together. were three of them, though. There were there were all he, all three he, of the brothers were there, right? Yeah, there were three brothers that were looking to like, like they were going to take your life if you tried to leave. Yeah, here, that here's, was a here's, really here's the thing, situation. though. If that was my daughter, if Amanda Berry was my daughter, and this and this cocksucker, and she comes back with like scar tissue of her him punching her in the stomach after kidnapping her. And she's losing babies and shit after he's impregnated. I would have to kill him. I would shoot him on the courthouse steps, like some time to kill motherfucker. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't think you could. Be, well, I mean, you would probably be criminally criminally faulted, but I don't think. I don't give a fuck. I would kill this cocksucker, and I would be heralded for it. Yes, you would. I would. I'd make a video in your he's, honor. He's getting the death penalty anyway. I don't give a fuck. He doesn't deserve to. Wait, he deserves death penalty to kill anyone? Along with that father death, of the girls because Wait, of the death of the fetuses. Does that count? Yeah, in, in Ohio it does. You punch a cocksucker. You punch a girl in the stomach after you're kidnapping? Oh, my Lord. You you deserve a book. You don't deserve death. You don't. Lethal injection is too good for you. No, put him, just put him in general population. No, no, put him, with the, put him with the father of those three girls that they, that they thought they had to write off as dead. What you need to do. Yeah, that's, uh, that, those guys are... And you gotta wonder, you know, how many missing children out there are in that same situation right now, locked in a fucking basement or in a dungeon or in a bunker or some shit like that. I don't know. If I found that bullshit, I'd have to I'd have to bring one of my guns over and just throw it on the floor after I shot him. Why would you do that? Because I would just shoot him. But I, I would, would take the I gun and gun throw it in the ocean. And he took it off of me, and we had a struggle. Oh, you're planning the gun. I yes, see. I'm planting the gun just so I have a reason to kill his ass. I thought you were leaving the murder weapon at yeah, the scene. Yeah, exactly. Like this is a terrible plan. <laughs> like wings instead of it's like dropping the mic. No, no, I'm calling the cops. Yeah, exactly. Like after you drop the mic, done, bitch. <laughs> 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 like bang, and then just drop. <clears throat> you're like, like your like hand open, and it just walk away. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that better. Um, Minnesota burns. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, hypothetical situation. You've just murdered someone. You're trying to get away with this crime. How do you hide the body? Uh, let me uh, think about it for a second. Take your time. Oh, you know Wings has that elaborate situation. <laughs> Wings thought about this. He's like, all right. I, I've told it before. I can tell it again. Yeah, it was like episode three. We did this you, question once. You, you chop it up into as many pieces as you can. All right, Dexter, carry on. And then you drive it out to the middle of nowhere where no one would think, like miles away from where you, hundreds of miles, thousands of miles away from where the murder occurred, and bury it. But let, it, me, throw, let me throw some holes in that plan. All okay. right. Let me, let me little t tats. First off, you're going to drive a thousand miles with a, uh, <laughs> a decomposing dead body in your car. Yeah, which it's going to take anywhere from 
eight to fifteen hours, depending on how you drive in traffic. That device is gonna slowly start making your car smell and leave DNA traces all over the carpet of that car. So now you gotta around. explain where you've been for sixteen hours and you gotta have an alibi for that in case you do get incriminated in the uh, actual crime. Hmm. I think the way to do it is uh, go to like. Uh, oh, oh, can I? No, I got a better idea. Can Wait, I change my there's idea? There's a lot of toll booths and stuff I, that take your no, license plate. No, I change. I change my idea. You do a Breaking Bad style. Oh, I don't you know drop them in get... the in those uh, acid and. Yep, that's how you do it. Turn I don't know where slush. to get that acid. I don't even know what it is. They didn't. They, they left out important they, steps. They left out key details, so you couldn't actually do. It. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I make meth either. I thought it was like prolific acid or something like that. I thought they named it. But yeah. regardless, like that didn't even work out well for them. Don't you remember what happened? <laughs> In the bathtub? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well that was Jesse's fault. He's a dumbass. Stupid bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wings, what do you got? I got a couple of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got a couple scenarios. So Wings, how did you do it? <laughs> Alright, first off. I live in South Carolina, so we have a we have an abundance of farms around here. And one of the big farms around here is called a pig farm. What most people don't know is pigs are not picky whatsoever. They will eat anything. So what you do is you kill them, you throw, you put them in a rug, you roll them up into it, you throw them in the back of your truck, you drive over to the pig farm, and you just dump it up <coughs> in the body. Within two hours, the body's completely gone and covered in mud and in pig stomachs and comes out as poop. Bones They'll too. The bone, the, yeah, the bones, yes. the cartilage, the eyeballs, everything. They'll eat the entire body. Do the same thing with alligators. <coughs> Same thing right here. What you got to do is you got to get a section of chain link fence. You get you some, um, and you put the body in between the chain link fence. And you kind of like zip tie it together. You take it, take it down the river, drop it in the river with some weights. It hangs to the bottom. After a while, the body compresses with gas and floats up. But well, the chain link fence will put some pressure against the body. It'll break it up into little cubes, and fish and alligators will come by and eat it. So a skeleton I actually it. really like that you've turned him into like a little fish feeding station. Right. As his body swells, it pops up through the spaces in the chain link fence, and they just sort of come along and nibble. Mm hmm. But I, I think you're going to have a lot of body left over. No, it, we had the reason I that, that one was actually done down here in the walk em all, and they never caught the guy who did it. All right, so my way is, is stolen completely from the movie Snatch. So there's a character named Bricktop in that movie who was like a, a gangster. And he, he explained to someone exactly how you get rid of a body. It's, it, it involves pigs, like Wing said. He said, you're always going to have problems lifting a body in one piece. Apparently, the best thing to do is to cut up a corpse into six pieces and pile it all together. And when you got your six pieces, you got to get rid of them. Because it's no good leaving in a deep freeze for your mom to discover, now is it? Then, I hear the best thing to do is feed them to pigs. you got to starve the pigs for a few days... Then the side of a chopped up body will look like curry to a piss head. You gotta shave the heads of the victims and pull the teeth out for the sake of the piggy's digestion. You could do this afterwards, of course, but you don't want to go through go sieving through pig shit now, do you, boy? They will always they will go through bones like butter. You need at least sixteen pigs to finish the job in one sitting. So be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. Are you memorizing this or reading it? Memorizing. Well, carry uh, on. <clears throat> they will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about 8 minutes. That means that a single pig can consume 200 pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. Snatch is my favorite movie. Yeah, pigs are very good for getting rid of bodies. Now you know. Jeez. Because knowledge is power. And then, I'm going to himself... categorize this video as education. Oh. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the guy he I told that story to yeah, then goes, well, thank you for that. That's a great weight off my mind. Now, if you wouldn't mind telling me who the fuck you are, apart from someone who feeds people to pigs, of course. <laughs> wow. As um, greedy as a pig. He's got that Cockney accent. That's a great movie. I learned it from my uncle. My uncle had pigs and chickens, and like every time he a chick, like sometimes chickens would get together like roosters and kill each other. He'd re he'd grab it by the legs, just throw it over into the pig pen. I'm like, what are they gonna do? Well, they're gonna eat it, I'm like feathers and all. I was like, yep, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Lefty, you haven't murdered anyone yet. Get on it. What do you do? Uh, I was trying to think of. Places that would have incinerators. How about a uh, 
the morgue. place where yeah <laughs> yeah go to a morgue I guess break or break into a, a mortuary or something yeah mortuary Dude, those can't be well all that well guarded I wouldn't think so. I don't know some some would Dude, some I don't would. know how to operate a, a industrial strength incinerator I have no idea seems pretty simple like lighting a furnace yeah so I mean I, I guess I could do that I, I'd just rather not kill anybody and have to dispose Don't of be a puss about it. Money, I'd rather make enough money where I can hire somebody else to do my killing for me. Exactly. Right? Like, no, 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 no. That's below me. You go <laughs> do the killing. Here's, here's a check. Goodbye. Or cash that I've laundered carefully through multiple businesses. Hmm. If I were to do it, I feel like the key to getting away with murder is in the selection of the victim in the scene of the crime. Like, I want to kill someone who's not attached to me and it should be in a place that's not attached to me with a weapon that like a knife for example. Or I you can just use uh you can use ricin. <laughs> I don't have any ricin. But it's I have knives. Really? Yeah. Castor beans. Oh, is this all from Breaking Bad? Yeah. Mm, um I just, I already knew but yeah. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking you stab a guy, you clean the knife, leave it all right there, have it have nothing to do with you. Hmm. It sounds simple, right? But it simple's not bad. They just hmm. won't catch you. Okay. Do the Anthony Hopkins style. Walk in the bedroom, shoot your wife, clean the gun, walk out the bedroom, hand the gun to your friend, say, Hey, go look at the stuff and then blame it on him. <laughs> 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 That's fucked up. <laughs> like Mel Gibson did in Payback to those uh to those cops. Yeah, that was good. He killed a guy with a gun and then he some other crooked cops were trying to get him to do something and he was like, Hey, they're probably gonna frisk me, so here, hold my gun. <laughs> Handed him a fucking murder weapon. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright. Uh Lefty, give me a topic. <laughs> look at that look on his face. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Damn. Uh, I, work. I had a few. The I can't do all the lifting. Plastic gun. Plastic gun. Oh, you had a topic. I did. Plastic gun. That's what the original was. Um. So the world, the, the plans were released for those with a 3D printer. Oh, you had, I believe, was it a PDF file? I, I I'm not sure. Some Whatever kind of file. You could download it. Uh, give it to a 3D printer. I don't know. And if you had the right, uh, I guess, polymers or whatever, if you had the right material, you can print your own plastic handgun called the Liberator. And now the it was taken down off the original site because the Justice Department said that um, posting the instructions was is technically exporting the weapon. Oh, which, that's bullshit. Yeah, which defense distributed... While they did comply with the Undetectable Firearms Act by making an, uh, one of the uh, working parts of the gun metal so that it would set off metal detectors. It wasn't even a working part. I, if I'm, it, was it was a, a six-ounce slug or something. Wasn't it? I thought it was the firing pin, like which you kind of, you know, you need the firing pin. To oh, I just... I, yeah, but it's I such thought. a small piece of metal that doesn't set off metal detectors. Oh, that doesn't? Oh. No, well, no. Okay, what I read was they intentionally just put a little slug in there. And I don't know. what. Maybe it was the firing pin. I'm just wrong. It, uh-huh. it looked like it was worthless. And it was intentionally so that it worked in metal detectors. But it's so obvious that it wasn't essential. They could just take it out and have a metal detector free gun. Like they just sort of read. Mm-hmm. They're like, all right, here's a plastic gun. And then here in the grip, you know, it's like a piece of here metal. Here at the bottom, it's duct taped, is this piece of metal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it, it, it takes no intelligence whatsoever to turn it into an undetectable gun. The thing is, though, all right, so it's, it's legal to make a gun for your own personal use. There's nothing against the law about that. And the, the other thing is, you don't need a 3D printer to do it. It's perfectly legal to make a, a a 12 gauge zip gun. All you need is a couple pieces of pipe and a nail. You just slam the pieces of pipe together, and you got a 12 gauge shotgun. It's mm-hmm. people the the people who are making a really big deal out of this are the people that it would never affect anyway. The people who like are into building guns and making guns, they already knew how to legally make their own guns at home anyway. The right. whole the whole 3D printer gun thing, nobody is out there 
who's a criminal who's like, yes, I will. This is how I will get my hands on a on a weapon to do to do crime with my eight thousand dollar fucking printer. <laughs> if you have an eight thousand dollar printer, you are not a criminal. Not today. You can go buy a real gun for less but than eight thousand tomorrow. Yeah, right? Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm so sick. I, today, that's not the way you do it. Tomorrow, though, I mean it. 3D printers today are a rare, odd thing, but they might not always be like that. You Buy know? it on eBay. Let me play devil's advocate here. Do you realize we have more guns in America than we have people? Yeah. They don't need to print them. Yeah, the printed guns are really shitty anyway. People act like these printed yeah, guns are yeah. just as good as re regular guns. They work for like a, a few dozen something. shots. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the pistol in question, uh, it's, it's, it, it's based off of a World War II pistol called the Liberator. We used to parachute these things into uh, occupied uh, France in a little box. And inside the box were, were instructions and uh, blueprints for basically you took this little forty five caliber pistol. It was a piece of shit. I mean, it's made out of tin. It's barely thrown together. And the instructions show you how to walk up to a German who's guarding something, smile at him. It literally says that. Shoot him in the head. Take his gun. And now you are armed. It's that shitty of a gun. It's, it's a one shot and you're done piece of shit okay nobody's going to use this thing for anything bad it's just a novelty but it's interesting because it takes like right now the point of sale and manufacture is where the i guess bottleneck is you know the, the enforcement of all our gun laws not but the thing but but you can go on youtube and you get the instructions on how to make a 12 gauge shotgun in your garage with very little tools Mm, that's true. That's true. I, I guess, I, but this enables, and, and right now the gun sucks, right? But go forward a little bit and turn this it into a more. Nothing, though, Woody. I can make a pipe bomb with like 15 bucks and a trip to Lowe's that would do way more damage than this thing could do. Well, you've lost me there, Wings. New topic. <laughs> no, I, I, I was going to top him. Dude, I could rent a U Haul truck, fill it with fertilizer, and boom. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Don't no, rent I'm just don't, saying, like, people no, are no. fucking. Guns don't kill that many fucking people. They don't. They want to kill like 13,000 people a year? I saw this cartoon, and a guy kills someone with a hammer, and they're like, dude, you're freaking crazy. A guy kills someone with a baseball bat, and they say, dude, you're freaking crazy. A guy kills someone with a gun, and they say, we got to take these guns away. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 13,000, that sounds like a huge number, but you got to realize there's 313 million motherfuckers living in America. In America. Now, that number is a fraction, little fucking tiny, minuscule number now. And gun deaths have been, shootings have been going down for 20 years now. I mean, guns aren't the problem. This little printed handgun thing, it's a piece of garbage. Just and, imagine how many of these will blow up in your face when you try to shoot it. And, and by the way, the, the trend in the U.S. has been more and more people have guns, right? The gun percentage of ownership is up. Gun ownership is up. The number of guns in circulation is up. The amount of rights that people have, like being able to walk around with a concealed gun on your hip, that went from like hardly anything to something like 37, 38 states now. And while all these guns got spread around, shootings went down a lot, cut in half. Yep. Guns are not shot those problem. shooters. That takes it down. <laughs> I can make an napalm for less than five bucks. And you worried about a fucking printable gun? The the, the problem the problem isn't guns. It's stupid people. And I have a new topic that is all about <laughs> a stupid person. So a movie theater that was showing Iron Man three publicly uh, staged an active shooter simulation. Basically, they sent a guy into the movie theater during Iron Man 3 <laughs> with a, dressed in riot gear with a fucking M4 and a pistol. As a publicity and, stunt. Yeah. And it yeah. worked. It, oh, it did, because we're talking about it right now. <laughs> yeah. Over the Capitol 8 theaters. <coughs> what? You're lucky nobody had a concealed carry. <laughs> Who the hell thought that was a good idea? In Jefferson City, M.O. is... I don't know what M.O. is. Is that Missouri? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. At, go to, uh, it calls a publicity stunt at the movie theater this past weekend. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. Ridiculously stupid. I mean, the, the least thing that you could have done is caused a panic where people trampled each other. The worst thing is, I mean, if I saw that, I... I what if somebody had a gun in the crowd? I, I can still carry my gun into theaters sometimes. I mean... Oh. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, I had a related topic. I'm not sure if I should go to it. Go for it. All right. So, this is a little bit of a setup, but North Carolina has been run by Democrats 
for like 120 years now or something like that. And this is the first time in all that time that the Republicans have had unchecked power. They own at the state level, the Senate, the House, and the governorship. So the people are perfectly represented. I like it. The people are perfectly represented. Anyway, like from my perspective, and I'm a little liberal socially, a little conservative fiscally, although that's not their track record, but whatever. Um, the Republicans are running like batshit crazy with all the Republican craziness that happens. They have outlawed science that measures global warming and the rising of the seas. They outlawed science. They've made uh, no gay marriage a constitutional amendment here, right? So you, you need a fucking like two thirds majority to over to, uh, for this ever to become legal to get married in my state now. They, um, they're trying to shift taxes from the wealthy to the poor. I swear to fucking God, it's true. <laughs> they want to cut the top tax rate from 7.5% to 4.5%. And then to make up for that tax cut, they want to start taxing food and medicine and stuff like that. Like, that's that's the plan that they're pitching out there. Um, what else have they done? Oh, oh, can, you and, explain to, can you explain how that may... <clears throat> Um, favor the wealthy, cutting the income tax and increasing the consumables tax. And could you also explain that that could potentially bring new businesses into North Carolina to take advantage of said tax rates? So, um, all right. When you're broke, the bulk of your money goes to food, shelter, clothing, and medicine. That's where it all goes. When you're wealthy, the bulk of your money goes towards the things that already had sales tax on them or towards savings. Wealthy people save much more than poor people do. What they're doing is at the wealthy level, they're shrinking their tax load. And at the poor level, they're taxing everything that these people buy. Right now, if you're broke and all you buy is like food, clothing, shelter, etc., a lot of your stuff is not subject to sales tax. Stuff, you know, as you buy it, you know, the tax they stick on there at the register. When you buy medicine here, you're not taxed. Well, if you buy medicine here tomorrow, assuming this passes, then all of a sudden you'll be taxed. And it hits the poor. So the way that it is, if you make 20 grand a year, you could expect to pay an extra $1,000. But if you make, I think it was a quarter million a year, you could expect about a $16,000 tax cut. But won't Obamacare pay for those, uh, those medical expenses? Um, I actually don't know how that works. You know, in all the specifics of it. I don't think he does. Dude, Obamacare doesn't pay for your medical stuff. It forces you to buy insurance. That's the core yeah, of it. That's what it yeah. does. Yeah. You don't it, buy it, insurance, you... People pay. have this idea that Obamacare is handing out medicine to poor people. It's not. What it actually is, is it's forcing you to buy insurance. It's forcing you to accept a level of personal responsibility and no longer just go to the emergency room and, you know, not pay your bill. Instead, you're going to pay for, you're going to be insured. It's illegal to be uninsured now. So you have to get insurance and you have to pay for your own stuff. That's what Obamacare really is. It was a plan drafted by the Republicans. You know, Hillary Care came up with her thing and the Republicans came up with this as their counter offer. And the Republicans implemented it in Massachusetts. And then the Democrats got it passed a couple years ago. And all of a sudden the Republicans are like, this is a fucking terrible idea. It's like, no, no, no. It was your idea. You know, they, they used your idea hoping we could get some of you to vote for it. That was the whole thing. So the notion that it's just handing out medicine to to everybody like um like they do in europe is wrong it's actually forcing everybody to buy their own health insurance so that they can no longer just get emergency care because oh if you don't know in the u.s emergency care is mandated by law like if if i have no health insurance and i show up at the er and i'm sick they are forced to treat me and take care of me and um then i just say i can't pay and that's how that goes it's a very expensive way to treat your you're sick. So now they're going to have insurance. You'll be able to go to doctors and stuff like that. I think we're, we're skipping over one detail that it, it hopes to do. It also <coughs> hopes to lower all overall costs for everybody since there's going to be no uninsured. Right. And and they'll, they'll, they should be treated in a more cost-efficient way because instead of just going to the emergency room when things get terrible, they'll have, you know, um, what is it called? The pre-care, pre healthy lefty I know you know this word. The... the not premature care, 
preventative care. I, I'll go yes. with that. It's not what I, care, yeah. I don't okay. think it's what I was looking for. That's it. That's, yeah. that's the correct term, though. Yeah, I was I was thinking that the whole time. There's another one. I was, just, I was there's a willing term. you to figure it out. <laughs> I will go with preventative care, but I think and, there's a different um, term. So will you be? Will, will you? No, never. So be. anyway, the Republicans completely run North Carolina right now, and it's interesting to see what happens when you have an unchecked party. Like it's a uh, 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 gay marriage is oh guns. They're in North Carolina right now. You can get a concealed carry license, right? So I, I have one actually. I can carry a gun with me almost everywhere. But there are a few places I can't carry guns. Um, they include like sports stadiums because you have to buy a ticket to get in, um, bars, and schools. And the Republicans are like, fuck that. <laughs> so we we need armed people at bars, stadiums, and schools. <laughs> and, That's uh, when the bad shit happens. You need to be armed. I I thought about this a lot. Right, one schools. I have no problem with that. It, it sounds crazy, right? But you know, the only people who pay attention to don't carry a gun at school are the bad guys. Like the, that. I feel like if suddenly I'm allowed to carry, if you make a law allowing me to carry a gun, like if you get rid of that. It doesn't change the behavior of law-abiding people at all. On the other hand, um, a bar? I feel like there are good people who might not be quite as good when they're drinking. Uh, it, it's it, it's like a lot of bad decisions are made at bars. And if you suddenly say like, all right, Woody, you and your uh, Smith & Wesson, you come over here, belly up and, and have a beer. <laughs> Like, maybe oh, I'm not as good a decision maker when that oh, happens. Oh, you want a fist fight? Oh, now you're dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just making law saying you're not allowed to drink and have a gun at the same time. So I have a question. If they pass that, then if I have a concealed carry permit that is reciprocated <coughs> by North Carolina, can I, too, carry my gun into bars, schools, and sporting events? Yeah, that's how that works. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, like by the way, North Carolina oh, so, so if anybody out there wants – a concealed carry permit that works in like 35 states I want to say you can do it online with no prerequisite all you, it's New Hampshire provides out of state carry permits it costs a hundred dollars you print the form off mail it to uh, New Hampshire with your hundred dollar check and they send you back a uh, concealed carry permit I know you've probably looked into it but Florida is another out of state concealed yep. carry thing that people There's use a lot better there's is better but it's I better okay oh Florida's is um, better Yes, Florida. Florida's works for more states than New Hampshire's, but um, they weren't states I really cared about. So, yeah, North Carolina <laughs> is one of the best. Gun carrying states. I they, yeah. need some gun North Carolina carrying. doesn't have anything for out of state people, but if you, and I've talked about this before. So in fast forward, it's a little hardish to get a concealed carry permit here. You have to pass a written test. You have to pass a shooting test. You can do it. I mean, I did it, and I was a new shooter at the time, but. You know, you don't just fill out a form and, and call it good. But because it's kind of hard to get, every state that allows concealed carry allows me to concealed carry. Like, I can go anywhere outside of, like, New Jersey and stuff and carry my gun. So that's, I like it. Yeah, the New Hampshire one and the Florida one are reciprocated by North Carolina, but not South Carolina. South, South Carolina? Carolina? Yeah. Douchebags. They let me carry. They don't let, they don't let many people carry. They let you carry, but few yeah. others. Yeah, that, in South Carolina. Carry here, Kyle. We passed a law last year saying you don't need to concealed carry permit anymore. But if you open carry, I would imagine. Open I don't carry, want yeah. to. I, yeah. I like to throw a. I like to throw a thirty-eight in my jacket pocket. North Carolina has that too. You can open. You don't need a license or anything, and you can walk around like a cowboy in I North mean, Carolina. I got a concealed <laughs> permit from a guy named Randy Sutherland, and basically the class was like four hours long. You had to be able to shoot a target man size from twenty-five feet. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, like, that was the class. Did you have to pass the test at the class? Yeah, the, there, there was a test. You take a four-hour class, and they give you this test that was 12 questions long, and you said to answer what you was just told. Yep. That's not it, too far from mine. The class was, like, eight hours, and the shooting was a little more. They timed you. They'd be like, all right, you know, you've got, whatever, 10 seconds, We want and the gun's, like, sitting in front of you. Pick it up get three shots on target, put it down. And there's like starting and end times. And, and of course they can hear the bullets come out. So every, it's really obvious. It goes beep. And if there's a shot after that, it's like, all right, you're busted. Yeah. So you have to shoot on target in kind of a hurry. Like there's like five rounds, but um, that's that. Oh, and the test had more than 12 questions. It had a lot of questions. I had 12 and it was in the man's backyard. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine had like fifty, and it was at a gun store. I wish here's I, I wish that they would uh, <coughs> make it. I wish that all fifty states would reciprocate, and uh, and and the you know the they obviously need they they need to and and but but make the qualifications more like North Carolina. That that does sound a bit much, but. More like North Carolina. It was good for me because I was a new shooter. And by the way, the laws have changed a bit since then. I don't know if this is a good topic, but there were a lot of things that were like not intuitive about when you're allowed to shoot. And that's a lot of what they focused on. You know, that, like when you're allowed to retreat is a big deal. Like it, if you come to me at the time I took it and I'm like at my car at the gas station and you sort of attack me, if you can claim that I could have escaped, then I can't shoot. If the same scenario happens in my house, I can shoot. So that wasn't obvious to me before I took the test. If you're banging on my door, forcing your way in, I can shoot you through my door and you drop dead on my porch. But if you're in my house with a TV in your hands, I can't shoot, that's not clear. Because you're a robber, not necessarily a murderer. And robbers don't get shot. That's you just sprinkle a little crack on him. <laughs> That's <laughs> changed, by the way. Take that shit up after the fa- shoot his ass. <laughs> he was coming in. He was coming at me, trying to hit me with the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, so I've got two things to say. One, first of all, that changed. Now there's something called a castle doctrine. If someone's in your house, open fire. Two, um, they they talked. Uh, they almost coached you on what to say. I feared for my life. I was, a, you know, he was about to attack, and that, and that was like it. Like this, I feared for my life is the <laughs> line that you tell the police. And He's coming right at us. <laughs> they, the, the guy was an ex-cop, and he coached you not to talk to cops. He's like, "This is what you're allowed to say to them. I want to see an attorney. I feared for my life. Those are the two things that you're going to say after a shooting." And uh, and that was that was like one of the things they taught you. Anyway, for me, the course was really beneficial because stuff like in your house not okay to shoot banging on the door open fire was totally not obvious to me but you know that's that anyway it was uh it was kind of cool oh and i think now the castle dark thing spends your car so like you're not forced to retreat from your car if you can't or something like that it's your personal property it should be eh, i don't know if you're at the gas station and someone's doing whatever it was, oh yeah there were like these uh judges or something who took the course before us and the judges, these are like country, North Carolina, like Southern drawl. And they'd show these scenarios. Like a woman walks by a homeless man and he says, can I have $5? And she says, no. And he's like, well, then give me 25. Can't shoot. Not okay. And there were all these scenarios where there were like rude people. And the judges were like, I don't know. It seemed like shooting was okay to me in all those situations. <laughs> so the I judge guess, is like, I shot a bum last week. <laughs> but it, so North Carolina in the um, like research Triangle Park where I live, it tends to be more liberal and there's all these colleges and educated people. And um, uh, here people get in trouble. Like, so guy and a girl in bed, boyfriend, girlfriend, they're in the apartment. Bad guy climbs through the window with an intention of hurting them. Boyfriend pulls out his pistol, shoots the guy, he's dead. This, to me, was a clear case of bad guy coming in, ready to get him, etc. Mm-hmm. But the boyfriend didn't live there, so it wasn't his house. So he wasn't, he had no right to, like, defend himself. He was supposed to try to run away. And uh, they ended up taking him to trial, and he got off. But it was... So it, stupid. Yeah, it was. Oh. He defended the people in that room, which included the homeowner, but because he wasn't or renter, or whatever. But because he wasn't that guy. Yeah, that that would almost be if they split that hair too. Like, like, well, sir, you live here, but you rent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, right. What he should have done is called the landlord and had him come over and shoot the perpetrator. Yeah, but because he was a guest, he wasn't allowed to defend his quote unquote home. You know, because it wasn't his home. Yeah, it's basically a matter of if you had been on the leash, you could kill this guy. But if not, you're guilty of murder. Or at least yes, manslaughter yes, or that's exactly right. Yeah, that's not an exaggeration. If he was on the lease, he would have been okay to shoot. Ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. What that is is been they want to stat pad their fucking self. Well, I sent this guy right here down to water for murder. <laughs> I will yeah. say this: I I really hope that I wish tasers would get cheaper. I wish like the X twenty six or M twenty six tasers. I wish they would take those away from law enforcement. 
I, I, I no, I like law enforcement having those. Yeah, I they think kill, those, they kill so many people a year with those things. They don't kill, dude. It, it, well, how many do they the, not kill with their? How guns? many do they not kill? If you took the percentage of people who are shot by taser, right, law me enforcement, this, they who die, need to change the way they're allowed to use them. They need to put a lot of paperwork with using them. There is a lot of paperwork. You get shot with they one yourself before you use it. Because they're using them freely. I don't... I, I think they should be. I, Did you I, see the guy in Utah where he got shocked because he was willing to argue a speed sign? I, I mean, yeah, he should have shut his mouth. I saw the badass mall cop <laughs> video and that chick deserved it. Yeah, she did. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. I don't think she mouth. deserved it. She was just rowdy. Do you know he got fired? Yeah, he got she fired. She, she needed, got fired. She needed it. She needed a pepper spray, a tasing, and a kicking in the stomach. That bitch was going off the chain, and she he had warned her at least 10, 15 times. I love that she threw she a kick to the stomach in there. Yeah, fuck and it. Just in case she's got one in the oven. A stomp to the neck. <laughs> she seriously She needs a she... uterus removal, too. You have no more children. <laughs> no, she she needed she needed a good she need what she needed was that black chick from that what, what fighting she video. Is that should mm -hmm. only be used when you're in fear for your life, but don't feel the need to put in deadly force on them. That's when they're supposed to be used. They're not supposed to be used. No, they're not. Argue a speed sign for you. They're not supposed to be you. I, 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 I upset with the way you're talking to them. I agree with you fifty percent. No, they shouldn't be. You shouldn't shoot someone with a taser who's, who's arguing over uh, a speeding ticket or really arguing over anything unless they're starting to get threatening. But they should be m used much more liberally than the the officer's sidearm. Um, if it, 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 I don't think they kill that many people. I really don't. I think the fall kills some people. I think um, some people may have some some issues, some health issues that are uh, acted upon by the fall. But the taser itself, because of the way it works, it just oh, doesn't kill very many look, people. Look, if the taser causes the fall, then the taser causes the injury. How about that? How about that twenty-nine-year-old woman that they tased because she was because uh, she had some spill out of her pocketbook and she was trying to clean it up while they were trying to talk to her. They Look told her to stop it and they tased her and she ended up dying of a heart attack because of the taser because they tased her in the chest. I don't think that's all right. I, I believe you if you say that she died of a heart attack, but I don't think it was caused by the taser. So electric shock, which can restart a heart, can't stop it. It's it's a different thing. You know how electricity is. It's it's it, there's different. The electric chair kills motherfuckers by stopping. Completely the different. The voltage, amperage, the frequency. It's all. <laughs> it's not different, different though. The, it, the electric chair just holds it on longer. No, 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 no. It's it it's it's a whole different thing. <laughs> very, very different. They seem I, I've related. Shot some, <laughs> I've shot. I've shot somebody with a taser before. I, I I'm really familiar I'm with I'm how it works. I'm pretty sure people can survive it. Yes, I am. But people can survive getting gunshots too. The fact is, it is capable of killing people. I, and they should be use it as a weapon capable of killing people. Do you guys see the guy who got tased and he was almost unimpacted? Like he gets tased and he, he points and he's like, "I'm gonna get you, bitch!" And then he like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I want to be that, that guy. guy. Right, that got his ass beaten. He's like running from him. I, the only part I saw, they were tasing him, and as he's getting tased, he tell he threatens this woman and then like lays down. You could tell the taser it caught his attention. But it didn't like. Did render you see him the? Immobile. Did you see the big black guy? I think I showed you all that video where he gets tased in the chest. He pulls the bitch out, and that little officer's like going for his gun. And he he grabs the officer's wrist, takes the gun away, and throws it in the woods, and it beats the shit out of him. Really? <laughs> no, I haven't seen that video. I need to see that. I, I can try to find it. It's been year. It's been a couple oh. of years or so. What's your favorite video on YouTube, guys? <laughs> That's hard to choose from. So many. He's climbing in your window. He's catching <laughs> your people up. The auto tune version? Yeah, the auto tune version. All right. Lefty, Smoke. any ideas? Uh, I don't know. Chocolate Rain's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. That was one of my first exposures to like viral videos. I'm, I'm a nerd. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reviewed by the Angry Video Game Nerd. I like um, lions versus hyenas. You guys see that? Smack yeah. that bitch up. <laughs> that one's incredible. I, I watch it now and it's in like 240p and I don't like, I didn't know how bad it, the video was at the time. Like, I want it in HD. But you yeah. want to re-record the event, huh? <laughs> I, I don't know what the event is. I assume the event's in at least 480p. I mean, it's not that old. But on YouTube, it's uploaded with crappy quality. Hmm. But yeah, there's a it's lions and hyenas, and the hyenas are, like, picking on the women, and they hide in trees and cry all night long. And then the next morning, the lion, like, the guy comes, and he just 
fucking beats that. Like, first thing he does is attack the head of the hyenas, and he kills them, and then he kills another one, and he frees the women, and it's incredible. And I always wondered, what are guy lions for, actually? Like, the women get the food, they make the babies, they raise them, they do everything. While guys... They just seem to be laying in the you know, tall grass, enjoying the food delivered to them, which is a nice place to be. But it turns out every so often there's some hyena ass that needs kicking, and that's what the guys are for. Oh, is it called The Return of the Two Kings? Uh, I don't know. I think so. You guys want to feel old? Speaking of, uh, speaking of viral video, did you guys see the, um, the Star Wars kid break... Broke his silence. No, I would like to see that though. The guy that um, I'll try to find it for you. The guy that did the Star Wars video with the the telescope telescoping pole or telescoping pole or whatever that was like doing the, like the lightsaber. Um, broke his silence and he said that like the fallout from that video made him really really sad. Like I want to kill myself, kind of sad. Oh, I can only picture it's just like what we get on a normal basis. Yeah. Viral video edition, like, oh, look at the fat kid. Ha 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 ha. He uh, wants to be a Star Wars warrior. So he you know, wants to be a Jedi Knight. Just, just to wrap oh. up on the previous topic, Return of the Two Kings will help you find it. I see that video has two thousand views, so it's not the original. But if you want to see what I'm talking about, Return of the Two Kings. Anyway, yeah. Did you guys, um, as a related thing, on Reddit, there's this guy that posted a safe and the safe uh it was he bought the home and the previous owners were drug dealers and it's an unopened safe and he you know shows these pictures he starts a new subreddit what's in this thing he never showed us what was in it why because he started getting hate for not like actively working on it like whatever four days goes by there's no update and all these people that loved him and were just so excited about his safe adventure suddenly started hating him because op didn't deliver op's a fag etc some guys just aren't built for internet hate you know it and it sucks when it gets thrust upon him he should have opened that fucking safe OP is a fag. Open that fucking <laughs> safe, you asshole. I don't know what's in it. He, that fag, it should open the safe. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> but, the, but that aside, but that aside, yo. You, you, yeah. It would, or yeah. not post it. You know? It's like, don't go saying, I guarantee OP will deliver and show us all these tantalizing pictures of your lovely safe and the backstory of drug dealers. And then. What if he found something horrible in there and that's why he didn't deliver? What if there's like a the decomposed human hand in that motherfucker? What's like up, Smee? Head? If you're seeing this, bite me. Open your safe. Open that safe, bro. There were tons of people willing to help him, you know, like offering money and expertise and stuff, and he just didn't follow up. Dude, I'm getting that safe in an hour. Let's do this. Yes. Yeah. I think getting that safe in less than an hour. I, I mean, it would ruin it. But if I were we to take an angle grinder to it, there's there's nothing an angle grinder can't grind. I was going thermite. I, I mean, that's cool, but would it work? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're melting our way. Brought down the trade centers. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Jet fuel. Free fall, fall speed. I've never used thermite. Why don't you just have a locksmith come out and crack the safe? Money. Didn't you say people offered to help pay for it? And that's why he's a fag. I mean, <laughs> yeah. seriously, how much could it be? At the most, 250 bucks. Right, right. I think 150 was an estimate that was thrown around a lot. 150, 100, that, means, that means you have to get 150 people to be interested enough to put a dollar towards it. Yeah. Dude, that male lion fucked that hyena up. Dude, that, it's a very great video, right? Yeah, he just crushed his skull. Can we link this? Uh, yeah. The Return of the Two Kings. Why, was, why is the Star Wars kid the most hated kid on the internet? <coughs> what? Dude, it's I just, get more hate than that kid. I know. It's just, you know, he, he, was, a, he was just everybody. You fat loser, you know. Yeah. You told that I did. Enough. I did a video on this. Let me let me go ahead and comment on your I, stuff here, Lefty. I like the Tron guy. Did you guys see the fat Tron guy? Yes. Mm -hmm. He owned it. They're like, why do you think everyone's getting so much? Like, why is everyone looking at you? He's like, because that outfit showed off my gigantic package. <laughs> 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 own it, baby. 
I remember seeing a picture on Facebook of this guy that had like all the Ghostbuster action figures on shelves. He was playing World of Warcraft. He had like his World of Warcraft box editions all lined up. I know this he picture. Had, like a plaid shirt with glasses on, and he was all happy. And I'm like, and and the thing was like, nerd, lol. Wait, I'm like, no, there's more to it though. Like, can I interrupt? Yeah, I already did. Sorry, but so I the when when I saw that same picture, right? And picture a guy. He's chubby. He has lots of like action figures on the desk, and he's wearing like uncool clothes. And they say, you know, you might see a nerd, but I see a guy who has, you know, he's financially stable enough to fund his hobby. He's happy. You know, he's probably married. You know, they, like you might say nerd, but I see a winner in this person who's happy and adjusted and doing what he wants to do. And That's the same line of thing I'm going down with this kid. This kid was 14 at the time. He liked Star Wars. He wanted to be a Jedi Knight. And it's all good. Let him be a fucking Jedi Knight. Everybody does it. Out. Yeah. I mean, there's people that line up to see the films dressed up as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yep. That's what they're into. Who gives a right, shit? Why are you here to pass judgment on him that. while you sit there and pray to a fucking Cleveland Browns god in hopes they win five games this year? Why you want to sit there pass judgment on this kid for spinning a fucking stick, pretending it's a light stick? That kid is the winner in this situation, and the haters are the losers. I mean, it's ridiculous. Look at what you do yourself before you pass judgment on right. this kid. It's there's ridiculous. someone out there who's doing something, and there's other people who are judging him. Dude, the judges are not the winners. Fuck them. That's not how life works. And is when he becomes an adult and starts pursuing his passions, or or maybe has a job that uh, that excites him. Then he'll be a winner, and someone else, you know, judging him for what he does, eh, they don't go anywhere. Burnsy, what's your favorite YouTube video? I don't really have one. There's so many good ones. Let me think. Come back. Okay. <laughs> did we do wings? I did, yeah, he I said did. the Ninja Turtles from the Angry Video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And now comes the silence. Let's go back to Minnesota I mean, we, Burns and put him on the spot. We could, we could, no, I, I we're, don't we're know. We're skipping over the other big two cop things that were missing. Oh? There was two other big arrests. There was one guy arrested for iced tea in North Carolina. For iced tea? Iced tea. He was uh, standing in a parking lot talking. And his oh, buddy was that was North Carolina? Yeah, it was North Carolina. I wonder what happened before the iced tea. I'm I'm lead to believe because I found another video which I posted of he's actually a rapper out of North Carolina and like uh -huh. he has like rap videos and the rap video is shot in parking lots so mm -hmm. I'm wondering if he has like a lot of loitering charges or like a lot of places yeah. call for loitering. There, there's a guy in the parking lot next to what I'm gonna say is like a great big '80s car or something like that '90s car. It looked old and big, and um, he's there sipping an iced tea, and the policeman comes along and tells him that he Night, has to leave. That was 2006 leave. Chrysler 300. Woody. Fuck you. <laughs> so, so um, anyway, he's next to some giant boat of a car, and he's sipping Arizona iced tea. And the policeman comes along and says, "You can't stay here. You have to go." And he's like, "What? I'm not going anywhere." And um, he he acts like he's getting arrested for iced tea. He's like, "This is just iced tea." He's like, "Look, you loiter. You got to run. You, you can't stay anymore." And uh, then he wants to see the iced tea. Like to confirm that it's only that, and he won't show it to him. He's like, "It's iced tea." You're mixing it up. He asked for the iced tea first, and then after he regret doesn't show him, like let him hold it in his hands. He then throws the trespassing thing out. Yeah, that's how. That's the story I read about it too. Yeah, right? all right. He I think you're right. Although I will say that the video doesn't sort of start at this start. If it seems. I, I sent a link down here to LiveLeak.com. This is that music video I was talking about of the rapper with iced tea. And like you could tell, like you, the the, B, the little white BMWs there, the Chryslers there, they're riding on the hood, and they seem to be loitering a lot in parking lots. And what I feel happened is this cop wanted to get them out of here because the store clerks or something were complaining. So yeah. he's looking for a reason to arrest him. I mean, I've drank iced tea before, and the police have never attacked me. I've stood in a parking lot, and I've never been attacked. And like, it, I, there's no right way to say this. I get that I'm white, and and they're acting like that's the reason, you know, because he's black and he's just enjoying I, I just a drink. Feel like but the cop made a bad decision on how he went about moving, removing the person from the property, because legally he had nothing on him. If you would arrest him while shooting the yeah. music video, if you would arrest him while 
you know, playing the music too loud. Because in South Carolina, that's what you got hit for. You had to hit them with a uh, noise ordinance because they, they were playing that music pretty loud. You could hear the bass through a YouTube video. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so did – you're right. It was like the cop – oh, and, and I, I felt like the cop had this problem. He didn't want to lose an argument. Like there's some sort of police code that they can't say like, oh, I guess everything's cool here. Like that, they, like that is some defeat that they will never suffer. They have predetermined that something is not cool here. And when they see that he's not doing anything, he was going to leave soon anyway, and it was only iced tea in his hand, he still has to throw cuffs on the guy because he decided before he got there that he was going to win an argument or something. That's how it played out to me. And I see this behavior in these freaking alpha cops all the time. And I bet there's an alpha cop somewhere out there that hears that and thinks, damn right, I'm fucking alpha. Dude, that's not a desirable trait. You know, you should be a thinking cop, not an alpha cop. You should be someone who approaches this situation. And if he's right, he's right. If he's wrong, he's wrong. But he's not just, you know, fucking pretend, you know, make himself right by cuffing a guy who didn't do anything and sprinkling a little crack on him. (laughs) <laughs> there was a, no, they, there was should, a, they should walk up and they should be hey what's going on here guys and they should well we're just hanging out drinking iced tea oh sounds good see you guys later have a nice night be, be safe out there a lot of crazies yep <laughs> that should be I mean, how about this if he actually was getting like reports from the owners just just saying like hey guys I know you guys are hanging out I know, you, I know you're doing everything legit but uh, the owners are really unhappy with you sitting out here um, is there any way you can maybe move to a park or maybe across the street or somewhere Boom, that's it. That's all you got to do. That, that's how you do proper police work. You don't arrest him just because you think, you know, he has a bigger dick than you or something. Which is inconceivable. Inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, we talked about the other one, have we? The one with the Alaskan girl? No. I don't know. Was she got hit with disorderly conduct in her own house. Was she disorderly? Well, disorderly conduct's a, a public thing. You got to be Was she disorderly? Answer the question. No, See, she that's wasn't. the problem with disorderly conduct. How do you define orderly? The pa- that's the problem with disorderly conduct. They... Is, 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 it's a it's a law about this fucking big. Well, right, but that's <laughs> the thing. You can it, like anybody that's ever been. That's usually just a, a their trumped up charges. Usually get drunks into jail and stuff. I'm surprised that uh, like whenever somebody is actually convicted of disorderly conduct, I'm like, how do you define orderly? Like. What is disorderly versus orderly? I have to I have to be able to know so I know how to not be disorderly. So yeah, it, it's almost like the public version of behavior not fitting of an officer. They mm-hmm. just slap it on anyone they feel like slapping. Burnsy, what is your favorite YouTube video? Go. I don't have one, man. God damn it! You don't have one? At least then say one of your own videos. At least come on. Well, all of Lefty's videos are my favorite. God damn right. Yeah. <laughs> which one which one in particular? Can you name one that stood out? Uh the iFly one. Oh god, that one. Oh, that that oh, one no. really good transitions. Yeah. I like that one too. Left or er, Minnesota, but what's your favorite video you've made? That I've made myself? Uh probably one of uh one of uh the Xbox instructions, probably one of my favorite ones. Well you destroy them because you get them banned all the time? Yeah, I did figure destroy them instead of just letting them sit around. I was thinking about doing the same thing with my Black Ops 2 disc since it's no longer any good. Like, There's people out there that doesn't realize that I don't have Black Ops 2 on Xbox anymore. Hmm. So I figured like do the white boy thing and like put it in a toaster and just act like I'm mad. Um, Wings, what's your favorite video that you've made? Favorite video I've made is a video called Who Needs Rockets on Battlefield Bad Company 2. That's not what I was expecting. Hmm. I thought it was going to be the one on Scrapyard where you taught people how to level up quickly using emergency airdrops. Actually, that, I made that video at like 5 in the morning, half asleep, just to push it out. Hmm. I love that video. That and, video wasn't good at all. The audio was crappy. I, I didn't lay my ideas out correctly. The, the reason that video went big is because it says how to. That's the reason that video has a million views because it says how to. Oh, well, that's actually, I don't have a favorite video, but that's uh, one of my favorite channels. The uh, how-to how basic. Ma- oh, yeah, the how short basic. ones? Yeah, how-to basic. That's one of my favorite channels. Dude, I did a how-to basic like tri- <laughs> like tribute video where I destroyed an Xbox, and that shit got like 200,000 views. I, 
I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't diss other channels. That's not my thing. But I, 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 those videos are not my cup of tea. Like he'll take it, like how to break an egg, and then he'll just break an egg. No, I'm just, no, no, he does exactly. stupid shit. Yeah, it's just like I don't know what makes it so funny. Like you, just, you know what's gonna happen, but dude, like on my video, <laughs> I put two pieces of bacon on the Xbox. I crack two eggs on the Xbox. I pour half a gallon of milk onto it, and then I hit it with a hammer. <laughs> and I named how to play Xbox 360. <laughs> I saw that video and it wasn't my favorite one that you made. Like I I guess I'm just not built for that funny, I don't know. Lefty favorite video you've made? Uh I'd have to say the opening It's weird because it's not like one video. I'm really proud of the opening and transitions I made for um my show that's not why you called like i put a i put probably too much work because i'm bad at like being an audio engineer but i made like audio opens and and intros and interludes for the show so that we can take like little short breaks and stuff and i put like a counter um in the in the bottom corner so everybody that watches if you watch it on vod you know how far to skip ahead or if you join in, you know how long there's left, like 30 seconds until we come back, you know, because everybody's got to pee during the show. Um, or at least I do, because I drink a lot of water. But, um, I, and I made these these lead-ins from, from those breaks, and I made an open for the show, and I'm, I'm really proud of them whenever I hear them. So. Give yourself a pat on the back. I just did. Hmm. My arm hurts. <laughs> probably broken. Let's see. Kyle, I think, goes without saying your favorite videos ever are your Let's Plays with me. Absolutely, those were awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, I don't know. I, I made one called Colin's Progress is Inspiring. I watched it again today. I really like that. Um, yeah, that was a really good video. Shucks You was pretty good. Um, although, you know, I didn't sing that. I just wrote it. So I, I don't know if I can take credit for that. I really liked Woody the Slayer. Um, I think it's actually called, if you search on YouTube for <laughs> most epic commentary or something like that, it comes up. Let me see. Most epic commentary ever. If you just search that on Google, it comes up with one where I sang. And uh, yeah, if you search it on YouTube, it's the first video that comes up. And that was uh, I thought it Woody pretty the cool. Slayer. One. Yeah, Woody the Slayer. I had fun making that one. I remember I showed it to Kyle. I'm like, you gotta watch this. You gotta watch this. I made a great video. That's and an then, old video, two years ago. God damn. Yeah, and then as soon as uh, the music begins to play, he's like, "Tell me you don't sing. Tell me you're not gonna sing in this." <laughs> <laughs> then the singing starts. Mm -hmm. And you know what? what? You to find your channel. I wish that I could make some of the videos I made two years ago. Like I feel like if I were to sing today, people would not accept it. Like it wouldn't be fun. Like it was two or three years ago. It would be not suitable for a million sub channel. Like you know, Woody, for a channel like yours, we want higher production quality. Um, I, uh, Chuck's one of my highest rated videos ever. It's just a stupid patch video, you know? And I literally, like, screenshot the patch, have it there, and I read what it says on the screen to you. And it was, like, a 4.99 rating or something like that. <laughs> that video today would get disliked, you know? Other commentators would be uploading videos about the fact that I made a bad video. <laughs> and, uh, like, I kind of miss the, the loose, no rules stuff I had a couple years ago that, you know, newer channels get. Age of Innocence on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, when when you have 5,000 subs, they're all on your side. When you have a million subs, they're not all on your side. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube is a lot more fun when you have under 10,000 subs. When you know everybody that pretty much sends them. I used to be able to name every one of my subscribers. 10,000? Know, it's like, ugh. I used to have, like, you know, the pancake store. I used to have <coughs> Turtle 401. I used to have um, a guy named Lewis 1348. You knew you I'd see their him. comment over and over again on my video. I'm like, yeah, he's a longtime sub. Dude, I know some now. I, I've got – there's one guy. He tweets to me, and um, I think his name is Smitty Fatty or something really close to that. And he has, a, he has his profile on his Twitter avatar. And uh, you got a bandana on. Yeah, I think so. Do you know the guy? Yeah. He always clicks like on my videos, and he pretty much always has something positive to say. And it's like, I remember that guy. 
So yeah. What what video defines your channel? That's the question. Because I was I was thinking about this the other day, and like I got a thirty and oh flawless in Modern Warfare Two on free for all. On what was that map? It, it, was, it was expansion map. Junkyard. Scrapped. What Isn't what game was this? Modern Warfare Two first map pack. Had like crushed cars and you, there's like a pathway in between them. Oh yeah, I know the one. It's it was snowy. Yeah, it was snowy. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I got a thirty and zero with an M16 with oh. no attachments, and I sat on a tractor the entire time. I that know movie. it. Yeah, and, and and dude, I still use that. So one of your tips in that was ringing the dinner bell. You know, yeah. you, if you want the guy to come to you, you shoot your unsilenced weapon, and they'll start coming to you. I. I I do that. To, I've done that today. Today, I'll, I'll see some guy get in a gunfight, and it's like he ran away. I go prone. I ring the dinner bell, and I let him come to me. Come and get it, son. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was a good video. And, but I'm sure certain people hated it, too, because you didn't. Oh. It, it, dude. It, there literally was no movement whatsoever in that video. None. He's <laughs> like, you could have put him in a cardboard box. And he would not have stepped out of it. There was like he, what it was is he stood on like a crane. It had like a tractor trail or something, right? Is that my right on that? It was like a, it had like tank tracks and it was like yeah. a little snowmobile thing, like an excavator. Yeah, 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 excavator. That's the term I'm looking for. But the big bucket on the front, and he jumps up on the little track so he can see over the body of it, and then he just kills people that walk toward him the entire time, ringing the dinner bell. Yeah, there's a guy right here. Come and get it. And then he's had, there's only like a pixel to shoot at. You could have put a sentry gun in my place. It would have done the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think that defines my channel the best. Just strategies like that. I mean, I never... I'm not the greatest Call of Duty player. Out <coughs> I mean, I've seen people like TV and our frags that would just destroy me in Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. But I'm not bad. And I usually can outsmart most of the people I face. I liked this series you used to do um, called like free for all attack or something like that, where you oh, yeah. you basically showed, I mean, where to camp in every free for all map, and you know come away with that consistent victory. I liked that. Those those work too. Yeah, they work. Oh, they they always work. Yeah, I, I used those. Yeah, you'd, you'd go in, you you're like, oh, you know, you would run around if there's just average people in there and have a good time. But if there's some guy in there who's running, you know, whatever the best gun is, he's running a silenced UMP and he's got his kill streaks up pretty high or whatever, then yeah, it's time to hop in wing spot and beat this guy. I do that in Black Ops. In um, I, I play sharpshooter more than average. I don't really play much free for all, but uh, in almost every map, I know a spot where there, it's kind of spawn heavy, and I get the traffic I need to win in sharpshooter. Is it, is it char yeah, that's the one where the guns change and. Yeah. I think yeah. Sharp should have been better if they took the radar out. Oh, yeah? I feel the radar levels the playing field too much for people that just don't have awareness. I have I have come to find that there are lots of people in there who still don't use the radar, even though it's always on. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I don't know. Your, I, Wings is an interesting idea there, yeah. Like, I, I think I'd do better if I was... Like, if, if it was... Like, I could use my headset. I could use my know-how of the map. All mm -hmm. these things are took from me because they show me where... Show the other person where I'm at. Yeah. And, like, if he doesn't know I'm there and I pop out on him, I'm, I got a higher chance of winning that fight. If something yeah. defines my channel, it's probably Mail Monday as a series. Like, I, I, like, of all the videos I put up, that one that goes up every week is the one that people think about when they think of me. Lefty, what de what defines my channel? Yeah, I don't know. I hope I haven't had it yet. I hope that that's a good answer. To come. That's a good answer. I like it. Mine would be the hate mail series every Monday. I didn't post one this <laughs> week, and I got destroyed on Twitter. <laughs> where it was, I find my haters are lazy, so I never get hate mail. Brandon, did you ever think people fake to get on that? I, I, can, I, can, I can tell which ones are fake, dude, so easily. Really? What are, what are, what are the hallmarks when, of the fake, fake? When people will try to disguise it with really, like, obnoxiously terrible grammar that you know that they're faking it. Mm. If I wrote you hate mail, would would I have a good chance of getting on? <laughs> no, 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 no. We, Wings was lamenting his YouTube situation. Wings, start hating on Burns every single fucking day. Send him message after message. Be like, you suck, bro. 
you're this, that, or the other thing. <laughs> and uh, another way I can tell if I find one that I think is real, I'll click on their channel and see who they're subscribed to and everything like that. I do that too, so I can go to them and say, hey, block this person, please. <laughs> My favorite thing to do, though, is if someone writes a negative comment or whatever, and I, I'm intrigued to click on their channel name, and they actually make videos themselves, I'll just put a subtle like negative comment on their video, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is yeah. the masterpiece, as you were talking about during the hate uh, uh -huh. my video. Yeah, I'm glad uh, to see these. It doesn't, my, the videos that I comment on don't publish in my feed, so it's not like I'm giving them any attention, so. Mm. Oh, okay. it's my fucking feed. I subtly let him know. put something in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggs uses it like a hammer. Like, I'm I bringing all like these people hammer, with like me. A... <laughs> okay. Time to squish you under my thumb. Oh, I remember. I think my videos are bad. Look at this. What is this? A cell phone camera? <laughs> <laughs> the... Oh, God. The way that uh, the way that it used to work is you could really easily see everyone that someone was subscribed to, like it was a big part of your homepage, your channel page. Mm -hmm. And I remember some guy was being an asshole to one of us, and uh, by the th he, he was subscribed to like thirteen people, and by the time we were done, he was subscribed he subscribed to like one person. And it was like a, it was like his friend, because we had we we had all twelve of the other people block him. Oh yeah, we used to do that all the time. The community block thing, right? It was like yeah. someone yeah. would hate on wings. And we'd be like, you know, this is what this guy just said to me. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, Kyle T would <laughs> onslaught me, etc. We'd all block the guy. It was like, I don't want someone who's hating on Wings. He's going to hate on me next. Screw it. Well, we just ruined your YouTube channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, you it now longer, it no, it no longer works for you. I remember and, and, back in the day, what, the, what you don't do is you don't go, you know, you suck. This person is better than you. Hey, I'm friends with that person. Hmm. <laughs> uh, um, Kyle would specifically look at it, yeah, and then, like you just said, you know, you'd look at it like, all right, this this guy would, uh, you know, he also likes my friend, therefore I'm going to take that from him. Yeah, I, I've had him post something like really nasty and be like, you know, maybe like Woody's gamer tag so much better than you'll ever be, and I'm like, I'm mm. going to have Woody block you now. Yeah. So now, not now you can. <laughs> now, I'm going to take away your favorite thing, or I've even asked him for. It. I'm like, oh really? I'm so bad. Who's your favorite YouTuber? And they're like, you know, they're like, T Martin, he's so good. T Martin's gonna block you now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. Please exact tell me thing. you told them it was happening. Yeah, you, yeah. I was like, nice. T Martin. I reply. I'm like, oh, thank you for sharing that. Now he's going to block you. Yep. It's oh, nice. That's really amazing. Uh, How far are we in? I think we are three and a half hours in. I think we should go another half hour. What time did y'all start? 9.30. We've been going for quite some time. Yeah. It's been we a got while. another half hour? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what, what have you watched good on Netflix li lately? Hmm. I watched that, uh, that entire Jericho series, but it... I oh, I, I, I heard, but there was like seven episodes where they were able to end it, right? Like they knew in advance. Well, then comic books pick up the next season. Hmm. And, I haven't uh, watched Jericho, and I've heard the it's first good. Season, the first season is like 23 episodes. I have Jericho and Merlin like in my future. Like They're both supposed to be very good. Jericho's pretty good, yeah. And somehow, Oops. whenever I watch TV, I'm like not in the mood to pay attention to it. And I, it's like, all right, I'm just going to turn this on and fall asleep to it. Or I'm going to multitask. Or I'm going to surf the web. So I haven't started my Jericho and Merlin. I keep watching like Arrested Development, which I've already seen. Oh, I can't wait till that starts the next season. So I've already seen all the existing episodes. So you I don't have to watch I, them again, though. I mean, I feel if you like watch it if you watch it through a second time all the way through, you pick up on so many like jokes that you didn't pick up on the first time around. I guess, but I'm like reading Reddit at the same time I'm yeah. doing my second or even third watch of the things, and that's what I've been doing. And and I really should just get to get to the candy, get to the stuff I really want to see. Yeah. Netflix.com/slash Woody free month. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching old Penn and Teller bullshit episodes on YouTube. Oh, they're pretty good. Sometimes they're political. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best part. Yeah, I don't like it. Really? Like He's it. real conservative. I thought you'd like it. Uh, sometimes I don't like it. I don't like it. It's pretty skewed shit. I, I don't want your opinions. I want facts. I don't trust them. Like, I... Um, for example, they did one where recycling has no value to humanity and business and etc. And I'm like, really? I... I I need confirmation on this. I think recycling's good. Do you recycle? Yes. 
<laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have an extra trash can, and you just put the cardboard. In. Dude, my trash in my town is awesome. I have the best trash service I've ever heard. You just put shit out there, and they handle it. Grass clippings. I can chop down a tree, drag it to the street in front of my house, and they will come along with, um... What is that murder tool from Fargo? Like a wood chipper, <laughs> right? <laughs> they would come along with it. With, uh, How about what is, those, what is that thing that chips wood? What the <laughs> murder weapon from Fargo? So, Woody, I think you, you've actually answered the question from earlier on how you would get rid of a dead body. <laughs> just, no. just put it in front you of the drag house. Drag it out there. They take care of it. Yeah. Third one this year. If, if, if I put a tree out there, they will come out here with um, chainsaws and wood chippers and just handle it. Grass clippings. You know how leaves you like bag them and everything not in my town my town you just blow the leaves into a big pile in front of your house and and they take it i'm like can i just can you get it from the yard like i have my leaves scattered all over the front yard but, but they don't do that if um uh and then for like you know recycling you put your plastics in here and your cardboard in there and your something else like paper somewhere else uh, not me i just put all that crap in a great big garbage can and then some guy sorts it down the line you guys better give those guys like a Christmas card or something. I do, yeah, and and I I, I give them cash. But the yeah. reason is it, it's it's partly you know to be generous and stuff, but it's partly like remember me, you know that time I threw out that thing that was furniture and you just took it. <laughs> Here's Merry, a dead body. Merry yeah. Christmas. That body I put out there. You, <laughs> you look the other way for this additional Christmas right. party. Right. There's twenty bucks for each of you next year. Yeah. <laughs> that munch on me. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> but yeah, like so, furniture is supposed to cost like eleven dollars, right? But what if I chop it in two? <laughs> it's kind of just big trash now, right? You see where I'm coming from? And they do. They're like, oh, yeah, clearly this kitchen table's cut in two. We'll take it for them. And Are you serious? <laughs> you cut it in half? Uh, not, not, I've done that with tables of that size, but uh, that particular kitchen table I still have to throw away. That's all. Just see yeah. Woody I have waiting a... until those guys show up, and he walks <laughs> in, he strolls out, and he says, so, uh, you know, you're supposed to, supposed to pay $11 for this piece of furniture, but... Uh, what if I cut it in two? <laughs> Is that, that's, dude, that's like garbage. I've got a I've got a big old bandsaw in my um in my shop like thing, and I just push anything through that. Thing. I don't care. Like it, some people treat their bandsaw like it's this precision thing, dude. I, I push furniture through the bandsaw. I push meat through it. I don't care. Uh, it's <laughs> so a lot of DNA left in the. I've got a I've got a massive uh, bandsaw. It's for metal. That thing will cut through anything. Oh. It could do anything. I I wish I now they have dual speed ones. If, if for people who don't know their bandsaws, the metal cutting ones have much slower blades. Mine's mostly wood, and the blade spins really fast. But now they have you to just switch these like uh, pulleys underneath, and it goes from that's, fast to yeah, slow. Yeah, that's that's how mine is. It's three speed. Oh. I got it out of this uh, this abandoned warehouse. It, this thing weighs uh, eighteen hundred pounds. I have a little bit of bandsaw envy. It you want it? You can have it. It Does it run eight. on three phase? Yeah. I don't want it. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, it weighed 1,800 pounds. I know this because we put it on a scale before we put this thing on a crate. At, uh, uh, what are those um, elevators that are for, like, they're not for people. you got to pull a down. freight elevator. Gra freight elevator. We had to get this thing in a freight elevator. There were, four of, there were four of us struggling mightily with this thing. Everybody's dripping in sweat. We're trying to get into this freight elevator and into a U-Haul. And all of a sudden, this enormous... Black man walks in. He works there, and we're like, "He's like, what y'all doing?" I was like, "We we just bought this bandsaw, but we're not strong enough to get it into the <laughs> elevator." So <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like what exactly, exactly that? And he's like, "Don't know that much of a problem to me." <laughs> and I'm like, "I didn't think it would." <laughs> he's just like, Arr! he's like, he grabs the pry bar and starts like creeping this thing in there and by the time we were done it was in the u-haul it was enormous it's still enormous it's sitting no in the that man right there made a mistake that was a money-making opportunity oh it w i gave him 20 20 dude he worked for 10 minutes you give me a hundred dollars or i walk away you can kiss my ass <laughs> you I, you no, i'll then. tell you i'll tell you how bad the, the, the it was a really rough side of town i don't mean that like as a like there were criminals there but it was kind of like a downtrodden area of atlanta Literally, while I was standing outside, wait, um, like back in the U-Haul up to the freight door, three men walked by and, and offered to like work for me. 
They're like, you, you need somebody to work? You need some help? You need somebody to do something? Oh, we work. I do that all the fucking time. Like, they had work gloves on them. Like, they were, they were just walking around town looking for work. I don't know. You don't, you don't, hire, you don't hire people like that? No, I don't fucking hire people like that. You don't trust uh, people. We had to move a house. And as a repayment... <clears throat> See, Wings has to one-up me. I move a big band, so he's like, well, we had to move a house. Not, not, not like an actual house. Not like move the actual house. There was this one but, like, time move I had to move around. Out to another house. Like, move the entire <laughs> inside of the house to another house. And as payment, the house he bought was fully furnished. We were going to get five hundred dollars plus all that furniture, so I'm like, I don't want to move all this furniture. So I went and got three guys, paid them fifty bucks a piece, and just drove them back and forth. I, I paid them two hundred fifty. I kept two fifty and sold all the furniture. Yeah, furniture moving is a serious job. When you see somebody who like moves furniture for a living, those guys are in really good shape. Yeah, and and, and not in the kind of shape that you get into at the gym. They're in. Le- they're legitimately strong guys. It, yeah, it's. <laughs> I remember when I moved from Ocean City, New Jersey, to North Carolina. They they packed our house. Have you ever seen them pack a house? No. It's amazing. Like it, it, it takes me forever to pack a house. Two guys come. They've got the entire house packed up in like six hours. And you know they're taking like every. Um, oh, by the way, they charge by the box. So like, say you had a I don't know a glass a salt shaker. They take that thing, they wrap it in like 12 layers of paper and then put it in the thing. And all of a sudden, like every salt shaker is the size of a watermelon. And they just get this done and they go through everything. They go through your pantry, right? And we didn't have, we had like boxes of spaghetti. They're all wrapping this shit up, protecting it, making sure the spaghetti doesn't break and it, on its way to North Carolina. And they did an amazing amount of work. And the whole house is now empty. They've taken everything and wrapped it in boxes and secured it. There were specialty boxes. It was amazing. And I opened the closet, and it's like front and center staring at me, this like large bottle of Astroglide. Apparently, it's like not fit to travel. Like it's a petroleum product or something? What is Astroglide made out of? Petroleum. Sure. Yeah, it's like a petroleum jelly. Or something. I don't know. But it's, it's a lube for sex. And uh, I didn't really realize that... Well, one, like it was like I just didn't put it together that they would be seeing it. And I certainly didn't put it together that they would be giving it like white glove treatment and <laughs> leaving it as like the soul. <laughs> you open the closet door and there's like the and you're like, oh, that's not where I left it. Like they totally took it out of some piece of furniture and put it there to stay behind. Was this like an in- like a like a gallon jug or what? Because the, just the way you're miming it, it's like. <laughs> I, I don't it's know. It's like you got it at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do it. The last, time, the last time I bought lube, I ordered, um, you know my favorite kind of lube. Anybody, wet. Anybody, wet. Wet Platinum. Stayswetlonger.com. Okay. Stays I, uh, I, I Sponsor got us, bitches. Somebody, if we can find that we need a Twitter campaign. Yes. You guys need to get a hold of the people at stayswetlonger.com and get them uh, in Send them an email. Yes. And tell them to contact well, got, Heather at Woody's Gamer Tag TV. Let me get. I, I'm as I'm telling the story, I'm going to look up their email. Um, I got a 64 ounce tub with a pump on top. Did you fill your transfer case with it? <laughs> <laughs> I filled her transfer case with it. Now you're talking. Yeah. Oh, that was inappropriate. No. Oh. So is it? What's their URL? They've got a Twitter. Ooh. What's their URL though? Uh, stayswetlonger.com. Looks like your homegirl Raya at Girls Gone Gamer is enjoying her some Black Ops too. She has seemingly crushed her Astro headset on the floor. That's unfortunate, sure. but we won't pass judgment because we've all had those we've, feelings. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So here's what we want to do. You want to tweet at Wet Together. That's their that's their Twitter. Wet Together. That's that that's their Twitter. Is there an underscore or anything, or just one no, word? No, just one word. Wet together. And you go for the premium lubricant? Is that what you go for, Kyle? Absolutely. Platinum. platinum. Premium? I'm not, ex- I'm not it, seeing it is the platinum the, one. It, um, it's, 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 it's wet platinum. It's the, it's the main oh, one. Oh, I see it. It's a, yeah, you go premium you lubricant, wet yeah. products. It's on the right side. It's the far right one. Oh, yeah. That's platinum. Premium. My far right one is wet kits and assortments. Oh, Antibacterial Tory wash. Where's platinum? 
Oh, are you on their Twitter or their website? Their website. Ah. Uh, Comfort. Yeah, I'm, on their, I'm on their website lubricant. and I see the their the platinum is the. It's all the way to the right on my. It's the black, black can. Oh, yeah. you didn't scroll. It's just on the right of the home. Correct. Yeah. yeah there's a scroll bar. I went to the way oh, right. There's flavors now. And there's warming gels. I don't like the warming gels. No, it makes me feel like you pissed your. Dude, but if you advertise, that's a terrible we like idea. your is we like your warming, warming gels. Warming. <laughs> yeah, if no. it, that's great if you're fucking a dead girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pro tip right there, bitches. <laughs> no, pro tip. pro tip is never use one of those warming sensation condoms. They fucking burn like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All that warming stuff has never warmed anything on me. Like, I'm maybe the condoms would be different, but I, if I see warming gel, I'm like, it's, it, it, I don't know. If it's a, you put a liquid on me and I get kind of cold. That's what liquids do to me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the warming gels are really not much different. Yeah, this stuff is like icy hot, though. It's it's even that shit makes me cold. All right. If, if I were to lay on my belly in bed and you put icy hot on my back, which next time you come over, I would be cold. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, so that's what you two were doing. <laughs> oh, I mean, what do you? They even have the perfect little backdrop <laughs> on their website. If Don't you even do that. the midlife one. Don't even fuck you. Is that what you're no. gonna say? No, it says no. That for for an advertisement on uh, PK, this says download a coupon, save today with a oh. coupon. They they could put that on the on the little backdrop there. Yes, we have I think to. Make Bernie just locked us down a sponsor. We have to do this. All right, so you guys, we need to tweet at Wet Together. Um, contact us. For, um, Interested in doing business? Yeah, they have a little one dollar off coupon, uh, little graphic on their website. Absolutely, that graphic could be on PKA right now. Yeah, imagine its beauty up there. We could push a lot of lube. <laughs> Moving a lot yeah, of. We have a lot of people lubricant. just getting into sex too, and they don't. They want to do it right the first time with wet together. Oh Wet's God! Platinum, <laughs> premium lubricants. <laughs> It, it is an incredible lubricant. It you know, start off on the right foot. So I'm not talking to you 13-year-olds that are dreaming, but let's say you college guys haven't done this yet and you're looking for your first experience. It's not a bad idea to It'll bring... It'll be a good... Uh, it's a good for... Uh, it's a good press for you, Woody. You know, all these people be like, oh, I can't stand when you do advertisements, Woody. What do you offer me $1 off lube? <laughs> Thumbs up, Woody. <laughs> Everything is better now. <laughs> Not only are they getting a product they can use, they're getting a product at a cheaper price. Yeah. It's Absolutely. A it's a win for everyone. If, if Woody you, gets his midlife sexuality thing. If on. you and your, your college sweetheart, you know, are looking to do it the first time, you want to have some wet premium lubricant. Absolutely. Maybe you want to try backdoor. Maybe. Yeah. Wet, wet platinum. Figure it out. Wet platinum is where it's Yeah, at. and go slow. It's like the Cadillac of loops. You don't need to go slow. You just shove it in there. That's not my advice. No. Wet platinum. <laughs> just shove it in. That's, wet that, platinum. That, 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 wet platinum. Up. Just shove it in. Uh, one time, I left wet platinum on the stool, and she just fell right on top of it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the woman just <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, I've told the story before about I spilled wet platinum uh -huh. on my hardwood floor and I just <coughs> left it there and it you know, it, it turned into that liquid metal from Terminator <coughs> 2 and just encompassed a very large surface area that became the slipperiest surface known to man. It was it, just, was, it, it was, was dangerous to even walk near that spot. <laughs> <laughs> I busted my ass three fucking times before I finally had to get it like a mop and some like Mr. Clean out. Took three falls to get the laziness out of Kyle. Yeah, Mr. Clean <laughs> looking up at me like you sick fucker. This is not what I'm here for. Uh, mm. You ever clean condos? Clean a condo? Yeah, like well, we have beaches here, so obviously you, you guys don't have lots and lots of condos. But you can clean condos for pretty good money. It's like forty or fifty bucks a condo. Hmm. How and long does it take, it? though? A good, a fast one, about twenty-five to half hour. So you could knock out like ten a day. <clears throat> hmm. But um, sometimes you see some raunchy shit in there. Like, why do people have rose petals when they're having sex in the bathtub? I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. I I see it, but. I... 
the worst one I've ever been to was um, I got, apparently this guy was having sex with his girl, you know, in this walk-in shower, and she, uh, she obviously didn't wipe well because there's like a streak of shit all the way down the back vinyl <laughs> of that shower. <laughs> Wait, how do you associate that with sex? Maybe somebody shit in the shower. It was way too high up. <laughs> For what? The, the, I, I, I'm kind of hoping I'm not picturing somebody crayon and their shit and like drawing all the walls. So what do you think happened? Maybe the woman was just really tall. How do you know it's a woman? I don't. I, maybe you've lost me here. Because there were like rose petals and shit. Get so a shower. Maybe- the shower's been used. There's like rose petals and shit leading to the shower. There's like leftover candles, and okay. there's a big shit streak on the side of the plastic. So what do you assume happened? Well, I assume that he fucked her against the side of the uh, the bathtub there in the shower, and her butt was like sliding up and get up and down against the. Uh, I don't know what bathtubs are made out of. What Ceramic, plastic, whatever. Plastic stuff. And this is a bathtub. Is is a walk-in shower? Walk-in shower. I'm. I, I really think someone just wiped some poop on the wall for some reason. Wings. I don't think it had to be sex. I don't know where this. I think there may have been some sex at one point, but I think later on they went just went back and shit in the shower. <laughs> 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 Nothing like a little sex in the shower and then shitting in the shower. <laughs> Nothing like a little poop in the shower. <laughs> I saw a thing on Reddit. There were, it was, I guess, the guy cleans, uh, works at a movie theater, and he cleans up, you know, the mess that everybody always leaves in the movie theater after the movie. He's like, just <laughs> there was just a screening of Iron Man three. I found this. What the fuck is wrong with people? Someone has shit in the floor of the movie theater. Yeah, I saw it on Reddit. It, 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 it was a big full size dump. Like <laughs> someone had just. You're, some... you're probably sitting there thinking, <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with them? But right after I saw that post, I went and watched Iron Man three. And I had to pee so f- <laughs> <laughs> I had to pee so damn bad, but I didn't want to miss Iron Man 3. I didn't want to miss any single part of it. And I started thinking, I was like, this is totally ha- why that person shit in the movie theater. They didn't want to miss any of the movie. There weren't many people around. And they just thought, hey, drop a quick shit here. <laughs> and they <laughs> oh, at the premiere of Iron Man. <laughs> that reminds me. Um, Living Legends. <laughs> in the fourth hour of the show. <laughs> Speaking of shitting in, on the middle of a bathroom floor, Living Legends in Georgia, yeah. Illinois. So, um, I, well, two things. One, Lozon wants to see the new Star Trek at Living Legends, so save that on your unwatched list. I think that'd be Done. fun. Done. And two, Living Legends is coming up. We're going to play some paintball together, and uh, um, there'll be a bunch of YouTubers there, and it should be fun. No one's watching at this point. Dude, no. All right, all right. All right. If you're watching right now, tweet me. I will yes. probably not be attending Living Legends. If if you're watching right now, post a comment that says Living Legends on the video. Yes, and, and, do that. And, yes, Living Legends 2013. Get that get that to the top rated comment. I want proof that there are people watching the fourth hour of this fucking show because I feel like I can just go hog wild at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I could admit drug use, homosexuality, like it doesn't matter. At and this that was point, just when like, he came over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that that was last week at Woody's house. <laughs> heroin. It doesn't matter. I feel like you'd say anything at this point. Nobody's gonna hear it. Absolutely. Netflix.com what? slash Woody. Netflix. You know, there's that one hater out there that watches every single second of the show just to try Oh yeah. To just to get, just to gather his up. material. Uh, <laughs> yes. He's going to make a video. Maybe one of them is a co-host of the show. (laughs) 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 Truth. Yeah. Fact. Oh, yeah. Fact. Kyle admitted to drug use and homosexual activity (coughs) with Woody's Gamer Day. Fact. Fact. Before the show, Woody said he's too internet famous. (laughs) (laughs) Fact. What a, yeah, if you put fact or truth anywhere on your stuff, it's automatically fact or truth. That's mm-hmm. that's uh, the lesson of YouTube. Oh, God. Does it fact, matter? Woody if, tried to use me to launder his YouTube money so he could buy drugs. <laughs> does it matter if you're the least trustworthy guy on YouTube who does nothing but hate on people? If you say but, truth, it's truth. 
But yes, quickly the rundown for Living Legends. It is in Joliet, Illinois, which is just south of Chicago, Illinois. It is next weekend, which is May 17th through the 19th. It is a two-day, all-day event. Paintball scenario game. You, you can come by yourself. You don't have to be part of a team. Uh, you can rent all your gear there. It's going to cost you about $150 to $200 for the whole weekend. Um, there's lots of good food. There are scantily clad beer girls. You'll get to meet all of us. Uh, Woody, myself, Joe Lozon, um, a couple other YouTubers are going. Uh, we'll sign autographs, hang out with you, take pictures. But don't just show up for the autographs. It's really, really creepy. C come on, don't just show up for the autographs. you got to come and play paintball with us defeat the whole purpose that way. Some guy showed up last year, just rode up on his motorcycle, took his helmet off, I signed his helmet, and then he got back on it and fucking left. <laughs> we had like, you're, not, you're not playing. I think, I think Lefty is extremely offended that you pronounced the S in Illinois. Oh, like, yeah. I do, the agony I, do on his face. I do that a lot. Illinois. Where I are you from, Lefty? Uh, Chicago. Oh. I know where Joliet is. I, know, I don't know where Living Legends is, but I know Joliet. It's, it's it, a paintball field in Juliet. Okay. Yeah. I've uh, the, I've seen a like a Juliet Jackhammers game. Went to downtown Juliet and shit. All that stuff. What did the Juliet Jackhammers? What sport do they play? Uh, baseball. They're like a. They're not a. They're semi-professional or they're professional. They're not like an affiliated league. They're just like a uh, an independent league. I think. Wow. Of like that's, minor league baseball. That's seriously big time. Like it's not even minor league, right? Like these guys aspire to make the minors someday. Yeah, some of them. Yeah, some of them are trying to recapture glory, stuff like that. You know, I shouldn't knock them. I don't know why I just did. You know what? You actually enjoy these Joliet trips? Who are you talking to? Me? Lefty you or me? Answer it. Lefty yeah. Then go because he. Well, no, he goes to see the Joliet Jackhammers do their jacking. No, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. Do I have fun when I play paintball? Is that what you're asking? Did I lose him? No. I don't know. I can't hear him. Yeah, wings. He's playing video games. He's in the dark, literally. <laughs> <laughs> can y'all not hear me? Now we, we hear you. Now. All right, now you're back. I mean, that, that's the. I was waiting on Woody to answer. I, I didn't understand the question. Do I enjoy my trips when I go out and play paintball and stuff? Yeah. Um. So, like, last year, I'll just break it down. The day before the trip, the day I broke my hand, <laughs> was, like, a ton of, ton of fun. Like, we trained. We did some MMA. We went to the tallest building in Chicago. We had good food. It was, like, a really great day. The first day playing paintball was also a really, really great day. Loved it. Got out. Exercised. Did my thing. I want to say by the third day of playing paintball, because we play like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, I had had enough paintball. I was doing more like hanging out with subscribers and stuff I like was that. So, yeah, it was so sore. Yeah, I was sore, and it's a lot of work, and it's, it's it was hot out last year. I had some physical sex today, and my legs were sore. Okay, I don't <laughs> even know what's going to happen next week. I'm so scared now. My, I, I was like, wow, my legs are really sore, yeah. and that was just a that was just sex. I hear you. Yeah, I I had. Sex today, and my forearm is sore. Oh, <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> well, that's not good. I'm just making jokes, but um, yeah. By day three, it was yeah, yeah. Like you're tired, it's hot, and there's like subs there to hang out with, so I did that instead. That's the other thing. I haven't checked the weather report, but the last uh, I've done it two two years in a row, but three. I think I've done a total of three or four events there. Um, it's fucking hot there in May. I, last year it was like 85, 90 degrees. Kids looked like they were about to die of dehydration. Mm. One and, um, kid did die. Remember that? No. Someone yeah. died? Yeah, somebody died last year. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, also paintball. The, the nature of it is you have to dress warm. Like I have long pants on with socks, hiking shoes. I have a, um, I'll call it a jersey, and it's kind of padded. And you want to wear that mostly because you get shot with paintballs. And... Like Kyle wears a t-shirt. He prefers the pain over the heat. I might do that this year, too. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I was wondering, like, y'all go every year. I'm like, it has to be to hang out with people. But like, ugh. Yeah, I mean... I, I can't imagine paying a thousand bucks to go hang out with people. I like hanging out with, with the fans. It's um, I like hanging out with the fans, too, but none of that shit happens near me. <laughs> We'll just bring one to you, Wings. That's what we'll do. 
No, Little I'm, Beach. I'm, I'm more capable of driving somewhere, but I'm not driving to Jolette. That's a haul. Also, you know, the rest of the trip, like, let's lay it out. Day one, we did MMA training. Day two, three, and four, I don't know, maybe just something, I guess two, two, three, and four, we ran around and played paintball in the heat. Like, I don't think that's your event. It's, yeah. It's, uh, I am not in great that bullshit. I ain't going to play no damn paintball. I'm going to be like the guy with the motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm get my helmet signed and go on. No. Yeah. So it would, yeah. But we could do something else. I don't know. Like it, fix a desk? I was thinking that, actually. But I don't want to <laughs> hold a big sub meetup at my house. You have more of your convict friends show up. <laughs> <laughs> we went quiet again, Wings. I'm going quiet. It's better now. Uh, it's like your mic just it turns it, off. It seems like why. it's a connection issue. Like the cord's not all the way in. I don't know. Um, I know. I know. When you question my friends. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Because, because one, I don't associate with people I wouldn't trust with anything. But like, if I don't trust you, I'm not gonna let you in my house. And like in the first place, like. Yes, Danny made some promises they couldn't keep, but it's not his fault because one. And does he have a prison he, record? He has a prison record, yes. But being in prison doesn't mean that you're a bad person. There's plenty of people in prison for nonviolent crimes that were there because they were victims of circumstance or maybe victims of their own greed. Okay. With like Bernie Madoff, he's a horrible person. But do you think he was somebody that's going to go come to your family and hurt you? I wouldn't invite him over. You wouldn't invite him over, or maybe wouldn't invite him around money. It's still my shit. We're not going to kill your family. <laughs> I'd go with God's like, I'd have a beer with that guy. Dude, <laughs> I guarantee you. All right, so here's the thing about Bernie Madoff. Real asshole. He fucked a lot of people over, ruined a lot of people's lives. I bet he's a hell of a fun time to hang out with. I bet you would be too. I bet you he can do anything because he's probably done anything. I he think has he's no a douchebag. That's what I think. I, I bet I, if I was with him at the barbecue. I think he'd be self-centered. I think he'd have a high opinion of himself. I think he'd have like a, a snot-covered piece of meat, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, just because you end up in prison doesn't mean that you're a bad person. I mean, that's that's propaganda. I mean, like my brothers went to jail. Does that mean he's a bad person? No, he's also a, a combat medic. He's also a a very loving family member. He's a very good mechanic. He'll do anything in the world for you, but he's made bad decisions in his life, and a bad decision can lead you to prison. You shouldn't judge a person based off their criminal record unless it's something very hardcore like rape, murder, you know, those kind of things. Wings, I'll say this. I think if Woody lived alone, you bringing your friends and saying, I'll vouch for this guy up and down 100% would be enough. But Woody also, I mean... He, Yes, you vouch for them, but still, at the end of the day, he doesn't know, period. He doesn't know. He can't know. It's impossible for him to know. And that also involves his wife and children. And I think that's the boundary, is that, yeah, but yes, he can you trust this. your friends because you trust them implicitly, but he can't expect his wife and his children and, and um, I for understand, lack of a better I understand phrase, mortgage his wife. Come at me with lefty, but let me, let me rebuttal with this. Do you think there's anybody that I would bring to Woody's house that would rape and hurt his children? No. Well, I, I don't think you would think that would happen, but I don't think that anyone you who's friends would not with be a, able to stop them. I don't think that well, anyone Woody would not be able to stop them. Woody is a trained professional. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> 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 I mean, and, and the also, fact there's going to be two guys sitting there with this person. I have a pistol. Woody has a pistol. Woody has is fight trained. I'm redneck trained. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. The right. fact is, the idea of a confrontation is almost null and void. And it hurts my feelings that he would question my judgment like that. Based off, I'm just trying to do something friendly for my friend as well to get him out of the house because he has vertigo. All right, so here's the issue. I'll, I'll lay this out there. So um, the way etiquette goes with, with homes and inviting people to people's houses, um, you, it's, it's not appropriate to bring a stranger into another person's home. 
for example, if I were going, if I were invited to Minnesota Burnsy's house, I would not simply show up with my buddy Jeremy, who is a. You brought Jeremy to my house though, and didn't ask. I did not bring Jeremy to your house. Well, Kitty did. Uh, Jeremy didn't come to your house. That oh, was, you're oh, thinking oh, that of somebody. Cousin. That was her cousin, yes. Yeah, but I didn't know who he was, but I trusted your judgment that he's not a thief, that he's not a rapist, and he's not a murderer, and I didn't and question him whatsoever. Here, and here's the difference. I had two kids what? in the house. Those weren't bad. Well, fuck, Wings. I don't... You're right. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> fuck, Wings beat me. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck this shit. And now his forearm fuck. is sore. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I mean, the, fuck. It, 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 it's just something that in the you from the south you know how how it happens people bring somebody they're with all the time over your house and you trust them as an extension of your friendship that they know who to bring around you and who not to bring around you I'm not from the south you're not and that's why <laughs> that's why you made that kind of comment <laughs> <laughs> maybe that is I don't know yeah I, 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 I wouldn't bring someone over to your house and especially without like clearing it with you like it, I mean, it, I'm the way saying. that i would have done it is i would have talked to you privately made sure it was, was cool i was gonna tell you and then invited my friend because i want somebody to be with me on like a three-hour trip op open carrying a desk well and it it wasn't it two people also no it's just me and one another guy okay at some point i thought it was three people total <laughs> oh We'll solve this mystery on the well, next episode wondering. of Pegasus. Like, he's sending all these messages because he heard it and like it hurt his feelings. He, he, he wrote like his essay to send to you. I'm like, I'm not sending this to Woody. Oh, Woody man. Is that the same guy that accused me of calling him a pedo? No, it's the guy for the crew cast. No. I, I, I don't know this gentleman. I, I, we, he's just a stranger to us. Well, it, 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 he's a real estate agent, so. I mean, I think. So, uh, so he is a crook. Wings, yeah. <laughs> wings, I trust your judgment, and I'm sure Woody does. But there's also like, there's other people involved that Woody, by trusting your judgment, would be co-opting into trusting your judgment, and those people I don't think are comfortable with that. A la his wife. And yeah, he his, has to say, "Trust me, honey. I trust Wings, and he trusts this guy." It's, which which may work, which will probably work, because because the we'll guy's work. not a bad dude, but still, it's kind of it's just not like you know it's not kosher. We're not in the tree tr tree of trust. That's that's what's well, going well, on. Look, let's look at it this way. I don't hang around with people that commit felonies, drugs. Yes, you do. Except for that yes, drug dealer contractor guy. Who's the guy that stole your truck? He stopped all that misdemeanor in. I win. He doesn't. He doesn't commit felonies anymore. Like, what about he did. Your, wait, he started it, dealing drugs hardcore. Was it your mom's boyfriend who did crack uh, I, and stole your that truck? That isn't me. That isn't me at all. I don't like the guy. I, I was hoping to send him up the river. He, they, my mama came to me, asked me for like six hundred dollars to pay his bail. Fuck but, no. So, so from the outside though, like not knowing all these people personally, like you do. I hear the tales of the gangster grandma and all the knife fights that your families have gotten into and then the the drug dealer truck stealing crack addict person that stole your truck and and it's like wow you know wings has a really crazy crowd and then you say hey Woody I'm coming over I'm bringing my buddy you don't know him but it's gonna be awesome and I think ah, is he one of these guys <laughs> No, and like I don't in, in my with that. in my whole world, I don't know any drug dealers. If I needed a drug right now, my only option is to see a doctor. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know anyone who's ever been to prison, ever. Like I, in the only person I know that's ever been to prison is the guy who made your desk, and I don't even know him. Like I, there's no one in my world. You love him to death. He's like a big teddy bear. Okay. Is he the that guy that got us? Felonious a... amount of drugs. <laughs> no, he, he didn't do drugs. He just sold them. He seen an opportunity and he filled that opportunity. He didn't say do. He said deals. So yeah. He said deals. He didn't even smoke marijuana. He just sold it. Oh, okay. That's fine. I think I think he should be able to, but that's a it's separate. And like, look at it this way: when he get when the drugs when marijuana gets legalized in the next ten years, his crime is just going to be a thing of the past. So technically, he 
was he went to oh, jail. Oh yeah, and that's going to suck. Yeah, legal and, in ten years. And there's nothing that I mean, there's no real restitution. And that's now be you're sitting you sit here looking down your nose at him now because he I went to prison. It was just a joke, I, dude. I mean, I mean, but, <laughs> but you see, kind of see where I'm coming at. No, the my only point was you said I, I don't can't believe he with, beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you said I don't hang out with felons, and I'm like, wait a minute, no, 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 this guy's a felon. Well, no, now I he shouldn't felon, be a felon; he's a nonviolent felon. I don't go, uh, hey, I don't go, hey, Bob, what are you gonna do? Well, I want you to run by the tire store and steal me a rim. No, we're not doing that, Bob. You can go steal that rim with by yourself. Matter of fact, don't call me no more. That's when I say I don't hang out with felons. I don't hang out with people that do funny know, crimes how, like how that. How did he beat you, Kyle? What did you do? Uh, so I was, tr I w all right. So I was trying to I'm just kidding, explain that it was inappropriate to um, sort of invite yourself to someone's house and throw in like uh, an accomplice, if you will. An accomplice seems inappropriate, <laughs> <laughs> but you know another dude that that the people you're going to's home don't know that they're not familiar with, especially if that person has any kind of a criminal record, you know, it, it, at all. But then he pointed out that when I went to his house, that um, I brought Kitty with me. He knew Kitty was coming, but Kitty's cousin Jeremy came along for the ride who by the way is like a five foot tall British man but that's neither here nor there I suppose so I guess it is true that I without specifically uh, telling him or asking permission brought a stranger into his home while there were in fact children in that home you lost so that so I, I, I lost the, the it, argument. The fact is, it's not a big deal. and like it, People are making a bigger deal than it is. It happens every day in my house. I have, I have more people come to my house I don't know than not. I would say like a bank. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. My sister has a different boyfriend each day of the week. My brother <laughs> brings different girls to the house. Okay, Wings, I think, I think that we're good. Uh, so the core takeaway here is Kyle lost. <laughs> Kyle lost. <laughs> yeah. Kyle got that ass slapped by wings. There you go. It's not even. It's not a win lose situation though. It's just like you're trying to defend something that you did yourself. I mean, it, it's not a big deal though. I don't know. I, just, I think that seems more on Kitty than Kyle. It, it Screw Kitty matter. yelling her. That's the point. It, I, I trust Kitty to manage me. I, I trust that Kitty's not going to hang out with somebody or bring somebody to my house that I'm going to have to fear for somebody's safety. And even then, if she does, somebody there will be able to take care of it. I think this is the difference in that. So the thing at your house was sort of an event, right? It was all of us getting there. You know, your family was kind of there. I think your 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 uh, maybe your, your, your grandma was there. And I, I don't know how many – a lot of your family members were there. And uh, Bastard Brooke was there, and Woody was there, and I was there, and Kitty was there. And it kind of seemed like throwing another person in wasn't that big of a deal. But in the scenario you're discussing, it's basically you and this dude going to... Drop a desk off at Woody's house. To go to Woody's house. We're not going there to stay the night. Yeah. We were going to go... You know who home. needs to render judgment right now? Burnsy, because he's been listening quietly to this whole charade. Oh, boy. And he's an impartial third party. He he's is. He's got one point... Please police his Burnsy. One point two, Burnsy, one lay point it out three. there. Was there I out. impolite to suggest that... It makes us uncomfortable to bring strangers uninvited to our house, or was Wings impolite to say that uh, you know it's cool to bring people uninvited to my house? I mean, if if I know the person that you're bringing, it's fine. You've heard the situation. Let render verdict. I think it's it's rude if you invite someone over and then they bring someone that you don't know. All right. There it is. I, I you know who wins? I won. I won. <laughs> I didn't even do any talking. I won. There you go. But I don't know. Maybe there's some way you could vet the guy that that you want to. Why are we even bring. arguing over this? What is the point? Because I heard somebody's <laughs> you bring feelings. Got to a desk, and I still need somebody to ride with me. And I now I got to find somebody Woody knows to ride with me. I want your sister. Oh, that came out awkward. He can't. <laughs> he can't lift a 400 pound desk, Woody. <laughs> what? But I need another guy capable. Of Give me a lever big enough, and I'll move the world. Well, couldn't he help you load it on your truck, and then when it gets there, you and Woody can unload the truck? He, no, because the guy's disabled. I can talk to Jackie about it. Too. Wait, wait. If he's disabled, then what's? I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Uh, the fact is, he he broke his leg two years ago. So what good is he with the moving of the desk? 
I, I, me and my brother had to move the desk for him when he could put it together. He can do one piece at a time. Yeah, but, uh, no, I think he's talking about the guy that originally worked on the, the desk. The guy who right? constructed the desk is yeah. disabled, and he can't. That's, he's not by. He's, he's not supposed to pick up something that heavy. He's a different person than the one Wings wanted to bring to my house. Right. I'm. I'm still confused. Why does he need to bring a person to your house for loading and unloading the desk? Why can't he load, and then Woody do the rest? Because one, I I can't watch the desk the entire time. I drive it three and a half hours. It's not going anywhere. I understand it's not going anywhere, but I much rather have somebody there in case it does go somewhere, so I don't have to pick a four hundred pound desk up by myself. Ah, you get some straps on that bad boy. I got straps. I got toe straps. Yeah, you know how to use those things. You're super badass. You can hold it's a. Going to, it's going to be yeah. secure. It's going to be secure yeah. enough to go seventy five miles an hour. Exactly. But the fact is, what if it doesn't? <laughs> the fact is, it's, the trip will be more fun riding with two people. I have somebody there in case shit does go wrong. It's just a safer alternative trip. So if any of you out there live somewhere between Raleigh, North Carolina <laughs> and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and you have a shop <laughs> where, we could, where we could hold this desk repair... <laughs> Please uh, step forward. Please. And, and, and make it a big deal of me driving up there and dropping the desk off. We were going to sit there that day and work with it and make it like a little fun day. That was part of the thing, too. To well, yeah, it was like, hey, I'm going to bring these people over. We're all going to you know, work in your shop together and stuff. And it was like, it wasn't just a drop off. It was a hangout. And I wasn't even sure if you guys intended on staying over the way you described it. And that was a really weird thing for me, too. Well, the way I had it planned is we'd get there around 12, we start working around 2, get all the get all the stuff sanded off at least by 6, by 5 or 6. And then we, but when the idea was we were going to leave that night and the desk would be, you know, primed, polyurethane, and have the coat starting to dry. And I'd come back and pick it up the next week. That was what I had in my idea. Yeah, I, I, I'd rather just fix it for you. <laughs> I'll do it, baby. We'll do it. We'll make it first class. We'll make it nice. Yeah, but uh, that's what I had. You asked me what I had in my idea. That was the way I pictured it. It could be in, like a, just a little okay. event. So when I heard, I need to get out of the house. I Woody, did. we got a whole bunch of people coming over. We're going to be working on the desk together and stuff like that. And I knew in my head it was a multi-day job. Because for people who don't know, there's layers of things yeah, that need to gotta, go on. It, it, no one on earth can do it in one day because you got to wait for it to dry. Just, Woody, how many times has your nose been broken? Four. It's incredibly straight. And not in the middle. Like on the I, inside, I, if I were to show you my nostrils, they're all crooked. Uh, but 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 looking at like the, the, the front profile, it's perfectly straight. Look at Woody's uh, nose. <laughs> Look at that thing. By the way, just a reminder, staywetlonger.com. Stayswetlonger.com. <laughs> hey, the sponsor of tonight's in. show. Get a $1 off coupon. All supplies <laughs> just last. Shove it in. Just shove that shit in. Yes. Shove and then leave. wipe it all over the shower wall. <laughs> and, and <laughs> don't leave it on a stool. And then make wings clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bad when cows talk to me more than you. What the hell? If, if Wait, you guys. Why are you making me feel bad now, bro? Someone's making a lot of noise. That's not I, said the fly. I don't know. Now it stopped. Whoever was guilty knew they were guilty. Kyle? It, it, it wasn't me. I, I'm wearing a headset and sitting here drinking. I'm, I'm not moving. It was I'm Burns. Just... He's got that shit-eating grin on his face. It wasn't me, dude. I've just okay. been sitting here. All right. Back up the footage. Burns, you get some posters or something, Pip? <laughs> 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 Burns is like, no, Wings is like, after we pick up my desk, me and my buddy are coming over to your place and redecorating your Burns, shit. man, you got to get an oil painting. This is what I did to see if I can get this. I oh, had that Call of Duty thing painted. That is not a poster. No, it's an oil painting. I had it commissioned. That's not good. <laughs> I did. I have a Carl Sagan oil painting. Nice. I hang it above my TV for inspiration every time I get on that shitty ass game. <laughs> oh, Wings, could you please explain Call of Duty League play to me? I am a platinum level. Right. <coughs> this is all going to be speculation because nobody really understands it completely. It's, okay. it's random. From my understanding, the season starts over every month, and that pretty much wipes the rosters clean. There's five master divisions. 
and they, they fill those master divisions up first, and then there's 15 platinums, then the platinums get filled up, and as people play and more people get ranked on the five placement games, they fill in and you get points. And then the actual points, you get daily bonus, and then you get a win ratio, a win bonus. Either there's going to be plus ten or plus one fifty. I'm sure you got a plus ten by now. Yeah. All right. Here is the thing. It seems random. First off, I used to think that you get plus one fifty if you play a full team, but that's not the case. I've beaten full teams and gotten plus ten. What I've been noticing lately that is I get one fifty when there's a huge gap. Let's say I got, let's use smaller numbers. Say I got 100 points and the guy ahead of me has 450 points. Any pet body I beat will give me 150 plus my match bonus points to try to catch me up to him. Oh. But let's say the next guy above me, let's say I got 100 points and he has 130. I'll generally get a plus 10 on that game and I have to play three or four games to pass him up because he's at a higher rank. It also seems like the higher the rank is, the more plus 10s you get. See, what I had noticed, what I thought I was seeing was that when I performed really well, I got 150. And when I just kind of did okay, like if I go like, if I go 14 and 10, I get a plus 10. But if I go, and I've done this a couple times, I went like 30 and 4 in league play. And it was like... I, I, oh. I've played a good amount of league play, and like I've done very poor. I'm, like, there's some games I've like on, on hard point, I went like double negative. Yeah, yeah. I and am in the team deathmatch uh, league, by the way. I don't know if that matters. Now, it, do you it, lose it points? I play both of them. Do yeah. you lose points? Yes, and that's the other thing. It's I I have I have lost games, but I I went positive and it didn't take points from me. You know what sucks about league play though the most is the kids that are butt hurt. Like pe pe the high rank guys, if you're beating them in like a hard point capture flag search and destroy, this is the main reason I, I stopped playing championship exclusively. Is they will dosh you out the game. They'll take two people off your team and go, whoop, and now they're four versus two, and they're going to win the game. Interesting. I haven't ran into anything crazy like that. I've I, I've ran into full teams before, and they've wiped the floor with me because I'm playing solo. But for the most part, I think I'm doing pretty. All right. So so I'm platinum level. There's only one level above that, or how many master. levels are there? There should be two, but I've never seen anybody in that tier above master. I don't okay. know if it exists. All right, so I think I'm about to hit master. What is the tier about master? It's, it's only one slot, and it's uh, professional. It's like supposed to be number one in the world. Hmm. Oh, it's, it's actually a single player gets it? Yeah, single player, but That's I've never out. seen anybody with it. You mean in your playing, or can you look for them? Like, in my playing, I don't even know if you can look for them. I mean, oh. I've I heard rumors there, but I also heard rumor they took it out. So <laughs> Loch Ness monster. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Nobody's ever really seen it. We're I was not sure if it's playing with it. Nate Shot, and he was ranked sixth, as far as I could tell. Like, well, that's I think I'm ranked nine right now in TDM League Master. Hmm. Yeah, it was. God, stayswetlonger.com has something called Lube Tube. That's so awesome. I'm sorry. I just, thought, I just thought, I thought it was hilarious. Stop being a money whore and pimping out the sponsor more than you No, left no. Me. I just I thought it was awesome. No, I, I no, love I clever puns. I, not, I don't like puns. money at all. Yeah. No, I don't make videos to watch, for people to watch. I don't. I, I hope nobody watches, but I'm just kidding. I'm not going to finish that sentence. Hmm. What, what do I need money for, man? I don't like eating. How I don't to like, use? I don't like central air conditioning or any yeah. of that stuff. Wings, you don't like eating? Is that facetious? <laughs> All right. I'm just oh, that was mean. Me? Yeah. The wings you don't like eating thing? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Come on. Fun and games. Um, racist. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> racist. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? Is something having to do with the money thing? I forget. I don't know. Anyway, they're not Four sponsoring us. In. They're, no, they're not actually sponsoring us. But yeah, someday, yeah. someday, <laughs> dare to dream. That shit locked we'll get Wet's attention. Matter of fact, let's get Bang Bus's attention or Brazers. Come on, guys. Give us something. <laughs> that was cool. So there's this uh, meme on uh, on Reddit about how like no one would ever wear the Brazzers merchandise. Like there's Brazzers <laughs> shirts yeah. and stuff. So it's an ongoing thing. Whenever somebody catches somebody actually wearing a Brazzers hoodie or something, <laughs> they post it and it always gets upvoted like crazy. It's hilarious. I have really wanted to tweet on like, I don't know, the not tweet like the, there's like Facebook and Twitter buttons and stuff. Reddit. I want to know what happens when you click on it. Hmm. Probably tweet to your Facebook or whatever. I I just I just want to put it up there. Like I was always curious what this looks like. 
<laughs> yeah, you're always scared about hitting those buttons on the wrong site. Yeah. I, I want to hit them on the wrong site and see what I get. <laughs> I want to. I want to experiment with it. Hi, I'm watching gay porn right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, I know it said she male, but she looked like a chick. Don't judge me. It kind of turned me off. You had a nine-inch package, dude. <laughs> oh, everyone. I can't turn that stuff off. That's awesome. Uh, so, Wings, what is your sleep schedule right now? Are you going to be up till tomorrow? Uh, probably going to be up till about 2 p.m. tomorrow. Jesus, man. Damn. After this, I will kick off the render and uh, go to bed. I'm, I got a Fallout Let's Play I got to do, and then um, I have no clue what I'm doing. Because I've this. concluded I don't want to put Call of Duty up as my next game. My I'm next video. I'm going to play some League Play. I'd I, I, I play with you, but wait. my fucking shit's all fucked up. My next video will be Painkiller already. I can't wait to see people's reaction to the first part. Oh, God. <laughs> and people's reaction when he shows I don't think, up. I don't think Wings even knows, though. I don't think he, he, he doesn't. He's totally not in on the gag. <laughs> <laughs> no matter I'm a money war. I'll the reaction. The reaction was priceless when he did jump in here out of nowhere. And we're all like, who yeah, the fuck great. is that? Oh my oh god, god, it's him! <laughs> and Kyle didn't handle it perfect. He's like, how long have you been unconscious? And when <laughs> yeah, he just jumped in, he's like, ah, oh, 12 hours? I don't know. He <laughs> 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 played into it without even knowing. Like, yep. <laughs> yep. That was good. You'll see it, buddy. It'll be funny. Yeah, you'll like it. All right. Is that a show? Do we call it a wrap? Sure. Four and a half hours, almost five? All right. Jesus. Painkiller already. Episode 134.